Uh, winter wedding weekend, extraordinary three days uh, that we are kickstarting this morning. And I'm going to be on the morning show with you Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we are overflowing with wedding favours. Are we not, Wayne? We are wedding favours, we are overflowing with. And also, if there's one thing that we think about, one treat that we think about, one gem, one, I say a gem loosely, is pearls. And the pearls that we have got today for you, including all the lovely colours of the silks, all the new colours of the silks, I've even got some perfect pearl spray for your pearls. I've got a cleaning cloth, I've got pearls, pearls, pearls. I've got Swarovski, I've got gemstones, I've got kits like you would never believe. Uh, we've got Mother of Pearl and we've got all the spaces that you need. I am talking all the findings, sterling silver, rose gold plated, yellow gold plated. I've got brand new, beautiful oval magnetic clasps in sterling silver. We've got findings. We've got, you name it, stardust beads. I mean, the, the list is endless. So if you did have something planned for this morning that wasn't jewellery maker related, I suggest you cancel it. I really do, because you all, the least you do, is take us with you on the Jewelry Maker app. That is the least, because you are not going to want to miss it. Also, I did mention these, the loose rope chain, three of them, as our deal of the day, today at 11 a.m. So if you are, now we normally reserve these for our Sterling Silver weekends, but no, today, not one, not two, but three incredibly affordable, beautiful loose rope chains at 11 a.m. today. So we've got that as well. And if you do love pearls, you are going to be in your element today. There's no tip. We've got Biwa, we've got Keshi, we've got Barat, we've got Potato, we've got, um, we've got Lilac, Lavender, we've got High End, Hans... And this is the thing to mention. Now, recently, Marie and Caroline went to Hong Kong and um, they have personally, painstakingly, hand-selected every single pearl for you on the show today. They, it, honestly, there was such a buzz about the office this morning because it's the most incredible morning show. The whole weekend, the whole weekend is stacked with all of your favorite guest designers, all wedding, uh, and again, it doesn't have to be for weddings, of course. It can be any kind of event that you're going to, um, or just just because, because you're worth it. It's as simple as that. So, um, shall we get started with some sparkle as our alarm clock deal, Wayne? It's our alarm clock deal. Anyway, I just said to my team, so what was that smile? <laughs> it was weird. I just frightened myself. Uh, anyway, right, Swarovski. Can, can you beat a bit of sparkle at a wedding? And funny enough, my friend Jane gets married tomorrow. My lovely friend Jane gets married tomorrow. Um, anyway, so good, good luck and congratulations, my friend Jane, getting married. Uh, right then, um, the beautiful thing is with these is you, is you don't have to do too much to them if you don't choose to. You've got instantly beautiful wedding. Now, a lot of people now, I went to one many, many years ago. A friend of mine did one of these evening wear weddings where you had the wedding about sort of three, four o'clock in the afternoon and everybody wore black tie for the gents and full evening dresses to the floor for the ladies. And it was a great wedding. It was really, because everybody was mega dressy and it was really lovely. And this is the kind of thing that you could wear, couldn't you? You can break these up into sections. You could rosary link them to add some sparkle to your, to your pearls. You could wear it just as a bracelet, as drop earrings. They are so versatile. So you've got your Swarovski channel set, which always, look, I think channel set always looks expensive. I really do. Um, gold plating as well on there with those Swarovski cut crystals. And with Swarovski, obviously world, round, world renowned for cutting crystal uh, to make them as incredibly sparkly as you could possibly wish for. Now this is the Breakfast Club. Now what happens with the Breakfast Club is very different to the rest of the day on Jewelry Maker. We give you 60 minute, minutes from when those graphics load. The graphics are that, that section there on the screen where it says the code, the description, the prop, those there, those are your graphics. So you get 60, 60 minutes to check out or usually what happens is 
as long as the availability is there. And usually it's last of stock in the breakfast club. So you've got to be quick. Once it's gone, it's gone. And then we don't see it then for a minimum of 30 days. So you've got to get your hands on it pretty quickly. All right. Now there's some good news on this. We've got a reasonable availability for you because we know how popular they are. Again, whether you're looking at weddings or not, if you're thinking about Christmas, if you're thinking about going out, out, you might be going to an office party like we are on the uh, 12th of December. You might be going, you might be going on a first date. You might be going on a date with the wife or the husband without the kids. You might be going to a Christmas ball, charity ball. You might be going to the theatre. You might be going to, a, to the theatre, mightn't you? Yes. Uh, right then, um, that is a very naughty price, Mr Pascoe. Twelve ninety-five, dingity dong. So get. If, let me tell you how you check out. Shall I? In case you're new to us, we've got our own jewelry maker app. It's free to download to your tablet, your your PC, your phone, whatever you want. Just go onto your app store, search for jewelry maker. We come up, click on get it, and it's yours. Register. Takes seconds, right? You can pay with your credit card or a debit card if that's your preference, or if you've got a PayPal account. Uh, we also have obviously have our own jewelrymaker.com website, and also that free phone number down there. Gets you through to our UK-based call centre, 0800 6444 655. Option one, boom, you're in. Dawn, good morning, Zena. Glad to see you are feeling better. Can't wait for today's gorgeous pearls. I'm, do you know what, Dawn? That is so sweet of you. And I must apologise again for last night. I've never come off air early, ever. I was so embarrassed. And I'm so sorry to have let you down last night. But thank you. I'm, I'm feeling much better this morning. Thank you. And it's what a lovely Zena, Fleur and crew. Fleur will be in here in a bit. She's looking amazing. I had a winter wedding before. Before I knew about JM, it would have made my life so much easier and better if I had our oh, net. Oh, bless you. A winter wedding. A winter wedding. I think a winter wedding is really magical. My mum got married in the winter time. I, I really quite fancy that. Yeah. Anyway, look at me. Uh, Swarovski Channel Chain, as we said. Look at me. <laughs> oh, I quite fancy a winter wedding. Oh, I'm really seen. 12 95 half a metre. And, uh, and as I, let me show you as a bracelet, shall I? So you could make, that's half a metre. Just think how many e really easy, um, beautiful bracelets you could make. And if I'm not mistaken, Wayne, I'm sure, darling, we've got some bolt ring clasps in the show, haven't we? Sure, I've seen them somewhere. I get them, I have dreamt it. I make these things up half the time. But um, definitely got findings, definitely got a magnetic clasp for you anyway. But look at that. Now think, of, again, if, if, if you're thinking, well, I'm not going to a wedding, it doesn't matter. What about Christmas gifts? How many beautiful bracelets could you make with that gorgeous chain? Twelve ninety-five. I reckon. I reckon you could make at least at least two, possibly three, with that by adding a clasp and possibly an extended chain, easily. And imagine being given a Swarovski bracelet or Swarovski earrings or Swarovski necklace for Christmas. Of course, you'd think that person fancied you, wouldn't you? That's amazing. And those of you, can I just say a very good morning to Robbie, Penny, Collectors, Anna, Samina, Alice, and all of you early birds. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, darling. Do you know what? I'm going to take my watch off because I think it looks a bit unsightly with all these sparkly things. I'm not having it. There you go. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. It's going to be one of them mornings. It's going to be one of them mornings. I've had, I've had a good night's sleep. You're in trouble, I'm telling you. Silver Knight. Oh, we hardly ever get these. Now, we've kept them in the packet. So you get it. You don't quite get all the sparkle, but you know how these work, don't you? These are your Swarovski crystal. And the reason we've left it in the packet as well is so you can see that they are authentic, genuine Swarovski cut in Austria. And you have there your Silver Knight. Now, I don't know about you, but I think they look very Black Diamond-esque, don't they? Terribly glam, very sexy. And you are getting a pack of 24. How, how on earth does that happen at £2.75? I mean, really. May I introduce you to my beautiful all-male team this morning? I am lucky. I have got the lovely Ollie and the beautiful Wayne because Tom's on holiday in Spain. While he's in Spain, we get Wayne. <laughs> Do you like it? We've got um, recently had a birthday, the lovely Tom Neary. He's just recently had his birthday there. He is 21 again. And of course, the absolute hunk of the team. The absolute wolfmeister himself is here. Hello, Michael. 
Yeah. Hello, darling boy. Oh, He's just had his porridge, that. people. Yeah. He's just had his po That doesn't work in a hoodie. Oh, no. Can't see it, love. And also from that angle as well. Oh, it's the angle ah, that. oh it's, that is it. You can't see the muscles because it's the angle. Yeah. Okay, Michael. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Michael. Whatever, love. Uh, and the good news is I won't be the only girl in a bit because we do have the phenomenal, the fabulous, the pearly queen herself, the lovely Fleur Hastings on the show this morning. Oh, yeah. And you wait till you see what she's going to teach you as well. So, uh, well done. Say again, darling. Number, th number three. Number three. We're giving you lots of lovely sparkle. We thought you've got to have sparkle, haven't you? So pack of 24 again. Now these are your uh, beautiful bicones. Oh, bicones with that lovely shape that you get with that beautiful uh, gorgeous. Now these are the big ones. These are the, uh, oh, the big ones. These are your light rows with some AB. So that AB stands for Aurora Borealis. You know all the lovely colors you get in the Aurora Borealis if you're lucky to see it. You get that as an effect on top and that's like a rainbow effect in those. And the way that bicones tessellate Oh, it's just gorgeous. And again, you know, if you wanted to thinking of doing like a lovely memory wire coil or bracelet, these work beautifully on those. They really do. Um, Karen said, good morning, Zeno, Fleur, Wayne, Ollie, Tom, and Michael. She's got the lot. She's got the lot. How? Oh, how? Got, oh, 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 for you, Michael. Happy Friday. Oh, Karen, thank you. You've just made his little, oh, you named every one of them. Oh, she's howled at you. Debbie says, morning all. I have a winter wedding. Oh, I'm gone next Friday. Oh, I'm gone, Debbie. Right, my son is getting married. He's the mother of all. All my jewellery has been made with JM Good. He's looking forward to the show. Oh, Debbie, a week today. You're the mother of the groom. Oh, how exciting. How exciting. <laughs> uh, wow, my goodness, mother of the groom. That's an important role, isn't it? Wow, good. Oh, well, I have an amazing day, Debbie. Have an amazing, amazing day. I hope your son has a great wedding. Well done, well done. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, my friend gets married tomorrow. Well, say my friend, I wasn't invited. <laughs> To be fair, she's having a very, she's a friend of a friend. To be fair, she's having a very intimate do, in case you all think she's a meanie. <laughs> so we've got, no, we don't get these all too often, do we? We've got the rounds here. What are you doing with these prizes this morning, Pascal? We're making no money. That is amazing. Oh, good for you lot. Do you know, don't worry about us. We want you to have a good deal. Who cares? So these are your jets, which is like jet black. Yeah. And if you want to go, I think monochrome. So whether you, or you might get some of our black pearls or, or, or you might be going for white pearls. And if you get the stunning white pearls with a black Swarovski, that monochrome, real black and white look, very, very dramatic, isn't it? Don't you think? Very, um, very, very inspiring, I think, monochrome. I think it looks fantastic, I really do. So we've got there these beautiful round Swarovski. In a four mil. And again, if you just pop those into a bracelet, just add it onto a, imagine a pair of drop pearl earrings. Yeah, we've got all the shepherd hooks for you and all the gold plate, silver, rose gold plate today. We've got the, um, we've got the stardust beads. We've got the two mil spaces as well. If you just have a pearl on a head pin, put a little Swarovski either below or above or both, really sets it off. And it gives you that added sort of pendulum mode. Do you like that? That was my pendulum impression. It's lovely. Wow, are they, I'm gonna guess, are they like eight mil? Ooh, getting my millimeters, I'm learning, Wayne. Hey, finally, it took me five years. Got there in the end. Can I just ask, have you got your microphone on, Wayne, or is it just my ear? Oh, it's just probably my ear then. Oh, there you go, that's better, hi. That's better, hi. Ooh, Wayne, you sound very sexy now. Uh, now then we have these beautiful violet. And they're a very gentle violet, aren't they? I, do you, now, you know we're all talking about winter weddings. Do you not think that's a very winter wedding tone? I do. Very ethereal, isn't it? I think that's really pretty. Hello, Mel in Essex getting two of those. And do you know what, Mel? You don't have to be polite. At that price, have as many as you like. We don't restrict you. 
Because I, I, that drives me mad, that does, when you see a really good deal on a website or in a shop, and they go, oh, it's such a good deal, we're going to limit you to two each. You're like, no, don't tell me how many I can have. I don't like that. I had this once with some alcohol, right? Bear with me. I was, I was running the, out, the, the raffle for the local drama group. It wasn't for me, right? They had this great deal on this litre bottle. I had to go in three times with three different outfits on. No, seriously, I kid you not, in Morrison's, other supermarkets are available. Thankfully, I had a cagoule in the boot. I had a hoodie in the boot. I was like, I, I, thought, I, th I must have thought it was a right alky. It was generally for raffle prizes, and I wanted the deal for my drama group. It was, honestly, and at one point, the security man followed me out, and I thought he was coming for me, and he wasn't. But I just wanted, I just wanted the deal. Anyway. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, Michael, I love you. He's just told a joke. These, oh, these are my favourite so far. These are my favourite. Blues. No, it's not a blue zircon. Just to, just to, can we just be clear? Swarovski, um, like some of the manufacturers, use the colour of gemstones to describe the colour of their crystals. So just let's not confuse anybody. It is a man-made crystal, but they are absolutely stunning. So when it says blue zircon, it's a blue zircon colour. Okay, just to make that clear. Now, what is the traditional saying for a wedding? Something old? There you go, Michael. Something new? Something borrowed? Something... Blue! Oh, blue. So, if you are working with your pearls, right? So if you've got your pearls and you want to add in just that little... You could, ha you could hide it at the back if you don't want to sort of show the blue or have it at collarbone or have it one in the centre. You could just have that and have that as your something blue, couldn't you? Couldn't you? With your pearls. Don't this, is, doesn't this poem carry on about putting something in her shoe as well? It does, doesn't it? Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, something, 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 put a something in her shoe. I'm sure that's what it... You're all laughing. That I'm sure, can somebody message in? 60777, start your text with JM Studio or message through the app or the web. I'm sure that's the rest of the poem. Do, do help me out because all the lads are laughing at me. They're all laughing at me as if to go, what are you rabbiting on about? As per usual. I'm, you laugh. You're going to have to eat your laugh in a minute. I'm telling you. They are. So they <laughs> I'm telling you. You are. Now we've got the light rose this time in your... Now the rounds are usually, usually far more expensive than the bicones. And, uh, but um, according to Wayne, he's going to ignore that and just take the price right down for six of your light rose Swarovski crystals. And Swarovski, have you, ever, have you got one in your local shopping centre? We have. And I'll tell you what, they're always, they're always busy at the Swarovski shop, aren't they? Have you been in? Have you seen that price? It's a sixpence in her shoe, is it, see? Oh, now you feel bad, don't you? Eh? Hey? Put a sixpence in her shoe. Why you won't, darling. Why is it then referenced? Why is it never? Because nobody ever gets that far, I suppose, do they? But yeah, put a sixpence in her shoe. I don't think that's very nice for the bride to have to make her wear a sixpence in her shoe. She's got enough to think about slipping on a sixpence in her shoe. That's not very fair, is it? Well, I'm just saying, if ever I get married, I am not putting a sixpence in my shoe. Not that I have a sixpence before you say, Michael. I was not born when sixpences were about. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> now then. Swarovski crystal in your peridot colour. In your really vibrant, zesty, beautiful. And this is a great way, isn't it? If, you're, um, if you go into a wedding and you've got... Because um, we do tend to dress up for a wedding, don't we? We go all out, don't we? to look beautiful for it. Because you want to make, you know, you want to make an effort, don't you? If somebody's, somebody's been kind enough to invite you to their really special day. I think it's a real privilege to go to a wedding. I really do. And, um, you know, it's important. So you've got to dress up. And it said something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, and a sixpence in her shoe. Well, there you go. Thanks, Annette. See? Annette, good job I've got a girl watching with me. How much is a sixpence worth? How much is a sixpence worth now? I don't know, darling. Can we find out? Anybody? Right, texting again. Oh, we've been so nosy today. How much is a sixpence worth these days? Any idea? Us, us whippersnappers that don't. What's a sixpence worth? Don't know. Are you hoping for a bit of cash then, Michael? Did you miss out? <laughs> £2.75. We're giving you all the colours. All the colours. 
Oh, now, who loves doing Seralyn? Or Seraloon? Depends what mood you're in. Depends how you say it. Because these... I've got the foil line back now, so this is where you can actually insert them into and, and set them into your serolin. They are gorgeous. You get these beautiful pear drops, perfectly designed. We've got, thankfully, ones turned over in the packet there for you. It hasn't just got, it's got no, it's, it's not that it hasn't got any colour, it's proven to you that, that silver sort of foil line back design. And the great thing is, usually with a gemstone, if you were to put a gemstone into serolin, obviously light needs to go through a gemstone. So the great thing that you get here is this incredible sparkle. And be, even though there's, a, there's no light being able to get through because of the way the crystal is designed by Swarovski, it doesn't make, doesn't make any difference. So you can put, pop it into your serolin, no problem. How much is a, a sixpence worth? Oh, back two and a half P. Oh. Do you know, I'm being rude, Karen. You wouldn't go for the discomfort for two and a half P, would you? Maybe two and a half grand. I'd think about it. <laughs> I'd think about hobbling up the aisle. <laughs> but, you know, two and a half P? No, don't think so. No, I don't think so. Did you enjoy your wedding day, Michael? Oh, it was, it was uh, grand, yeah. It was grand. It was, really good, yeah. was it lovely? Yeah. What about you, Ollie? Was it lovely? What about you, Wayne? You haven't got married. He's got 74 kids as well. <laughs> You're not married. I'm so sorry. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit awkward, wasn't it? I'm so sorry. Genuinely sorry. How many kids you got? He's got like 74. He has. He's got like 74 kids. He has. Not that that makes any difference. <laughs> Which is awkward. Moving on, moving swiftly on. Do you know what? I love it when you actually see the Aurora Borealis effect to that degree in the, in the lighting box. That is full of rainbow colour. It's like a Harlequin effect, isn't it? Utterly stunning. And that, I think that has got to be the perfect Swarovski for a wedding. Hasn't it? You have got these phenomenal high-performance eight excuse me, 8 mil round, stunning Swarovski with a very generous, there you go, look, can you see? Very generous hole. I don't know how to say that more attractively. It doesn't sound right, does it? A very generous hole. But, um, so, so you, so it just doesn't, I don't know how to say that without it sounding weird. Aperture. Aperture makes me sound a bit, you know, like, a, like an architecture. Architect even. <laughs> architecture? Architect. I don't know what I'm saying, just ignore me. Anyway, so... Beautiful coating with the AB, stunning eight mil beads. Um, and I just think one, again, I'm just gonna prove one of those. I mean, one of those with these pearls, because you've got these lovely sized pearls. Got all these coming up on the show today. An action packed show, I tell you. You are not gonna get your breath today. Imagine just one of those in the center of there, or one either side of the center to give it a focal point. Because then you need to, obviously, for scale-wise versus the size of those beautiful pearls, you need to sort of up the size of the Swarovski a little bit to balance it out, don't you? Do you know, those, uh, the per these pearls here, which are incredible, we could only get 19 of them. That's how special those are. I mean, oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, Debbie, mo they're mother of the groom pearls, aren't they? They are. Because I tell you what, everybody looks, don't they? The mother of the groom, the mother of the bride. You'll be, everybody will be looking at you as well. Oh, I just saw you. Just bear that in mind when you're doing your hair at the back. A lot of people get the back view, don't they? What they do when you're in the church or, or wherever you're getting married or the registry office or the hotel or whatever it might be. Jeez, Oi, hello. Now we're going very, very, very contemporary, aren't we, with a rhombus. A beautiful equilateral four-sided shape. Twelve of these. They come in different sizes, the packets. So just you, you buy in numbers with Swarovski. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, can you imagine? Tell you what, if you had those on a sterling silver head pin with your pearl, they'd sort of spin and rotate, wouldn't they? You'd get some movement. So I think that would look really lovely especially in a pair of drop earrings. Yeah, 4.95 on these Swarovski for you, 4.95. Can we just divide that by 12 and just get an idea of how naughty you've just gone, please, Pasco? Yeah, about 41p, yeah? 41p, that's awesome. Now, we're, well, 
I don't like to call it a cue on the phone line. I think it's a bit of a, a bit of a spa moment, a bit of a chillax, right? Because my attitude is bit of a, there's a nice bit of music when you ring our call centre. You might have a cup of tea or coffee in your hand. You're lying there in your PJs or your dressing gown. Or, isn't that a funny word, dressing gown or whatever it is? And uh, you're relaxing. You think, do you know what? I'm all right. It's my Friday. I'm okay. So, you know, so uh, 4 95 <laughs> 4.95 on those is brilliant, brilliant. Good morning, Hertrude. Good morning. Good morning. Very busy this morning. You wait. Oh, the day we've got for you. Oh, we have got. Ooh. Now, what colour is that? Is it got mm, golden shadow? It's the golden shadow. Da 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 da. da. Carry it away like a golden shadow. I love it. You're telling? It was, was it Mike Oldfield? I can't remember. Or was it Enya? No, it's Mike Oldfield. I'm sure of it. Oh, is it? Are you sure of it? You don't look sure in your face. Yeah, it is. Your, your facial expression isn't giving me a surety. Obviously, it was a female singer, but it was Mike Oldfield that wrote it. I think. Was it Enya singing? No, I think it's oh. like 70s, wasn't it? Late 70s? Late 70s, was it? Golden Shadow? Early was 70s, it? Yeah. Can anybody help, Michael? Um, he does need help. Mini Rhombus Aswarovsky. Golden Shadow is terribly, terribly popular. One of the, one of the, mo one of the really good selling uh, colours of Swarovski. It's got a beautiful golden, lovely sunshine warmth to it. It really is complex. Great for vintage, because there's vintage weddings that go on, aren't there as well? Vintage weddings are becoming really popular. Mind you, I'd be, I'd be a vintage wedding, wouldn't I? <laughs> You've got to laugh, haven't you? Anyway. Oh, you got more Swarovski. Oh, hello. Gosh, where did they all come from? Oh, brilliant. Oh, they... We... Oh, great. <laughs> now then. Amethyst colour this time. Amethyst round Swarovski. They are glorious. Just look, have you seen that coming up box in the corner of the screen there? Just giving you a little sneaky peek, little sneaky preview of just some of the styles, shapes, um, colours of the pearls that we've got in this show this morning, all hand selected for you. Personally by Caroline and Marie on our buying team. Every single one has been hand selected. So Swarovski round beads or crystals, well, we call them beads, really, but they're crystals, aren't they? But uh, stunning sparkle. And that's the lovely thing. I, do you know what? It's like when you watch Strictly, isn't it? Da, 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 da. And you get all those big burly cricketers and rugby players and all these masculine men. What do they want? They want the tight lycra. They want the crystal. They want the sparkle. They can't wait. They can't wait. You can't beat a bit of sparkle. You just can't. Oh, do you know? Let, oh, yes. Oh, come on. Let me just show you that. Look at that. That is a bracelet. You, oh, get in. Oh, my. I tell you, I am, I'm going to make a massive statement now, and it is a massive statement, but I'm going to say it anyway. I do not believe that there is a single lady, girl, anybody in your friendship circle or your family that would not love to receive that as a gift. I'm, I'm going to say it. I can't, I can't think of a single person that wouldn't. There isn't a single one of my girlfriends or my family girls that wouldn't absolutely love that. I, I, let me work, 17, I, I, that's ridiculous. That is, just bear with me a sec, right? Would you mind? So six, 12, you're going to make easily two full bracelets with a mat. I reckon you could do two full bracelets. Six, let's say six inch, that goes to 12 inch. You've still then got uh, about seven inches. You could, do, you could either do about, yeah, I reckon you could do two, two full bracelets and a drop set of earrings and a pendant twice out of that for 17.95 I, I do I mean you could go you could go choker couldn't you if you wanted to 
You know, you could do a drop pendant. Look at that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. How sexy is that? Oh, hello. Oh, I like that. Oh, actually, can I just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to the theatre this evening. I could wear that, couldn't I? I'm going to the diary of Anne Frank. I don't think... Yeah? <laughs> I don't think we're... It's not a comedy. <laughs> no, it looks amazing. I was supposed to be in it, Ollie. And I couldn't do the rehearsal schedule, I oh, know. So I'm gonna go and see my drama group do it tonight, I can't wait. I really wanted to be in that. It's amazing, amazing story, isn't it? Very uh, incredible. <laughs> yes, basically, Ollie. <laughs> yeah, it's been an amazing show, won't it, you know. Sorry, say that again, darling. Somebody's asked what, le what, what length they are. Okay, the, um, the uh, loose rope chain, sterling silver deal of the day today, um, 18 inch each one of them. Okay, 18 inch on your loose rope chain. You can get those at 11 a.m. today. And those of you not on London Greenwich Mean Time, that is in uh, two and a half hours. All oh, the clocks go back tomorrow night, don't they? All the early hours of Sunday morning. It's about two o'clock in the morning, isn't it, officially? Yeah. Oh, that'll be lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on, do we get an extra hour? Oh, we get an extra hour in bed. Oh, wicked. Brilliant. That's good news then. Uh, so, rhodium plating, so you get your um, anti tarnish, a uh, lot longer anti tarnish with rhodium plate. Rhodium plate's part of the platinum family. Um, and you get this half a meter again in your uh, crystal channel chain. And that, again, utterly beautiful. You can separate these out if you wanted to. You don't have to use a whole half a meter in one go, of course. And again, if you want to make... Now then, here's an idea. You know, you tend to have to buy um, uh, uh, bridesmaids gifts, don't you? Yeah? So would that not be a lovely little bracelet in a bracelet box for your bridesmaids? Do you think? Yeah? Because this is the great thing about these length of chains. I, I mean, like my, when my cousin's daughter got married uh, a couple of years ago, she had five, five or seven <coughs> bridesmaids. Five, I think it was. Two grown-up ladies and three young girls. So obviously, if you bought, went to a shop and bought a standard bracelet length, it's going to be either too big for the little girls or too, whatever. So this is the great thing about making your own jewellery. You can customise the size of the bracelet, depending on this, because you might have a little flower girl for a wedding. And you can customise the size of that, which is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, great. Ooh, wow! What, well, seen them before? They're funky. Ooh! They are, look at that. Black, oh, I like those. Oh, hello, oh, I fancy turning. You could turn that, oi, yay, yay, yay. Oh, can you write the code down of them for me, mate? Please, for later. Oh, hello. Oh, I do like that. I, I think they're very Christmassy. I think they're very Christmassy, those. It's like, a, it's like a snowstorm at night. It's obsidian. Yeah. Snowflake. I really like them. Do you know what? For, oh, for goodness sake. It's about £1.8p each, really? You put that on a head pin. You dangle that from a pair of shepherd hooks and one on a pendant. Look at the money. And the good news is we've got sterling silver shepherd hooks on the show. We've got rose gold plate. We've got yellow gold plate. We got two mil spacers. We had a. You asked. You had Marie on the show yesterday with Elle. Yeah, I saw. You asked what everybody wants. That's a good idea, isn't it? That's what they wanted. Well, there you go. What are the spacers? The row. Okay. Apparently, you were asking for all these things yesterday, and they're in the show. I said, oh, "That's good service, isn't it? That's good service, isn't it? Three pounds twenty. Hello, Bev. Hello." Bev, how's our lovely Bev? Bev made me a beautiful, um, it's got my name on it. She did me a seed beaded covered with my name on a Christmas bauble. Yeah, and she made one for Elle's little girl, Willow. Bev, Bev that's just bought, yeah. It's really nice, really lovely. Uh, three pounds 25 on those. And um, have you written the code down for me, darling? Thank you, thank you. Uh, jo likes those as well. She's had three. Collector in West Yorkshire, you've had two. Help yourself to as many as you like. All right. Three pounds and 25p. I think they're very, very sexy. And start, again, don't worry too much about the winter wedding if you're, not going, if you're not interested in a winter wedding. Just think about your Christmas gifts. 
Because we're all thinking about, I actually bought, um, oh, do you want to bought yesterday? Oh, I'll tell you what, Ollie, I think you'd like these, right? Hand washes, bear with me, from some fuzzy duck or something like that. Uh, but they're really good. They're like gin and tonic and espresso martini. Oh, uh, do you know what? They worked out to be in my favourite Costco shop. £1.25 each for a cheese. And they look really... I'll tell you what, I'm going to send you a photograph, lads. I think you're going to want some. They're really nice. They are really nice. Wash, wash yourself in gin and tonic. Oh, <laughs> very sexy. Uh, right then, so now we're talking about uh, aquamarine. Mind you, you'd smell like you've got a problem, wouldn't you? You'd have to be very careful, wouldn't you? Are you a bit of a drinker? No. Uh, eight mil zillion. Oh, these are so sexy. And again, we're talking about this all the time, aren't we? Aquamarine was the original. Aquamarine was the original engagement stone. So if you are thinking about and you make for weddings and you make you get commissioned to make wedding jewellery, if you've got an, it isn't obviously aquamarine, but it's an aquamarine colour crystal, and you add that in as, and you talk about that being the original uh, engagement stone, then it's just a nice, you know, it's a nice story, isn't it, behind it? Eight mil bicones, very dramatic, very sparkly. Good morning, Philip and Maureen. Who's that, darling? Poppy. Oh, can I just say for everybody message, I feel so embarrassed about last night, I'm so sorry. I've never had to come off air before, it was really embarrassing. You've all been so lovely, and all the messages coming in this morning, thank you so much, you are lovely, thank you. I'm much, 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 promise you much better this morning, I feel much, much better. So thank you, thank you. <laughs> so embarrassed last night, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh. Honestly, thank you for all being so lovely. You are kind. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, that's so lovely. Oh. I'm bringing cheesecake in tomorrow. Oh, you are. I made a cheesecake this week. Oh, I saw yours on, on Facebook. That, oh, that was, that was one that Leah... Wanted, and so I've made a one. Oh, have you? Oh, you're lovely. Oh, yeah, I made a ginger and pineapple cheesecake this week. Pineapple? Which is, sorry about this. I do apologise. It's got Sorosky here, but, you know. Um, um, just quickly, part baked with ginger in it, you part bake it, and then you just crush, you put crushed pineapple around the edge at the top as, a, as like, a topping. It's really nice. Don't you bring your piece in tomorrow? Well, let's exchange cheesecake. Let's exchange cheesecake. <laughs> OK, we're going to have a cheesecake exchange tomorrow, Michael and I. Now that's an unusual, I've got to be honest, what an unusual description, I've never seen that. A jelly fish flat back, no, no hot fix, no hot fix, that's the best description I've ever seen. Blush rose, no hot fix, can you, can you ask me if you can hot fix this Michael? Can you hot fix this? No hot fix. <laughs> Hilarious. I don't believe you can hot fix these, but there you go. And it's a jellyfish flat back. I don't know what a jellyfish flat back is. I can't help you, but it's a no hot fix. Blush rose. That's hilarious. Best description of a Swarovski ever. Uh, £3.65. That'd be nice to prong set in a ring, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be easy. Because look at all those beautiful edges on the... Uh, no hot fix. <laughs> you know, honestly, the slightest things entertain us, don't they? Don't they? Slightest things. <laughs> Tickle me that us. I don't want a fish flat back, is either. <laughs> no, I can't help you. <laughs> if anyone wants to enlighten me, you're more than welcome. Cosmic, these are, Michael. Cosmic. Wow. Do you know, Wayne, can I just say, Wayne, Thanks. I've not worked with you for a long time. I was so excited, but I'm uh, changing my mind at the minute. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. See me in the break. See me in the studio in the break. <laughs> so anyway, these are 12 mil. Gorgeous golden shadow cosmic beads at 3.95 in your Swarovski. Code is SGSQ40. Uh, beautiful Swarovski. Speaking of beautiful, there's a beautiful lady just joined me in the studio. The lovely Fleur. 
she's just been on her honeymoon. Speaking of winter weddings, haven't you? Seven years. Took her seven years to go on her honeymoon, but she got there. It's she a got great there. Place to have a honeymoon. She's a great place to have a honeymoon. And she's back and looking beautiful. So we've got. Um, oh, hang on, is that right? That's not a long bit. Hang on. Oh, you jumped. Well, you could have won me. Yeah, I didn't listen to you. <laughs> oh, we're getting silly now, aren't we? We are. We're getting silly. That is a long navette. Not a baguette, a navette. In a sparkling crystal. Lovely shape. Again, these are foil line back, so these are ideal for you, Serilyn. And they are stunning. Beautiful shape. Very, very uh, sleek, aren't they? Sleek Swarovski. <laughs> for £1.95p. Oh, I've now got the boys in the gallery very much excited about it. Oh, I could just eat a baguette. Oh, a sausage and bacon baguette. Or a bacon and egg. Oh, sausage. Bacon and egg. Bacon and egg, would you be, Fleur? Bacon and a runny egg. No. No, do you not like a runny egg, Fleur? I'm a, me I'm a messy eater. Are you? Do you know, that doesn't surprise me about you. Yeah, and a, and a runny egg's just... Runny egg's too much yeah. messy. On a plate, that's fine. Not in a sandwich. Fleur Hastings is in the building. <laughs> Woo! Hi, <Hi>, Fleur. <laughs> Fleur, she's very excited about this morning. I am. She's beside herself. She is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I got the right. Hang on, hang on. He's going to tell me. He's going to tell me after I didn't listen again. Have you gone back to those now? Oh, you're a monkey. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, stop it. Fourteen mil. Honestly. <laughs> now this time we're talking £1.99 for each one of those. £1.99. You could, I'll tell you what, right? You add that to one of our loose rope sterling silver deal of the day chains today and you've got a beautiful necklace. And the good thing is, we're only giving you three sterling silver chains to go with the three crystal AB Swarovski 14 mil round crystals there. Yeah? With I'm going to show you, 11 o'clock this morning. ding a -de dong You can get those three Swarovski to go with the three loose rope chains. That would make a very cost effective, um, in fact, let me work it out. Right, am I allowed to say? I'm gonna do it, I don't care, I'm gonna do it. Right, let me work out. Right, I'm telling you now, right, with a sterling silver head pin, yeah? One of those, one of those, you can make that for a secret Santa less than a tenner. Boom! Just saying. Just saying. Think about it. Think about it. Uh... You're regretting it now, aren't you, Wayne? <laughs> I love this one. He's great. <laughs> Beautiful draw. Oh, briolette pendant. Nice. Briolette pendant, briolette earrings, whatever you fancy, in graphite. A great name. Look at that facet work. They, they, you can't beat Srofsky, can you? On a facety crystal. You just can't. I mean, that is top drawer, isn't it? And again, lovely and dressy and just jet black. I say jet black, it's graphite, so it's like a grey black. It's beautiful. Because the jet's jet and the graphite's like a, like a, like a grey black. Can you see? Look, it's got like an inner shadow. It's actually very, very sexy. I keep, I, do th I keep saying the word sexy, but I'm sorry, Swarovski is sexy. End of. End of. Imagine that white pearl necklace and just a drop of the black to give you that subtle monochrome. That'd look lovely as well, wouldn't it? Yeah? Three of those for £4.95. Okay, one more Swarovski treat and then we are going to have a look at what you've been up to. Did you say... um? Okay, darling. Here we go. What colour are these? Is that blush again? Is that rose blush? Light rose? Rose blush? Blush rose. Said it the wrong way around. Blush rose. It's a bit like the colour of your hair, Tom Neary. Blush rose. Is it? Yeah. I think so. 
just me then, is it? Poor Tom's walked off now in disgust. Skin, though. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just gone. He's just flounced down the street. I don't think he's very impressed with my description of his hair. <laughs> oh dear. Blush Rose Briolette Swarovski with a six pack. Uh, <laughs> he said you're not getting any tea now this morning, love. In those eight mil blush rose, three pounds forty. But which one's blush near uh, Blush Neary. Should we call him Blush Neary? That's calling blush nearer. Two levels, I don't think you Oh dear, it's going to be one of those days, I tell you. Right then, my lovelies, I'm going to mosey on over to this fabulous lady, and we are going to turn the cameras around, and we're going to have a little feast of what you've been up to. It's your wall of fame. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Flo Hastings. Hello. Yeah. How was your honeymoon? How was your honeymoon? Yeah, it's lovely, really lovely. Yeah. You went to that restaurant that we all went to, that Michael yeah. recommended. Yeah, it's we lovely, went for isn't it? Yeah. With the arches. Yeah. yeah. We went for dinner, but we'd had a few, so I don't remember much of it, but oh. it was really nice. <laughs> Did you have Aperol spritz as well? No. Oh, I had about two hundred pounds worth of Aperol did spritz. Did you? Yes. Yeah, I, every, yeah. I did see that there was a lot of photogra photographs yeah. with you with an Aperol spritz. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Yes. Um, I've got one more than you. Shall, shall I go, go on, for then. mine? Not at all. Um. Yvonne. Wow. Hi all at JM. My entry for this week's Wall of Fame is a silver clay sycamore seed. Oh, I live on sycamore. Close, Yvonne. Oh, I need to get one of these. Or helicopter, as we called them when we were children. We did, didn't we? The helicopters, yeah. I used the silicon moulding compound and I art clay silver all purchased from JM. I managed to get hold of Tracy Spurgeon's new DVD yesterday showing how to make a birdhouse pendant from silver clay and I can't wait for it to arrive. Keep up the good work, everyone. Yvonne, isn't she brilliant? Tracy She's, Sturgeon. Yeah, that, that looks a beautiful It doesn't DVD. it though? Yeah, really I went beautiful. into a workshop yesterday and they were all making a baby fingerprint. Fingerprints, oh, yeah. Oh, it was yeah, lovely. Yeah, Yvonne, really gorgeous. beautiful. Well done you. You're in the draw and your number is 291. Write it down. I've got number 288 and this is from D in commentary. It says, hello and morning to all at JM. I really enjoyed Fleur's demo on Marla bracelets. Now I can't stop making them. So easy and quick. I used different quartzes, three with Druzy. Good luck to all. And that's from D in commentary. Yeah, that was last week. So we showed how to make that Marla. How does that bracelet. make you feel when, somebody, you, when somebody's done that after what you've shown them? Really? Actually, I'm going to out Michael Wolf about that show. Oh, yes. what's he done? What's he done so now? So I made a bracelet. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I Has made he a nicked bracelet it? And he put it on his wrist, and he tootled off. It's on my bedside table. <laughs> with it. And I. Um, this is the one that I made on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so you're outing yourself as well. I'm outing myself. No, this was a demo piece that I made. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh my word. Oh, wow. and isn't that well photographed as well? Yeah. Oh, that's Beautiful. lovely. Oh, Jane from Southsea. Hi, Jane. Here is this week's entry to lovely, delicate netted bracelets that are so comfy and lovely to wear. I love the netting technique and I use it often. Good luck to me and all others, although I could really do with a win, please. Jane, we'll see what we can do. It's at random, as you know, in the tombola, but write your number down, 287 and uh, fingers crossed for Wednesday. Some beautiful Some felt, felt Number 286. This is from June and it says, Hi all, today I tried my hand at needle felting. I bought a teddy bear kit, however I decided to make a horse as my husband and I think they are majestic animals. This is his early Christmas Aww. present. I'm being very organised and getting my Christmas makes done early and buying lots of JM goodies to make with them. Good luck to all. And that's from June. Oh. I had a dream to to last night that I'd bought all my Christmas presents and wrapped them. Really? Um, oh, well, that'd be a nightmare for me. I like doing that on the last minute. I'm last minute, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Wow. I mean, perfect for winter wedding. Yeah. Perfect. And it's Sharon. Sharon says, hi all at JM. My entry for this week's Wall of Fame is two bracelets that I made using the pearl bridal theme. I'm practicing, well, you're gonna love this weekend, Sharon. They are both following the same pattern of circles, but the first is made from pearl nuggets and the second from shell pearls. I'm not sure which I prefer. All components as usual are from JM. Good luck to everyone in the jaw. Do you know what, Sharon? I'm not sure which one. I can't, 
I can't choose between yeah. them either. 285, darling. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? Oh, they're lovely. Number 284, and this is from Jean. It says, hi, uh, hi everyone, hope you're well. My entry for this week's Wall of Fame is a pair of reversible stone and silver, pink and blue opal cufflinks, which I've made for my dad, whose birthstone is opal. The design was inspired by one of the JM tu online tutorials. Oh, I hope you like it. Good luck to everyone at the draw. Take care, and that's from Jean. That's lovely. That's aren't beautiful. they lovely? Gorgeous, aren't they? Really nice to see a pair of cufflinks. They're beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. Oh, wow. I mean, just classical, beautiful, simple, fabulous. Maggie. Hi all at JM. Here is this week's entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a smooth, not plain. Thank you for that, Maggie. We don't use the P word, do we, darling? <laughs> Ruby rundown and gold-plated sterling silver bracelet and earring set with pearls. Everything is from JM because where else? Could you buy such quality? Well, I don't disagree with you, Maggie, love. Good luck to all this week from Maggie. Maggie289, you are in the draw, and that is beautiful. Now, for those of you inspired by those wedding designs, we are just kick-starting three full days of our winter wedding weekend, and we are overflowing, as I said this morning, with wedding favours. It's just the best and the jewellery that Fleur's made, the demo, everything is just incredible. We've got the silks in all the new colours, brand new magnetic beautiful oval uh, clasps. Yeah, see oh, those. That is lush. They're really nice, yeah, yeah. I really like Thank those. You. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, they're really lovely. Because that's the one thing that, that you say as well. When, when you're making pearl jewellery, people look at the pearls, but then the first thing they do is turn yeah. it around to look at the clasp, yeah, look isn't at it? The clasp. Yeah, because the, you know, the, if it's not a weighted piece, the clasp will turn around. So yeah. you want that beautiful clasp. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, so Swarovski chunky pears. Now these are, sometimes you want a large Swarovski, sometimes you want a tiny little sliver like we had in the Nevet, depending on the design, depending on the space, especially if you've got the Serolin, you might want to make a big feature piece. You could bezel set these if you wanted to. There's so many options. I mean, those as earrings for a wedding, for a bride, they'd look superb, wouldn't they? Absolutely. You know, imagine that with you. Because a lot of brides wear their hair up, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. You know. I wore mine half up and half down. Could you not decide? No, I'm, I don't suit my hair all, all up. up. So you didn't go for a full updo? No, I didn't have a full updo. I had half up, half down. Half up, half down. <laughs> yeah. Northern thing, isn't it? Yeah. Half and half. <laughs> it's a brummy thing, half and half as well. Is when we it? go for a curry, we have half chips and half rice. Really? Yeah, half and half. Oh. Yeah, you're not bad at that. In your half that's half, like yeah. a, a pint of um, diesel. Half lager, half cider and black. Oh, they call that a snake bite, don't they, or something? I thought a snake bite has... Does that I thought it was half vodka? lager, half... No, a snake bite's half lager, half cider. Oh, is That's it? That's a snake bite. Oh, we... Other could... drinks are available. Yeah. Uh, Mickey Mouse. D okay, okay. What are you I'm going out with her. She's putting vodka in her beer. Have you had a Mickey, have a Mickey Mouse? That, a Mickey that, Mouse? That's a Birmingham thing. Is it Mickey Mouse? That's half, half mild, half bitter. Half mild, half bitter. Ah. Oh. Good morning, it's 10 to 9. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's the, uh, yes. Anyway, uh, they're not right. Michael. I can make myself look stupid, mate. I don't need you. Oh, oh. Oh, oh did see you that. see that? Oh, we've got a bit of attitude then. It's all going on. Actually, I could show you the I could show you the code on the web if there's a photo. If there's a shall I do that, Michael? Because you're looking very vacant and it doesn't become you. <laughs> right then, let's have a look. I, I've mastered this now. I might have talked a bit early. Say, might not, was, hang um, on, Fleur. I might not. <laughs> oh, I'm quite surprised. I know. All right. <laughs> I've got to surprise myself in a minute. <laughs> let's just see if it actually works. Right here we go. Here we go. I think I've done it. I'll oh, get yes. in. Oh, hello, Hannah. Hannah's just popped up. All right, get, okay, get off. Um, there you go. That is your silver knight. Yeah, so apologies I don't have in the studio, but the shape. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? They are pretty, aren't they? Gorgeous, uh, we call them pendants, but again, as a jewelry maker, we know exactly what you'll do. The first thing a jewelry maker does, when something is to you, you're told what it is, you think, what else can I do? Yeah. What else can I do with it? Don't want to do it. Uh, have you just found them? Okay, there you go. What did you find then? You're brilliant, Michael. Oh, yeah. He was just teasing. He was just teasing everybody. 
They're definitely Christmas party. I Christmas totally agree. Party. Earrings I would have with yeah. those. You coming to the Christmas party? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When is the Christmas party, Chloe? When's the Christmas party? Is it the 12th? Ooh, we're having a Christmas party. We're having a Christmas party on the 12th. It's very exciting. We don't know where it is yet, but we just, we'll, we'll all just go somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can't go back where we went last year. No, no, we can't. <laughs> not, 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 yeah. Fleur was banned. Claire McDonald was banned. They were all banned. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, oh, hang on, here access. it goes. Now all the stories are coming out. <laughs> right, do join us after the break. You are not going to believe what we've got for you. Don't you go anywhere. I'm delighted to announce that for the first time in jewellery maker history, I'm coming on tour. I'm coming up to Harrogate on Saturday the 7th of December to do an amazing workshop. You'll be able to buy tickets for this workshop this Sunday during the morning show, the 27th of October, so we look forward to seeing you then. It's winter wedding weekend here at Jewelry Maker Towers this weekend. So if you're looking for some beautiful pearls, some incredible findings, then join us. I'll be here on the Friday mid show and the Saturday mid show. On the Friday mid show, we have got a 40 piece sterling silver findings pack. Make sure you're in for that one. Now we've got some pearls, we've got all sorts of other elements. On Saturday, we've got some top drilled Baroque pearls that are not to be missed. Of course, amongst so many other fantastic products, I know that you are going to just love. I can't wait, so join me and a host of all the other gorgeous ones here at Jewelry Maker Friday and Saturday for the winter wedding extravaganza. Good morning. I still can't get used to not having a fringe now. I just said to Michael, does my hair look all right? Oh, God, yeah. Can't get used to it. I hadn't even noticed. 
What have you got ready for your fringe? Well, I just thought I'd have a bit of a change. Oh, I'd love to get rid of my because fringe. It's a nightmare, isn't it? It's you know, a, yeah, you I can't hate see, mine. and then yeah, you have to have it and then you have the curtains when it goes too yeah. long, which I've got at the so minute. I've, um, I'm going to try and uh, try it looks and nice. go without. Go without. Well, you are brave. That's a big move. It is. That's a Especially big move. Especially with wrinkles. I've got wrinkles. I've got wrinkles. Fill the, fill the for in 92, with, um, you're looking great. I look amazing for 92, <laughs> don't I? I feel 92. <laughs> It's not just me, love. Now then, um, this lady, yeah, I, I don't think there's anything this lady doesn't know about pearls. She's the perfect woman for this morning. Absolutely perfect. I love, love having a show with Fleur when we got pearls. I really do. Uh, because you are, the th uh, thing is, you, you're quite a nerd. I am a nerd, When yeah, it comes to pearls. You don't mind me saying no, that, do you? No, not at all. You're a geek. I can show you my, pearl um, geek. my the things I've just been looking at outside and it was about pearls. Mm. Honestly, yeah. she will read and read and read, and she's just fascinating. Proper, proper geeky, nerdy pearl I am. freak. <laughs> she I is. Am. You know, I, I mean that in the nicest way. I'd love that on a t shirt. <laughs> <You would. laughs> and please don't message in and say I'm being rude to Fleur. Oh, I'm no, not. No, no, she's, she's not she, being rude. She resembles no. this remark. <laughs> yes, yes. I, um, I, I will happily wear that badge. She'll take that. She'll take I'll that. I'll happily wear that badge. Now then, we've got some amazing pearl kits, which Fleur has done her, worked her magic with as always, but we are limited. Now, this one's got less than 50. So if you do fancy it, um, all of these beautiful components, please, I don't even think I've seen that colour of silk before. We've had it a couple of times, but not very often at all. And not in this size either. Yeah, this is a there new you size. go. I'll show you that in a moment. Very, very lovely, that, actually. So let's start, because there's some beautiful components to these kits for you this morning. As I said, it's a 40... Oh, hi, Captain. 14, how many? 48. He's put a captain's hat on for some reason, but there you go. He had a shower cap on earlier. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, he was dressed, wasn't he? Please <laughs> tell me that. <laughs> there's an image I don't need this early in the morning. So then, with this incredible kit, you get these. Now, Fleur, because obviously I can chat about these things, but I think you are so, so well read. How do we get a sh How Can you explain how do we get a shape of a pearl like that? So with a bee or pearl, a bee yeah. or pearl does come from a certain mollusk. Yeah. So um, certain mollusks will produce different um, pearls. It's fascinating, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so um, most of our freshwater culture pearls comes from um, like a, a, a big mussel, if you like. So you can, you, they can house lots and lots of pearls. But with bee or pearls, they come from um, a slightly different mollusk and they grow these beautiful elongated pearls. Yeah. So you can see that it's not grown as a round shape. It's no, grown as a, um, a sort of like a long, thinner pearl yeah now they first they got their name beaver pearl from the late beaver which they very first were found. that's where they were because those, those are gone now pretty much haven't they well, they they didn't after the the big tsunami um, yeah. a couple of years ago yeah. unfortunately that lake got uh, contaminated and um, they and the the mollusks that grow beaver pearls are like the diva of Ooh, yeah. the mollusk world. Yeah. And they didn't like any other water that they were putting because it didn't have the right sort of like chemical like balance, like enzymes yeah. and sort like acid all, and alkali. It? No, it didn't suit them. Now they've worked out that they, where they where they like and what they you know what they like. So we can now start to produce beaver mm. pearls again. But yeah, I mean they are they're absolutely beautiful and they are probably one of the only pearls that are like pure nacre. They yeah. are just pure yeah. pure pearl if you like all the way through. There's no bead nucleus that technically doesn't go into so you get um, lovely iridescence. So you get don't lovely you? iridescence all the way through. You get mm. these ones in particular are very uh, voluptuous. If you can see the depth of yeah. these pearls, they are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Compared to a normal, well, not a normal bee, no, but not a bee. Like the more, bee that are next to you. They're deeper, yeah. They're a lot shallower. Yeah, let me show you that. Let me show you that. Because you know that's a really good point. They are bee tend to be skinnier, yeah, yeah, don't they? Yeah, and more textured on the surface. So you can see that that is what we sort of like. If you were to say to somebody who knows about pearls, a bee with pearl, that's the, the that's the, more what we picture. That's what we picture. Yeah, yeah. Textbooks. That's yeah. it. Whereas these, these these are unusual. These ones, they, I mean, nowadays they can hybrid mollusks, so they can take that yeah. mollusk that that produces the bee, and they can hybrid it with yeah. a mollusk that produces a beautiful pearlescence. Yeah. And that's when they can start to yeah. get these amazing like pearls. A, like a pedigree, isn't it? Yeah, Effectively, it is. a pedigree. If you can yeah. imagine, that's a large pearl, yeah. you know, and that would, you know, yeah. probably one, maybe two per mollusk, and awesome. that's all you're going to wow. get. Wow. I tell you what we'll do, we'll get the clock in, so you all know that you've got a minute to get it, okay? A minute to get yourselves on the phone, get yourselves poised, 
So you can start that for me, Ollie, and I'll show you the rest of the... Uh... Thank you, darling. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. First, you've got these beautiful uh, components. Really beautiful. Really pretty, these yeah, are. Yeah, they are, aren't very, they? Very, very pretty. And that could be pendant, earrings, yeah, I've used, rosary links. Yeah, I've used mine as a, an earring, pair yeah. of earrings, and then the centre of a, of a lovely little bracelet, because yeah. I just thought that the, with the next kit that's coming up, yeah. that they just went so beautifully they do. With, those, um, yeah. with those little peacock Really girls. beautiful. And if you don't mind me saying, a nice, simple make as well, because it doesn't have to be difficult, simple. does it? No, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. And that's, I think, the thing with pearl jewellery, you don't have yeah, to make exactly. it difficult. And this is the colour of the, of the silk I'm talking about in uh, in uh, size four, which you you don't think we've had before, do you? Not in this colour. We've had size four silks before, but I don't think we've had this colour in size four, which is really great. Um, it's perfect for a, for a wedding, isn't it? You know, for either um, mother of the bride, yeah. Because mother of the bride tends to wear blue. Yeah, so yeah. So this lilac blue, would yeah, be perfect. absolutely. So if you fancy those th three beautiful components uh, with the pearls, with the Biwa pearls, with these, and it. Is a, it is a hint of this beautiful lilac. It's uh, is that what we call this silk thread? Is it? Yeah, lilac yeah. with the needle in built. And this is your favourite. Well, this is the only silk this you is the use. Only silk I use. Yeah, yeah. So because of that needle already built onto there, I can start working straight away. I don't yeah. have to condition this silk. I don't have to thread a needle. Mm -hmm. It's there, ready for me to go. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you've got the white freshwater, very unusual depth to those, and as as Fleur said, a very it is a very voluptuous B one. It truly is. With your 925 sterling silver pearl connectors, you get three of those as well, and your two meters of your silk, which should do about a meter's worth of pearl knotting. Is that right? Yes, so you yeah. need, for the, for the single knotted techniques, you need double the amount of silk for the length that you're gonna use. Okay, okay. Um, right then, so, the I'll give you an idea roughly, shall I, how many BYs you're getting on there, would that help? Just to try, if you're working it out, yeah? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, gosh, there's more than I thought. There's 17 on my strand there. Yeah. Why? And they are feature pearls as well. I mean, I've used them as feature pearls. I've not used them as one whole necklace. Yeah, that's I mean, lovely. You, you could, if you wanted to, use them as one whole necklace. But for me, I wanted them to be that, that feature yeah, that, within that. Yeah. I mean, you can see then when you take them Love apart, that. just how amazing those yeah. pearls are. That's the kind of thing, I don't know about, now obviously you sell your jewellery, yep. I would imagine you're pretty confident that every single item that you've made there is pretty much a guaranteed sell. Yeah, well that's, I think with me, with pearl jewellery, I think I always, I will always make things that may be more commercialised, you know, yeah. that, that you okay. would see, you know, you can go to town with pearls and you can do lots of different like mm. wire work techniques mm. and that kind of thing, but if you give me pearls and silk, I will always make something yeah. which is more classic, I more suppose, classical, yeah. rather than contemporary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, you know, and... Uh, because that's, uh, for me, that's what sells. Yeah. That, I mean, and these kind of pearls. If I put this on my stand, if I put that necklace on my stand, I can guarantee that would go. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Away. I'm not surprised. Now then, when you see the price of this kit, you really will be... Fleur's just heard the price. Yeah. I think... That's the price that's of the B-Wars. That's the price of those B-Wars. That, 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 I'm totally in agreement with you, Fleur. That's the price of the B-Wars. You're getting the three sterling silver pearl components and your two metres of your, of your lilac and silk for I don't, free. I don't think End you of. would be able to find those B-Wars on the market no. for any less than 50 to 60 pounds. Yeah. Um, I think that they would be, um, you know, they are one of your, they're a feature strand. Mm -hmm. Not many pearls. I mean, if you look at the history of pearls and sort of like the most expensive pearls in the world, you know, some of them, all of them aren't perfect rounds. No. They're all mm. either irregular shapes, mm -hmm. larger pearls, or like, uh, like teardrop pearls. Yeah. If I know, if you put one of those, just even as a pendant on the deal of the day chain, yep. just one on just a pendant, one. and we have got some um, sterling silver head pins coming up, oh, and have. they do fit into the head pin as well, so they're a very long pearl, but they still fit onto that head so pin. So you don't need a featherweight? No, no, oh, these, these go into sterling silver, because sterling Goodness. silver head pins tend to be um, a 0.6. Yes. So these go onto there perfectly. Oh, that is brilliant. So for me, that you, if you wanted to get your money's worth out of this yeah. kit, I would probably use these as pendants, maybe as earrings. And, you know, okay. one pendant would be 28 95 Easy. Yeah, so if you think about it, we've got 17 of these exceptional qualities. That kit's nearly gone, by the way. 
Can I just mention, because of that price point and what you've got there and the quality of those B1s, if you've got it in your basket, you are now running a dangerous, risky game, I tell you. Sorry, I just don't want to panic here, but you need to be panicked a little bit. Um, yeah, so if you if you sold one of those, yep. you've got 16 yep. pure profit. Yeah, that's it. And I think with, the, with these pearls as well, something to really sort of take note of is the luster that comes from yeah. these beaver pearls, because beaver pearls aren't famed for their luster mm. because of the ir their irregu irregular surfaces. But you can see on these ones, the pearlescence and the luster that's coming from these pearls yeah. is amazing. It is. And sometimes you get a little bit pearl blind to them because they're all together. When you take them apart, if I just show you one. You no, know, she's got a very good point. Just look. Do you want a blackboard? Do you want right? Do you want to? Yeah, if you just take that one pearl, Come on, and you can see. Okay. okay. Oh, go on. You can do your do your tweezer thing. Me tweezer thing. Do your tweezer <clears throat> thing. There you go. But you can see that pearlescence. That one pearl. I mean, yeah. that's a huge pearl. That is, is a really, massive. really big pearl. If you saw that pearl, like I say, on a head pin, um, on a chain. I mean, that the pearl itself would be twenty eight ninety five, and then plus the chain as yeah. well. So yeah. let's say let's say forty five pound. Yep. For that, for that as a pendant, yep. a, as a ready-made pendant, yep. that is perfect for yep. any bride to wear. When you think about wedding jewellery, um, you must always think if you're going to be doing um, commissions, that kind of thing. Yep. Always see the dress first, or always know what the dress is going to be like, because some dresses don't want a full pearl necklace. Nope. One pearl on a chain would be perfect for a bride. Now then, darling, that's you, Wayne. Could you divide twenty eight ninety five? Um, why not? It's difficult. Oh, actually, no. I'll tell you what, then. Let's do it as what the three pearls are one. The, the, the um, I'm trying to work out I how much that would I think that would be just your freebies. Should, yeah. You tell you what, can it. you divide 28.95? Let's just go for the B wires as 28.95. Forget the rest of the kit. £1.70. Okay. Again, I'm just going to say it now. Right. This is so good. With the deal of the day today, these loose rope chains, 18 inch, right? With the sterling silver head pin we've got coming up, price per that, plus one of these. Again, you could make the entire necklace with one of those pearls dropped, the Biwa, with one chain, one head pin for less than a tenner. Yeah, you did hear me right. Everyone's going, oh, what do you mean less than a tenner? Less than a tenner for the chain, the Biwa, and the head pin. Okay? Can I just, just leave those darling. chains there, darling? Yeah, of course you can, sweetie. You can have them, my lover. There you go. Okay, the kit's, um, I think it's about to sell out. Quite rightfully so. Um, this one with the cut. Oh, do, 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 do. Now this is your more authentic stuff. Well, I say authentic, more textbook, more what we'd expect, but, but not just your any uh, B-Wars. We've actually got them in these beautiful, we call them multicolor, but I think they're a tricolor. They're so lovely. Now, one of the other big, big, we've talked about vintage weddings, we've talked about classical weddings, we've talked about evening wear weddings, we've talked about uh, winter. What about beach weddings? A lot of people now are getting married, going abroad, mm -hmm. taking some of their friends and family with them, having the holiday, then sending everybody home after a week and then having a honeymoon. And it's a great way to do it. My friends have just got married in Italy, actually, and they had a lovely time. Um, so. Not necessarily a beach wedding, but a wedding abroad or by a lake or yeah. by water or they're really popular, aren't they? They are. So these are your incredible B-Wars in these, these tones that you get here. I hope you can see it all right. These tones have got like a mink. Mm -hmm. um, they've got sort of um, like ivory tones in there. They've got these peachy tones in there and the blend is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, so you get more of like a, a metallic sort of yeah. luster to these ones because of the different surface area. But you can see that you don't actually get that kind of full rainbow effect over the whole mm. piece because the, the texture on the actual pearl sort of like disturbs that, but you get these flashes, a bit like an opal. You get flashes yeah. of colors that come through. Okay. And, when they're cut apart, they just look absolutely amazing. They do, don't they? Because yeah, you get we're, so many on We're them. losing a lot of the effect yeah. there because they're so tightly That's packed it. together on there, aren't we? I think, Wayne, did you do some featherweight head pins in the week, didn't you? Mm. So if you've got the rose gold featherweight head pins, if you do lots of bubble style wrap loops on those and then thread those onto either a chain or yeah. to some silk or something like that, they will look amazing because they're, they're designed to cluster like this. Yeah. Not designed, but they, yeah. they want they to be they clustered want to. like this. They, they want to like be together. They want to be together. They want to be, we want to be together. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? I'm, uh, I'm brilliant, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm very brummy. And I love the fact that they are centre drilled as well. Yes. Why is that important? 
Well, it just gives a different movement to yeah. the piece. So, you know, d drill holes really affect the design. They do. Yeah. Now then, we're going to give you some silk as well. It's the white silk. You've got to have white silk, haven't you? Yeah. What's the, what's the colour of the silk you use most? Um, the grey. The grey. You like the, the grey, silver, don't you? Yeah. 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 We've got all the lovely colours. We've got the emerald, the lilac, the amethyst. The, uh, we've got all the colours coming up oh, for you. the emerald The size. emerald's gorgeous. Oh, oh yeah. Now this is, can you just explain again? So size yeah. four, Fleur, what does that mean? So the number on the top, the large number, number four, that denotes the smallest size of pearl. If you're thinking of round pearls, the smallest size of pearl that you technically should be able to use with okay. that silk. But if you look at the number underneath, the 0.6, we know that all of our 0.6 wire tends to go on our pearl. So we know that this will go with the, let's say 99% of our pearls. So that's your ideal size? That's your ideal okay. size. And it creates a really nice small knot. So the larger the number, obviously the bigger the knot's going yeah. to be. So the more um, sort of like um, feature that knot's going yeah. to be. This is going to create a nice smaller knot. So you can see on these, you can see that they're knotted, yeah. but you can't see actually the colour of the knot because it's sort of like smaller and very and more, subtle isn't it? Very subtle. So mm. if you've got smaller pearls, that's absolutely perfect. Um, but for me, this, the number two, the number four, and the number six cards are my go-to sizes. They're your go-to, aren't they? They're my go-to You've always sizes. got those in your stash, Always, you? always, always. Yeah. And white's perfect as well for weddings, isn't it? It's going it to go is. beautifully with anything. Of course it is. When you're working with white silk, though, just make sure that everything is CSI clean. Very clean. CSI clean, I like that. Uh, now, we've also got some findings for you. We've got a, one of our 21-piece rose gold-plated findings kits for you. With your chain, your shepherd hooks, your jump rings, your toggles, your crimps. Would you be able to put those okay. amazing, beautiful, large pearl, those, um, the ones that are closest to you on the T-bar? These big ones? No, the, the, these ones. Those ones. These ones. Because I'm just thinking, I mean, these are amazing pearls, but if you wanted to add a contemporary feel to these pearls by adding the texture of these beavers into there as well, just to add small sections of that into there, mm -hmm. that will go absolutely beautiful. Do you know what that makes me think of? Uh, what I like about these for a wedding uh, design, I think it makes me think of confetti. Yes, yeah, mm. yeah, they're beautiful. They're like confetti pearls. They re these pearls are going to be sort of like your best friend if you want to have more of a contemporary yeah. look to your, to your pieces yeah, of yeah. jewellery because they are absolutely beautiful and yeah, they are they? so easy to work with as well. Okay. Still not them. I mean, I personally would knot these every third one because if you put a knot in between each one, they become too staggered. Okay. So I... I would bunch put them three in, together. bunch three together okay. and then not either side. But, you know, you could, if you wanted to put it on beading thread, you've just done all those amazing Swarovskis, mm. you could put a Swarovski either side mm. as well. Well, tell no, what, just I'll tell you what we've got as well on Sunday as a deal of the day. We've got the Flex Right 7 back in stock. Perfect. Which is your micro wire, yeah. sterling silver, ideal. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. deal of the day, yeah. Flex Right 7 on Sunday yeah. at 11 a.m. I've just quickly, just before yes, we move on, I've just put oh, that. Oh, you do you are lovely. Isn't she great? Just, just to show you just what that would. If, can I just take those? Yeah, two let me off. take those. Let me grab them. There, there you go, Joe. You're making me more uh, jewellery. <laughs> You're not feeling this one. <laughs> Look at that though. You can make that on the show today. If you buy the deal of the day at 11 a.m., which is your three sterling silver loose rope 18 inch chains, with the sterling silver head pins we've got coming up, and you buy that kit with the BWA pearls, the first kit that we did, um, you would be able to make that necklace for less than a £10 note on Jewelry Maker today. What would you sell that for if you don't mind me being so crass and asking? This one would probably be about between £45 and £50. Pounds. Okay. Because let's, that's a large pearl. Let's go conservative, 45. 45. Yeah. And it's going to cost you a tenner to make. You're making yeah. a £35 profit. Thank yeah. you very much for one necklace. That's I'll no take problem. that. There you go. I'll take You'll that. You'll pay me later. And how long did it take you to make? <laughs> uh, about a minute. About a minute? I don't I wouldn't mind 35 quid for a minute, would you? Nope. For a minute's work? Are we all happy with those wages? Yes. 35 quid a minute. Thank, Thank you very Thank much. You very much. <laughs> Where can we get a job like that then, Fleur? Everybody's like, 35 quid a minute. Making, making uh, pearl pendants, you yeah. can. And do you know what? It's not, it, that's doable. That's not pie in the sky, let's make up these silly figures. It took Fleur a minute to make. She'd make £35 profit on that. If you were to put that, at, let's say, if you were to put half that, put that at £22.50 on your stand, nobody would believe that that was a sterling exactly. silver chain and nobody would believe that that was a so You have to price it right. You have to price it right. You know, pop it in a little box yeah. if you mm -hmm. want to. You know, pop it on a, a stand. Yeah. If you just lay it down on the table, sometimes it doesn't look as nice. But yeah, mm -hmm. like this, um, yeah. then perfect. We do all the lovely packaging as well. All the packaging to go yeah, with it, yeah. We do indeed. Um, thanks, Fleur. Um, which one? 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh great, what demo are you gonna do, darling? So I'm gonna show you how to how to get started. Um, okay. I'm gonna show you both ways of pearl knotting today. So I'm gonna show you first of all with the knotting all. Um, and I don't know if you've, oh we've got, oh have we? Oh, fabulous. We have not. Oh. Okay, so the knotting all may be on sometime this weekend. Um, um, and again, the tweezers might be on as well. Um, but your knotting all, we've had, we have had quite yeah, a lot of these. Have, yeah. So if you've got a one lot at of home, us have got them. I've got that one. Yep, yeah, this one's perfect. Yeah, I love this one more. So this mm. one is, um, so it's just, uh, as long as you're knotting around something that's nice and smooth, that doesn't have any um, sort of like serrations on there or any marks on there that you can nick that, the uh, silk. Okay, yeah. so just keep it nice and smooth. Something like a Darnie needle's perfect yeah. if you haven't got one. So the other thing that we're going to use is we're going to use our French wire. We've got the most amazing French wire on the show this morning. We do have French wire. Okay, now when your French wire comes to you, it will come to you like this. Okay, so it'll have this little piece of red um, sort of like string at the top and it comes in this plastic bag. Don't take it out of the plastic bag. We've taken ours out of the plastic bag. Oh, oh, we have. Uh, hello, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Can I stop, stop. you in mid-flow? Yeah. Stop the stop. show. Stop. Stop the show. We never get the all. We've got the all. Okay. We have the all, the knotting all. And this is pretty much... Exactly It is same. yours. It's yeah, Fleur's. Exactly the same. So if you want the knotting all, JBGP95 even. I'll do that again. JBGP95. This is what Fleur uses. Yeah. All, all the time. The time. And not only for um, for pearl knotting, I use it for chain mail. You, you do? Know, to, to see where, you could use it for wire work as well. Yep. I think in the uh, in the card making industry, it's called a pokey tool. Oh, is it? Yes. A pokey tool? Yeah, so you oh. could do, you've got your own pokey tool. Well, you've there. poked our macrame board with it. Yeah, I know. Mm. Uh, right, then, it's only £1.95. Now, we only had how many, darling? 57 And judging by that... We've got about half left already. £1.95. The little, um, keep the little plastic bit that's on the end. Do you mean that little weird uh, yeah, bit at the end? Yeah, that little bit there, um, because it will stop, if it's in your craft bag, then it'll stop you um, sabbing yourself. But I've lost mine, so what I do is I put mine into a uh, Kumihimo disc. So it stops me. Well, that's so a good idea. The, pop it into the side of the Kumihimo disc, and then you've got your Kumihimo disc and this. Cause oh. For knotting with your knotting all, you need something that's like a memory foam, okay? So this has to stick into the actual, like, uh, material that you're going to knot with. Yeah. Um, which is perfect with your macrame board or your um, Kumihimo disc. Yeah. Okay, so if you've got your Kumi di Kumihimo disc as well, you've got both of them that you need to be able to knot. One pound so. <laughs> Michael Wolf, stop it! Oh, do you know I've got three children at home, and I'm used to lots of lots of talking in the background. But sometimes the odd word just stops you in your tracks. <laughs> anyway, right then. She does what? Oh, perfect. Who does? Who does? Karen, Karen. in five. <gasps> She oh, puts a wine yes. cork on the end. Perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah. you've got, you've got, and you've got an excuse to have a bottle of wine then. Yes, and a nice bottle of wine because it'll have a cork in it. Exactly. Yes, yes what? What, Michael? Who needs wine when you've got those uh, little corks we do for, in, with the, for the needles? What are those needles? No, we always the, need tulip wine. Tulip needles. No. Tulip needles. No. The cork for yeah. that. No, because no. we need the wine. We need the wine. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You're not going to add helpful go things, everywhere. Michael. Anyway, I do apologise. About to sell out £1.95. <laughs> Sorry, so, Fleur. That's all right. Apologies. So going back to our French wire, keep it in the bag, make a little cut in the side of the, of the bag. This is really, really um, vulnerable and it will yeah. stretch out of shape yeah, and everything yeah. if, if you don't keep and it. Once like you do that, you can't get it back. And that's it. And, and you know, it's, it's, not, it's quite inexpensive, but we don't want to waste it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut myself a couple of little bits that are um, the same, well, tell you what, same length. While you do that, sweetie, shall I get some of the wire out? Yes. French wire? Yeah. So bear with me. So I've just used a pair of scissors to cut this. Um, so you can see, as when it's like this, if you were to put this in your craft bag or something like that, mm -hmm. I can actually show you what it's going to look like. Here we go. So and if then, you put it in your craft bag. Oh dear, Fleur, you mucky pup. 
So this this came. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fleur. We don't yeah. want it looking like this. Non fleur, fleur. Keeping it nice and nice and nice and. Non fleur, fleur. I know, but this is what it will because it gets caught around your tools and everything else uh, and everything that's on your desk now. And oh dear, oh no. So don't do that. Don't do that. Now, no. French wire is so important when you're making your pearl jewellery. It's an expectation that people have, isn't it? Either a wire guardian or French wire. Yeah. Would, you, would you agree? Yeah, and it is probably the most important part of your, your piece as well, because this is what's going to make your silk last longer. Yeah. The most vulnerable part of any um, any part of your jewellery, with your knotted jewellery, is um, your silk. So Can I just mention one thing as well? We haven't seen this French wire since April. We know how massively popular it is. So if you were going to be making your pearl jewellery for your winter weddings and everything, and any kind of jewellery to finish perfectly, because it extends the lifespan of yeah. your jewellery. So just under there, if you by, by the side of the um, clasp, either yeah. side, so you can see there, if I just turn it quickly, you can see there's that little tiny piece of French wire and you're using less than a centimetre for yeah, each piece, each for each, yeah. each end. What that's doing is it's stopping the silk from rubbing onto the metal clasp because if any of you have ever had a, a silk blouse or anything like that, they can be quite difficult because yeah. it, will, it will wear through really quickly. Yeah. So a little piece of French wire is going to stop that rubbing onto your finding and it'll make it last a lot exactly. longer. Exactly. So can we start the clock please? We've got, because the point is, is with your French wire, we've got it in all the different colours as well. We are limited on it. You've got to grab it while you, while you can. We haven't had it since April. It's nearly November for goodness sake. So do grab them. You've got this, because that's what Flo was saying there, that breaking point in any necklace is going to be the high stress point by the clasp. Yeah. So if you put your French wire on there, not only are you protecting the silk, but you're protecting that high stress point around yeah. the, the clasp area. So this is so important when people are buying pearl jewellery, and we're talking about pearl jewellery specifically because we're talking about the pearl kits, French wire really is an essential. And it's one of those things, once you start adding French wire to those areas of that high break point, that high stress point, I think you'll get to the point where, you, with, from a security point of view, as well as an aesthetic point of view, because it looks so beautifully finished, I think you'll want to use French, tie, French wire every piece you make. Well, if you suffer from your beading thread coming out of the side of your jump ring, yeah. then put a piece of French wire over the top of it, because the gap in your jump ring will never be as big so as this. So it fixes this. it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, honestly, it's genius. And incredible incredible uh, quality our french wire these are silver plated french wires they come in different gauges this is 0.7 this is 12 inches but you're getting 20 of them now 12 inches is 30 centimeters that equates to seven and a half meters now Fleur's just said to you you're using a centimetre at each end. Yep. So that's seven and a half metres divided by two means you're going to be able to make over 350 pieces of jewellery. Oh, yeah. But other people use it for, for lots of other things as well. So I know Claire McDonald uses it to make like little chicks, that kind of thing. You yeah. can use it as a gizmo coil, which yeah. is what it is. A gizmo coil in between your, your gemstones. Exactly. If you want to you like yeah. pick out your gemstones exactly. a little bit. So then, OK, can we have... What, half the stock's gone. We haven't even got the pricing wine, that's your job. And look at that, over 350 pieces of jewellery. Get ready for this price point, you'll be shocked. You can't not buy it, quite frankly, at this price. You ready? It is under a fiver. For all of that. And 0.7 is a great gauge to have as is well. It? Yeah, so it's going to fit your number four cards perfectly. Brilliant. It's a, it's a 0.7 inner diameter, so the it's actually been wound onto a, like a 0 0.6, 0 0.7 gizmo coil. Okay. So it's perfect for this. It's not going to be too chunky, which means it's great to work alongside your, your pearls. Okay. Um, of sort of like a smaller size. Yeah. You know, we, we have, I don't know if we've got the, the one mil one coming up as well, Wayne. Yeah, we yeah, do. So yeah, we do. Meal one as well. Yeah, we so do. If you can afford it, get them both because both of them, although that they, they all do the same job, the different diameters will really, really help you with your designs. No, I know you sell a lot of pearl jewellery. Would you agree to get all the different colours as well? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, one of them, I've never seen. I've never been on air when the when the uh, rose gold one's been. On. Yeah, we've got the rose gold. We yeah. never get that. We never get that. We've got it today. Yeah. We have. Okay, how many left, sweetie? I've got 22 left and I'm way over. 
located. Um, you've got so many, you've got to be quick, you've got to be quick. I am way, way, way over allocated. We've got the different gauges, we've got the different colours, and yes, we do have the rose gold. Finally back in stock. Finally. Finally. But I've never seen it. I've never seen the rose gold. It's never been on when I've been on. Oh, Fleur. I think we've only ever, ever had it on there once before and it sold out straight away, didn't it? But you will use French wire for all of your pieces as well. So yeah, not like just your pearl jewellery. Not just your pearl jewellery. Use it with your beading thread as well because it gives you that really professional finish. Yeah. Um, if, you, if you just look at this little section here, if I was to do that in, in a beading thread, yeah. that little edge there, that little corner there, that yeah. would be that bare beading thread, which... So they're all running away, Zena. Well, I know. Stay. The, and the thing is, it is, it's not just for secure, because it's like, you know, like in Star Wars, when they have that, like, force field that they can't penetrate. Yeah. That's like your French wire. It is, yeah. It just, it helps with that longevity, but it also gives you that design, the design, um... Da, 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 Da -da. <laughs> Sorry, Fleur. That's okay. But That's it's okay. not just, so basically, it's not it's just practical. Not just, no. It's aesthetically it's pleasing aesthetically as well. It's aesthetically pleasing as well, yes. yes. Sorry, Fleur. <laughs> You're trying to be ultra professional. You're surrounded by idiots. Sorry, I'm darling. I'm not. I'm not. It's fine. <sighs> right then. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well. This is the one meal in the silver. So let's give you both. I'll tell you what. I'm going to show, I'm going to let Fleur, because she's never seen it. There you go. Oh. Just oh, it's really the, nice, isn't it? Isn't it? beautiful colour. I'm just showing her the rose lovely. gold. Oh, How lovely. How many, darling? Colour. Oh, okay, 30 of these. God, what, I tell you what, you like, you're checking out quick this morning, aren't you? Yeah. Get in, Speedy Gonzales. It's the same length again, 12 inch is your, is your, um, you got 20 pieces, this is your one mil. So, okay, how do you choose which, what, if somebody's new to adding French wire, what? why would I go for a 0 0.7 for a one? What, what's your decision process? So, a 0.7 is obviously a little bit thinner. Yeah. So if you've got a smaller pearl, you don't want more of a bulky piece oh, of French okay. wire by the side of it. Okay. So the larger pearls that we've just showed earlier, that when I like said to, to these go ones. With, to go with those ones, or the, the large round ones that yeah. are on the okay, T-bar, yeah. those are perfect for the one mil because obviously you, you need more of a chunkier look to it's it. Like it's like a balance, you're balancing it. A balance it. to it as well. But also it, it dictates the, the size of the um, silk that you're using as well. So if you've got a number six card silk, yeah. which I think is a a 0.7, yeah. you can go with both. Ah, but if okay. you've got a number eight card silk, that's a point, I think that's a point eight. You wouldn't be able to get this one. You wouldn't be able to oh, the point okay. seven through. So that's what you're thinking so, about. Yeah. Okay. But also as well, use it on your wires as well. So you know, you, with yeah. this, you know that Absolutely. you can, you know, you can put this around your put your one mil wire. It will fit onto your one mil wire perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the same gauge of wire that's used on both of them. So it's not a thicker wire. Okay. It's, it's only about a point two wire. It's like it's like hair really. Okay. It's very very thin. So it's the same thickness of wire, but it's just being gizmoed on a different coil okay. basically. Because I think it's important to ask these questions because the thing is, you know, we sit here and obviously our I'm, I'm very lucky I get to sit get next to all our amazing guest designers. But I think when you're, when you're learning, and it, it is, it's quite, there's so much choice. And yeah. I think the more choice you get given in life sometimes, the more confusing it yeah. can be. And you're yeah. like, I don't know which one to go yeah. for. So it, I think when we ask... No, it is, it's important. Yeah. It's important to know it. And also as well, it's, it can be quite soul destroying when you get one home and you think oh but I thought that that would be able to be mm. used with all of them yeah 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 so if you missed out on the first one um the get seven. this one because this one obviously will house all of the silks that we do okay up to a one mil okay and even so like a, you could even get a point nine um Eslon yeah, through there as you could, well, yeah. you know, or a 0.7 yeah. Eslon. So if you missed out on the first one um, and you only want one pack, then go get for the, the one mil. mil. Okay, yeah. there you go. Well, that's good yeah. to know, isn't it? And again, a fiver. A fiver. So we'll leave the graphics in and we, and we can um, go back to flow if that's all right. Okie dokie. So these pearls are being really mischievous They are, today. aren't they? Do you want they to are. get a little pot for you? That's all right. They'll all stay right. there now. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken all my... I best move that back across so nobody sees the burn. Sure you don't want a pot, darling. No, it's all right. Oh, hang on. Oh, 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 okay. oh one's, one's running. Right. Um, thank you. I'm just going to... Just to help thank you. you very much. <laughs> so I've taken all of my silk off of my card. Now you get two meters of silk on your card, but what you need to make sure is that you um, use the whole piece. 
And silk is really naughty for knotting off. I thought that was a knot then. I thought not. it was as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see when it comes off the card, it's quite creased. And that, that's because it's being wound around that card in the factory that it's being made on. So what we need to do is we need to, first of all, check that the silk's okay to use. And never once have I had one that had like a fray on there or anything like that. So, but it's still good to check because we don't want it, this silk to snap halfway through mm -hmm. our piece. So what I'm doing is I'm going through it and I'm just stretching it with my hands. And you can see I'm stretching it quite a lot. Yeah. I'm really stretching it. And it's starting to take some of those creases out of this. Mm. So I'm gonna go through and stretch the whole piece. Now the only piece I don't stretch is by the needle because if you're oh, too, yeah, um, if you're too tough on that, you'll pull the needle away from the actual silk itself. But I'm just using my hands and I'm just feeling for any sort of like abnormalities or any knots that are trying to form. Now, when you're doing this with your white silk, I know we joked earlier saying that everything has to be CSI clean, but the, the oils from your hands will um, will colour that white silk. So make sure that your hands are squeaky clean. Yeah. And if you can cope with things like the um, hand gel, you know, the hand sanitizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can cope with that and it doesn't dry your hands out too much, that's perfect because it dries the oils out of your hand. Right. So okay. every sort of that's like 10 minutes, I just put some of that on. Okay. okay, so I've stretched this now. The other things that you can do, um, actually, we've got the DVDs. We, I've just noticed we've got the so pearl knotting and how, the, other, the yeah. second edition as well. So we talk about how to condition your silk and how to iron it and that kind of thing. On Loads DVDs more information as well. On there. Lots of information on there. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to now attach my silk to my clasp. Now I always use a little sterling silver bead. Got those coming up. We've got coming up mm -hmm. in both colours. So for both kits. And we've got the stardust. Got, oh, have we? Yes. Oh, so you can have a lovely stardust one mm -hmm. as well. Perfect. Got all that on the show. So what we're going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on my little silver bead. Okay. And let that go down towards the end. Now, just keep hold of the end because obviously this can fall off of the end. But we don't want to tie a knot on there because we don't want to um, undo the knot and waste our silk. So I'll just keep hold of that end. Now, what I'm going to do now is the next thing I'm going to pop on is my French wire. And now, what you can see with my French wire is I've cut them so that they are same exactly length. the same length. Okay. Now, that is um, that's really important because what you don't want is you don't want the two ends to be different sizes because yeah. if they're different sizes then aesthetically again yeah. it's, it's like well, it'll, it'll it's like stand having, out a mile well that's it it's like when you buy a coat and one button's slightly oh. a couple of millimeters and, it always to the left, you. and you'll see it yeah. straight away yeah so i've popped that french wire onto there now if you noticed i put the french wire onto there and i didn't touch it i just used yeah, the needle to pick that. it up if you try and pick it up you can squash it ah. and then you can't see it and then it's uh, it's it's a lot more difficult, so I always use the um, the board to help me pick that okay. up. And then again, I'm just going to push this down towards the end. Mm -hmm. Now, don't think, oh, I only need 36 inches for an 18-inch necklace, so I'm going to cut 36 inches off of my silk. You've got to use the whole piece, because if you cut 36 inches from the needle, all of this hasn't got a needle onto oh, there. Yeah, so yeah. if you are going to thread this onto a needle, you need to make sure that double the amount of silk goes through your pearls, okay. just because obviously it's got to go through. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on my clasp. Now, this is a, a bolt ring clasp. Mm -hmm. But if you've got the lovely... Um, oh, this new magnetic one. The new magnetic oh. clasp coming up, then you could use one of those as well. Now, if this is your first go at pearl knotting and you're not sure if people are going to... Or, or you sell and you're not sure if people are going to like the bolt ring clasp, yeah. go straight to a jump ring and then put a jump ring to the bolt ring clasp. Because if someone says, I like it. that necklace, but I don't like that clasp, or I can't wear magnets... Yeah. Um, then point. it's only a, only a jump ring. If not, you're going to have to undo the whole thing. Great okay. tip, that is. So again, I'm just now going to... So I've got my clasp onto there. I'm just going to move that out of the way a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through my metal bead going yeah. back towards the tail end. So it's not like um, a ladder stitch where we go back round the same yeah. ways we're going. So we're going to go back through with the needle, through the metal seed bead, mm -hmm. towards the tail end. And I'm just going to hold on to that metal seed bead and again, just bringing this through. Now this is the most difficult part of pearl knotting I was fine because it's at this part, if something's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong. Um, and it starts to get all twisted and knotty. Just take your time. Yeah. Don't, don't rush patient. this piece. So what we can see now is that little piece of French wire, if I just hold it there, I don't know if you can see Excellent. as I pull that. Let me just sort that bit out there. So as I pull that silk through, you can see that that French wire is just about to curve over ah. and create that little horseshoe. So it's now created oh, that little horseshoe that now nothing, nothing, none of the silk is going to touch the actual clasp itself. 
So what I can do now is take both ends of my silk and I'm just going to do an overhand knot. So I'm going to do my first <coughs> overhand knot, pull it nice and tight, and then my second overhand knot on top of that one. So that now is knotted into place. What I would then use is something like your um, hypersomate glue yep. or your E6000 glue. Never use a glue that's super or a glue that goes solid because this will fracture and it will just brittle, break off. It? Too brittle, isn't yeah. And don't forget, this is silk at the end of the day, so it doesn't like harsh chemicals. So something like these jewellery glues are absolutely perfect. Okay. I would then, if I just bring this piece over, and show you on here. What I then do is I cover my first knot with a little crimp cover, and we've got a findings pack coming up. We do indeed. With a crimp cover we that's do the indeed. same size as the beads that Absolutely. we've got as well. So I just cover my very first knot with a crimp cover. So that bead there that's is beautiful. a crimp cover, just so it looks professional. Professional finish, all the Absolutely. way through. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the beginning now mm -hmm. with my um, with my needle. Yeah. So imagine we've glued that and uh, and we've we've waited. When you've glued that knot, don't cut it straight away because when any fabric gets wet, it swells up the fibres in yep. there, so it can come undone. Okay. So wait till it's dry, and then you can start your knot in. Okay, so I'm going to take my first pearl. Now, the design that I did with the necklace is I did three of these lovely um, peacock pearls that are coming up later. Mm -hmm. um, three peacock pearls and then a beaver pearl. So you can see that these peacock pearls go on there perfectly, Brilliant. so there's no sort of like... Resistance danger or, anything, or yeah. of you that's it, of, of the needle coming away because of the stress going over the top of that mm -hmm. that um from the needle to the yep. silk so we can see now that if i just turn that can you see there there's enough room on that drill hole that mm -hmm. that knot's going to stay on the outside and it's not going to go back inside yep. the pearl that's the aim of the game the yeah way, that's why we do different sizes of silk for different pearls okay so we don't want this knot to go back inside the, the actual pearl itself so what i'm going to do now is I'm going to do a nice big overhand knot mm -hmm. bring that through and i've now created my overhand knot yep. so you can see when when we do a knot that the loops at the, uh, the loops at the bottom and the crosses at the top. Yep. If you keep it that way around all the time, then you're not going to get any undulations in your knots. Oh, and I'm going to take my knot and all, I'm going to pop that straight into the middle of that knot. Mm -hmm. And as I pull this nice and tight, you can see there ah. that that's now gone straight towards the, uh, the actual pearl. Now, I call this part the static part because this is already in the necklace, yep. okay? So what we need to do now is we need to tighten this knot because this isn't tight at all. So if I was to do another, if I was to put my next pearl on and push that knot together, there would be a gap because this is too loose. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we need to tighten this knot. Now, because the cross is at the top, that's where the tightening action is going to yep. be. So I'm going to push the, like, almost like ratchet that round mm -hmm. just to tighten it. You can see now how yeah. much more close totally this pearl's different. gone now and it's gone a lot more rigid. So what I'm going to do now is take my next pearl Get Thank that. you, my darling. Right. So my next pearl goes on. And obviously we go into a lot more detail on the actual yep, DVDs, got the DVDs as well. Both of them coming up, both with Fleur. Yeah. So that, this pearl now I call my pusher pearl, okay? So this is the pearl that's going to push that knot together. So what I need to do now is I'm going to stabilise both those pearls by putting my hand over the top of them. Yeah. And I'm going to take out my knotting all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we can see if I just pull that pearl away, you can see that that knot is still closer yeah. to the static part than it is here, because this is where we want that knot to be. This knot's keeping this pearl in place, not mm -hmm. this pearl. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this knot needs to be as close to here as possible. So the way that we do that is we need to push the gap away. So. I'm going to take hold of my silk in the last three fingers of my hand yeah. and using my thumb on my first finger from both of my hands, I'm going to push. So you can see there's no gap now because I've yep. pushed it away. Yep. Now, as I slightly tighten that silk, you can see that ah. knot's tightened. And as I give that a final push, oh, wow. I've now got that, was clever, wasn't that it? knot as close to this pearl yeah. as it can be. It's there is no it can be, room isn't it? at all. Now, pearl necklaces will, and bracelets will stretch over time. Bracelets, not as much as necklaces. The heavier the pearl, the, the quicker it yeah. will stretch. Yeah. Um, and the way that you store it as well will help, will help store stop it, flat, it stretch. Don't you? Store it flat, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't hang it on your dressing table or anything like that. Um, 
these will, when you, when you notice these starting to stretch and you'll see a fresh little bit of silk either side, that's when it needs to be re-knotted. Re so okay. with my pieces, I always give the first re-knot for free. You do, don't you? Because yeah. I don't like people walking around with gappy pearls. Yes, yeah, so you, well, that's, well it's your pearls. reputation on the line, that's isn't it? it? Yeah, don't want you people know? to say, you know, where they've got their pearls from and then it looks not as perfect as the day that they bought it. Hmm. But yeah, every every one to two years, depending on the size of the pearls and the weight of the pearls. Um, and some people change it because they like the colour. They mm -hmm. want to change the colour of the silk as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to do one more just to show you. So again, I've popped my, done my overhand knot, cross at the top, loop at the bottom. As I pull this tight, you can see that those pearls now have come tight, but they haven't actually come as tight as they could be. There's a little tiny gap there. Yep. So I'm going to ratchet that around mm -hmm. just to tighten that up. You can see how now that's yep. really tight. You really see the difference, can't you? And that's what makes mm. the difference. Um, sorry, sorry, darling. Sorry, darling. I'm studying. I've been these playing with these pearls, and you need one. <laughs> that's it. Don't worry. So I'm going to pop my next pearl in place. That's going over the top of that needle. Just mm -hmm. be careful as it goes over the top of the needle, especially if your silk's just a little bit too thick for the pearls that you're using. Yeah. Just gently, gently yeah. with that. So you can see now I've got my next pearl in place. We don't have to worry about this pearl. This is all done. It's only these two that we're worried about. Take out the, the knotting all, pop that somewhere safe. And then again, now this is the point where some people will just pull the silk and just think if I pull the silk or push this pearl down, that will tighten that knot. But if there's a gap, it right. won't tighten, okay, so it's important. Don't tighten quite as much. So you're going to push them together. And I'm really quite pushing them yeah, apart. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And then I've just eked that, that little bit of silk through my hand. And then final push. And you can see again how that pearl Beautiful now has girl. got that knot there. Wow. So a, a knot, when you the overhand knot that you do, if you were to just pull the end, will travel away from the static part rather than towards it. Okay. So it always so needs to be pushed towards okay. it, always pushing those pearls down. And then you're just going to carry on. Now, we do have a little thing in our workshops that every knot matters. You always don't say that, don't you? Because it's yeah. so easy. You get halfway through, you think, cracked it. Yeah. And then you get a gap. Yeah. Now, there is things that you can do if you do get a gap. You can put another knot over the top. You can put a crimp cover over the top. But it really would be extra nice if it could all be yeah. exactly yeah. the same so, so give each one the attention give it deserves. Each one, yeah and okay. if you can for your first few goes at pearl knotting start and finish the piece in one go don't stop and start and do okay. some over uh, different days but it's so lovely okay. so it's so relaxing to do yeah have i talked too much sorry not at all <laughs> never never thank you darling should we do this with the kit I do apologise, is that what you said? Sorry, which one do you want me to do? Okay, darling. Ah, we're going to go the gold first. That was a brilliant demo. Oh. Thank you, thank you. And uh, would you agree that pearl knotting is a really key thing to learn? Yeah, there's hardly any pearl. Mm -hmm. You go to any jewellers in the country and they will have someone to fix your, mm -hmm. your gold and silver jewellery. If you take your pearl necklaces in, they have to send them away yeah. to be so done. It's a very, very handy technique to yeah. learn. Now, this is, we're going straight for the one millers. If you weren't watching earlier, Fleur was saying that with all the different wires and threads and silks that we do, that if you are looking to buy one French wire, ideally go for the one mill. Yeah. Perfect. Great to have all sizes if you yeah, can. Yeah, if you but... can get all sizes, perfect, because you get that, that nice aesthetics to your pieces. But yeah. if you can only afford one or you've missed out yeah. on the other ones, then this is the one to go for. I just think if you work out... In fact, I tell you what, can we work that out, Wayne? Right? We talked about the fact that you've got 12 inch, which is 30 centimetres, times 20, which works out to be... Um, Seven and a half metres, which equates to 350, just over 350 pieces of jewellery. What would 350 pieces cost you divided by a fiver? So 495 divided by 350. 17. No, it's pence. not even. It's, it's pence. Not, it's not even a penny, is it? I don't think. It's not even a penny. So if you buy this at, at, at the prices that we've been doing today, this this is slightly different because it's it's obviously gold coloured. It's six ninety five. But you're talking pennies. The silver we had at four ninety five. This is six ninety five. You're talking pennies. Mm. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. You're getting aesthetically pleasing design. It looks professional. It looks beautiful, and you're elongating the long. You're basically adding longevity to the to the design. So also like Fleur, if you are selling your jewellery or you're gifting your jewellery, the longer that jewellery lasts, the better your reputation. Exactly. Yeah. If you if you know. If, I mean, I've I've re-knotted pieces like vintage pieces or pieces that are not that 
that many years old. Yeah. I mean, the French buy will always discolour um, because obviously it's the yeah. part that's you know yeah, closest yeah, yeah. to your to your skin, if you like. Mm. Um, it always discolours, and it, sometimes it comes a little bit further apart. So. Not only does the silk stretch, but the, the French wire does need so change. So this you do need to replace. Yeah. yeah, always need to replace the French wire. But this is the kind of technique that you will see in jewelers all over the world as well. There's different ways to start and finish pearl pieces. You know, you can use like a pearl cup yep. and go. I'll have a bar inside and use that as the very first pearl. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you've got a small delicate. Um, necklace then mm. french wire will be used in huge big jewelry houses and yeah. artisan jewelers exactly. as well as uh, you know yeah. everybody yeah it's, it really is an essential and then we've got the point seven in the um and yet everybody's messaging why and go give me the rose gold <laughs> and we're saving the best all that and it matches our um gold findings perfectly yeah. as well this. yeah it that's really a does. that's a lovely point as well and it's beautiful and so so cost effective. And do you know, I, with this one, do you know what I've done with this? What? One? I have, if it's been caught, I keep it and I put it in a little jar and then I put it in clear resin and it looks like um, golden rutile quartz. Oh, really? So you can, make so you can put this like in that. resin as well. Yeah, pop it in resin. Yeah. Oh, how fantastic. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. That is great. Uh, so there's actually lots of things you can do. And again, if you go on to uh, YouTube or you go on to, you know, and have a little look and search for French wire, there's lots of ideas for French wire. But it really is. Um, in fact, can I just ask you a favour first? Sorry. Of course. Can you just, anybody that's just joined us, can you just grab a piece of the drawer where you put it in and just show it in position? If we do it yeah. on, Is that okay, Michael and Ollie? Just, just so that. you can see it actually in action. So you can see that little tiny piece there. Yeah. If I just roll that forward a little bit, actually, if I just lift it, can you see? There you it's go. Like there it is in action, shoe. right next to that pearl. Can you see that? Yeah. There you go. You can see it there. It's that little tiny horseshoe. And honestly, do you, would you agree? That little tiny one centimetre less than piece of French wire, when it's in situ like that, it makes all the difference oh, to, the, yeah. to, the, to the finish. Yeah, oh, it, it certainly does. I mean, if not, it would just look like a little... You'd see the coloured thread. The, yeah. Um, or, the, or the... Or the... Or the um, beading thread, whatever you're yeah. using. This will just give you that professional finish. And it's something so... Like you say, small and insignificant. Yeah. And yet so powerful. But because so like you powerful. say, it lo makes the, 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 the piece look finished. That's it, yeah. Otherwise yeah. it doesn't look finished, does it? That's it, yeah. It's like we've all, I, I, not we've all bought rings that like, but sometimes you've bought a ring and the claws haven't been, yeah. um, haven't yeah, been yeah. grained properly at yeah. the ends. So they catch on your clothes yeah. or it, it, it doesn't feel nice. Yeah. Whereas all it takes is one little tool to, to like round that great that yeah. round that off it's exactly the same yeah. you know it's that pace that's sort of like professionally finished and then and the thing is Joe, I had a ring like that that I bought and it really upset me because I had a lovely top that was like a peach coral top which I loved with this type of material and it caught and it ripped, yeah, it ripped, it ripped and I had yeah. to throw it in the bin oh, it yeah. really upset me because yeah. it just hasn't been finished properly it's that, that's it it's, that, it's the attention to detail mm. that, that you always look for in a piece Oh, I love this. I really <laughs> love this colour. Oh my goodness me, that is you. It's I've beautiful. seen you with your hair this colour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. That is really nice. Wow. Oh, and you know what? Wayne's just said he's going to really look after you on the price on this. This is your one mil. We have, I think we've only had, 60 have gone already. I think we've only had this once before and it's sold out like that. Do you know, if you've got a, a pearl, yeah. thinking like a koi of pearls maybe, with a pink, what we call a pink overtone, then this would be perfect, because it's going to really put that, that rosy hue onto those pearls as well. What do you think about that one? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That's really nice. That would be lovely, wouldn't it, mixed yeah. in with those yeah. incredible limited edition pearls that are on the show this morning. Okay, so this is your one mil. We've got the point seven coming up as well, haven't we, Wayne? Yep, so 4 95 for 20 pieces. There are 20 left and I'm over-allocated. Oh, thanks, Wayne. Cheers, Wayne. Oh, dear. Thanks, Wayne. Oh, Wayne, you're in trouble. How about we give you these? Oh, go on, then. How about we give you these? I'll go on, then. I'll go on, then. <laughs> well, we can't send this to a customer because it's come out of the plastic Well, because packet. I've touched it. Because I've had my sticky mitts on them. You said don't, she said don't pick it up, didn't she? I did. So say, I'm going to have to give it yeah. to her now. I think that's the least we can do. Can I have one, please? Just no. one. Michael, you've one. already nicked a Marla bracelet this week. No, you've had your fill. Four ninety five. <laughs> Four ninety five on those. Should we do the point seven as well? 
Uh, Jane said, hi, JM. Fleur, are you not in? Can you, ah, here you go. Can you reuse the silk or only replace with new? And can you part re-knot, please? No, so once you start to knot, so because it's on a continuous piece of silk, when you, if I was to sort of like, this was a, a piece of joint that needed re-knotting, I'd have to cut every single pearl off of that piece. So you're actually cutting that piece up. So right. no, the silk itself is that uh, it can't be reused at all because okay. it's going to be cut into small pieces. So you can't undo every knot because the knot that you've done is incredibly tight. You wouldn't be able to undo it. Do you know what though? It's so good because we sell the silks individually as we're, we're doing some little bundle yeah. deals lately. Uh, in, in, later. And uh, I tell you what, they're very cost effective. I think yeah, silk. I think um, pearl knotting for the, 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 the things that you need, like the silk and the French wire are the yeah. most inexpensive. Yeah. Like if you were to think of um, other jewellery mediums. Yeah, some of the totally other, agree. Some like, of the tools you need. Are, are quite expensive. Well, look at you, your knotting goals, £1.95. That's if you, Actually, if we work out what we need. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing kit, to do, actually. Yeah, you know, the kit and then yeah, yeah. the knotting all and yeah. then this. Yeah, that's be worth You've doing, actually. So, yeah. Um, right then, this is your point seven in your rose gold. This is the last of the French wire that we've got, isn't it, Wayne? Yep, so uh, they're nearly all sold out, so you uh, do please check these out, obviously, if you love rose gold. We've got rose gold findings on the show as well. Hundreds have gone already. Do you tend to, do you, do, is it, which is the quickest selling for you? Silver, rose gold, yellow I, uh, gold? I only silver. work in silver, oh, okay. um, just because it, oh, silver, on then. my stand <laughs> silver. Just because I can't, I wouldn't. I never you haven't been able to get it before, have you? No, no, not at all. So yeah, I always work with silver only yeah. because that's to my sort of like one of my I don't know USBs, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, but sorry it, I only that. work in silver, so yeah. yeah. But no, I mean, if somebody does come to me and say they've got a gold clasp and I need the gold, yeah. I, I need to be able to have. You need to have all these options, colours. don't you? Of course. Yeah. yeah. So uh, rose gold finally back in stock, although it's about to be out of stock as well. Okay, this will sell out, guaranteed they will be uh, so long, farewell, loveliness in a ditch. Do you like lovely. that? I sang French for French wine. Oh, uh, yeah. I know, that's German, isn't it? No, yeah. <laughs> that's German. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> um, of what? They're going to go lovely with those shells. The conch shells? You could. These ones? Little bits in between. Yeah, yeah, nice. I've got these on the show. We've got everything on the show today. Wait till you see the pearls coming up after the break. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm excited for everything that's on that and board me. over there. And me. every single item. Every single treat. Okay, they're about to go. They're about to sell out. Well done, well done. Oh, how wonderful to have those finally again. Thanks, Wayne. You look... This one's here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because you were just working with these, weren't so you, darling? these are the ones that I've put with um, the... Um, the beautiful beaver pearls. Yes. But it comes with the findings pack as well, which has got the crimp covers in it as well. So if you need the crimp covers yep. to go over the top. But these are these are beautiful. They are. They're Look at that luster on those. These are my preferred hue of peacock pearls. You and me both. Yeah. I prefer this to the darker ones, but so nothing wrong with the darker ones. I just, you yeah. know, personal preference. Yeah. Well, I'm the same. Ones. So you're getting sterling silver findings pack as well which includes your shepherd hooks, your four sterling silver head pins, your crimps and crimp covers, and your uh, bolt ring clasp, and your jump rings. Now, there's how many available, sorry? 17! Oh, darn it! No! You are not going under 20 pounds, you monkey! Okay, there's 12 left. 19, 95 on the uh, peacock pearls, two strands no less, and your sterling silver findings. That is extraordinary and it's about to sell out. I used this kit with my one, so I only got sent one sample. Yeah. Um, so I've done two bracelets, yep. um, the necklace, and this is what and I've got left over. And you've still got that left over, Missy. So I've missing. got enough to do another, another bracelet. Easy. So you can see there, that is more than enough. Wow. To do Still another, a full bracelet, bracelet left. And I did have two B with pearls left as well, so I could do two more well of those. Well done. Well done. Sold out. We've got this as well. Is it all of that? Which one? Is that... What, what am I picking up, sorry? Is that these threads? Uh, did you say no? size six? I think there must be those ones ah. over there, then. I don't 
I've got him, 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 I've got him. three there, though. There should be four, shouldn't there? Okay, missing one. What other colour are you missing? What am I missing colour? Missing garnet. It's in that box there, darling. There, in the 25 Oh, got it, got it, got it. Well spotted. I spotted it early, it's my favourite colour. Do you want to pick two and shall I pick two? Well, you've given me those two. Well, I mean, hold them. I meant hold them. That's what I meant. I meant pick them off. Sorry. Do you want to pick them? What are you giving them me? What are you talking about, you weirdo? Uh, I'm so sorry, Fleur. This is the lilac and the lavender in size six. Fleur's got... Is Garnet your favourite, then? Yeah, I love the red. I think this is gorgeous. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it goes with... I've noticed, actually, on the Deal of the Day pearls that they've used red silk. The in-house designers have used red silk. And red silk is what I... We used to have a lovely lady called Hannah Oxbury, and she had some gorgeous pearls, and she had them knotted on red silk. Thank and you. I remember thinking then, whenever I get a white pearl, I'm you want always to do putting well, them do you remember when you, when, you, when you gave me that incredible Marla necklace with the Burmese jade that art and you red, did it with red yeah, silk? Yeah, oh red silk. my goodness, yeah. gorgeous. So, so you see. can see, they, I mean, traditionally, the colour of the silk should match the colour of the pearls. Yeah. But that can sometimes have, how do you say it politely? Um, either a wedding connotation that behind it or a, a generational. Okay. People so just if you want to mix oh, it up and go a bit more modern. That's it. If you want to make contemporary, mm. use a different colour. Use a different colour still. Okay, yeah. Is that what this is? Is that how much they yeah. are for all four of them? See, it's just... Oh, wow. So I can't remember which Gosh. lady messaged in and said, can you reuse a silk? Because at, at this kind of price... Jane, you was it? Have to, it Jane? You don't have to try and unpick those knots, you know. Jane? Out of this, so out of one card, you will get two um, two necklaces and maybe a bracelet. Wow. If ever it crosses your mind that you haven't got enough silk to finish a, the, the piece that you're making, don't do it. Don't do it. So what don't I tend start. to do is, if I use this red, because we'll, we'll take the red one because I like that one. If I do an 18-inch necklace from this one, I will write on with pencil, not with pen, just with pencil, one 18-inch necklace on there so I know how much is left on mm. there. Keep the card wrap it back round onto the card mm. and then you know what's there. Now is it these pearls you'd like me to show again? I do not blame you. We have 19 of 19, the pearl kit sold out, we have 19, one nine, thrust that at me Fleur. That's the colour that I would put with these. I mean, these are your Christmas Day pearls, if ever I've seen it, oh, or your New Year's Eve yeah. pearls, or your I am walking down the aisle, I am the mother of the groom, I am the mother of the bride. We had Debbie messaging earlier, her son's getting married next oh. Friday. So uh, these pearls, Lovely. after the break, we'll see you in a minute. Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. This weekend, from Friday to Sunday, we've got the winter wedding event. When I was in Hong Kong in September, I've hand-selected the pearls that are going into this event. So keep your eyes out, they'll be called the hand-selected range. Uh, I personally went through many, many strands of pearls, picked the nice ones, all the ones with the beautiful luster, made sure there was no filling, uh, made sure that the surfaces were absolutely the best they could be. Um, we went through thousands and thousands of lines of pearls to bring you this beautiful selected range. So look out for the hand-selected range during this weekend's winter wedding event. A strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's winter wedding weekend here at Jewelry Maker Towers this weekend. So if you're looking for some beautiful pearls, some incredible findings, then join us. I'll be here on the Friday mid show and the Saturday mid show. On the Friday mid show, we have got a 40 piece sterling 
silver findings pack. Make sure you're in for that one. Now we've got some pearls, we've got all sorts of other elements. On Saturday, we've got some top drilled Baroque pearls that are not to be missed. Of course, amongst so many other fantastic products, I know that you are going to just love. I can't wait, so join me and a host of all the other gorgeous ones here at Jewelry Maker Friday and Saturday for the winter wedding extravaganza. They are stunning, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? I mean, this is my kind of pearls. And me. We're both the same like this, yeah. aren't we? Because I struggle with white pearls personally. I yeah. just can't yeah. carry them off. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I put my white pearls on, I go, it's not me. It's just, I can't, it's, it's just not me. These. I could wear yeah. and wear and wear. And these, the second, can I tell you what's going to happen when you when you make a piece of jewellery with these? The second you put them on for the very first time, it will be a love affair. Now, you think about Queen Elizabeth II. You think about that three-strand pearl necklace that she wears practically every day, doesn't she? She has since she was 25 years old. This is the Queen. Imagine the access to the jewellery she's got. And yet she chooses pearls on a daily basis. It says it all, doesn't it? May I, darling, may I? For, yeah. There you go. Oh, oh. so still all myself. Now, first of all, how good is a magnetic clasp? I was going to say. That was it. That was quick, quick, are you that ready talk. to go out? Yeah, I am now <laughs> ready to go. These pearls, we have, is it nine, 19? Oh, I, mm. But what a 19 they are. So look at that. It makes you feel amazing. This is a love affair that you'll have with your pearls. Look you, at that. I, from, from selling pearls yes. a lot, people do fall in love with pearl jewellery more they than do. they do with any other type of jewellery. So some of the kinds of jewellery that I sell, people go, oh, yeah, I like that one, but I like that one. I could put five pearl necklaces up and they will just go to one and they just have that affinity it's, it's like, and they it's fall all, in love with yeah, it. Yeah, it's like a magnet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. You know, there is, I honestly do believe, and I'm with you with this, when it comes to pearls, like you said, without anything else, you, there is something that draws yeah. you to a to particular pearl. Yeah, yeah. It's, mag yeah, it's, it's like it magic. It's like magic. It is. It really is. Like, you could, like I say, you could put mm. lots of different pearls out 
and they will just be drawn to one. And to their friends one. will be saying, oh, I like this one here. And they've just yep. got eyes for that yep. one. Honed in, blinkered, yep. that That's it. is it. That's all and do you find, now Jan Dwyer says this as well. Guess is our Jan Dwyer. She says that of all the pieces that she has, there is if there's one thing that, that customers do not quibble on or query or barter on is the price of pearl jewellery. No, but pearls, I think pearls and diamonds, they have a perceived value. Yeah. Um, some gemstones, not so because they're not as well known as others, but you could go onto any high street in, around the world and see a pearl piece of jewellery and yeah. know that the price tag won't be something that's maybe under uh -huh. £100, so yeah. it's always exactly big price tag. Can I just say something else as well? Um, I, I'm sure we all look in jewellers' windows all the time. I have never to date, other than Jewelry Maker, personally ever seen pearls of this size and this, this, this type of pearl ever in a shop window. I just haven't. You've got this metallic luster that is utterly spellbinding. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is the colour tone. It's almost indescribable, isn't it? The beauty that you're yeah. seeing there and the uniqueness of them. Yeah. A, a pearl does literally mean unique. That is what pearl means in Latin. It means unique. Because every single one of them yeah. is so unique. No matter what's happened to that pearl, maybe it's had a treatment or something like that, mm. they will still be yeah. all unique. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now then, I'll tell you what, um, Ollie, did you say, can we put, I think we need that one mm. minute, guys. Mm. I do, because, I, and again, I, n I need to urge this, because we do get people message in and get upset, but... It is, we have to be as fair as we can. We load the graphics, we're gonna give you a minute to, to, to get hold of them. And it has to be a case of, and this is why we do urge trying the Jewelry Maker app. Because the danger is if you do ring our call center, we've only got so many people in the call center, they'll get to you as quickly as they can. If you really wanna guarantee as quickly as you can, try the app, please. Mm -hmm. It's the quickest way to check out. The, the, the web as well. But please have that option. Give yourself an added comfort blanket of getting the app. It's really important, with, in our opinion. So, clock please, Ollie, if you wouldn't mind, darling. Oh, oh. Ooh. Hey, yeah. hey. Oh, I'm Michael J. Wolf. <laughs> uh, right then, okay, sorry. Okay, now you have your 60 seconds. So, um, if you want these, they are exceptional. They will... I mean, if you, the necklace I'm wearing, Fleur, if you were to sell that, what kind of price would you, would you honestly talk? It's got to be hundreds and hundreds, surely. For me, this would, this would be my, um, probably 200 upwards, depending on what findings right. you're going to put with okay. it. But for me, this kind of pearls, I would put with my, um, I've got a range of pearls on my website, which are a single pearl with a, a sterling silver chain in between yep. each one. So I use the maximum of nine and that right. necklace is 200 pound. Right, okay. nine pearls. Right, okay, so bear that in mind, okay. Do also remember there are 19, limited edition, 19. That is one nine, not 90, 19. But to be honest, when you get pearls of this caliber, you expect them to be limited because they're so unusual. Okay, three, two, one. Are you ready? Hand selected for these high luster metallic lilac pearls and they are 10 to 12 mil. Now, every time you go up a millimeter in a pearl, you're talking a minimum of a 20% price increase. Is that not right, Fleur? Yeah, um, it depends on, um, on the, there's lots of things that depend on like, the price of a, of a pearl, but the size of a pearl, definitely. Yeah. The For me, for these, it's not just the size of them, it's the, it's the orient of them, that, that exactly. beautiful orient that yeah. you can see, that glow that's around yeah. them. The, um, the naked that's there, the, the, yeah. these amazing surfaces. The, I mean, they called it high luster. Um, oh. I think you could, you, you're verging on a metallic totally luster agree. to these. Um, I mean, I personally would use, if I was to put them in one whole necklace, then yeah, you, you know, you're looking at a very expensive necklace, but I would yeah. use them, like say, nine of, nine of these pearls. Yep. For one necklace. Okay, we are down to ten. Oh. Practically half the availability is gone. I'm just going to... Right, okay. Let me show you. First of all, we are talking about an exceptional strand. Now, Marie, uh, Marie and Caroline went out to Hong Kong... And this is one of those strands and they, and, and that they found that they hand-selected. We've got some pictures of them, haven't we? Yeah. There you go. So that's Marie actually hand-selecting pearls. That's not the pearls that she's hand-selecting because yeah. we don't have that many. But uh, 
But you, you, you wouldn't have that many no, this strand. No, never. Because to, I mean, if you think about a South Sea pearl strand, which obviously South Sea pearls are, the yield of South Sea pearls is a lot less. But same as these, these, these are not your everyday pearls. It takes 10 years to colour match a strand of South Sea pearls. Mm. So these could take, you know, you would be going through a lot of pearls to actually match these into strands absolutely because i think these will probably be one pearl one mollusk so these yeah. aren't grown in the mantle these are grown in the by by the val by the um the valve of the actual shell so where the where all the internal organs are yeah. this is where these will be so there'll be one pearl one mollusk so that, I mean the value there is is blatantly obvious. But then if you do one pearl, one mollusk, the, the chance of matching them That's what I mean. Is even, that, is must even be, less. that must be so yeah. complex. I mean if you take a strand of potato pearls, you can get maybe nearly all that strand of potato pearls mm, in one from mollusk. One mollusk, but not so with they're these. all gonna be the same yeah, colour yeah, yeah. shape. And size, that affects that the price, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. And these. So two four nine ninety five, hand selected, stunning st sorry? We're not finished on price. That's crazy. Oh, you... I wish you could see. I wish you could see that dance he's just done. His children never want to see him dancing His children like that. never <laughs> want to see that hip rotation that we got. Never. And the reason he's so excited is he's going to drop that price, change the two and change the two for a one. We are taking a hundred pounds off that price on those pearls. So, like I say, on my website, because I, I don't, oh. I have nine pearls. So can you count out nine? Of course I can, sweet pea. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's it, so if you want to know, it's the Charlotte necklace on my website. So you can see it there and you, it's got those nine pearls in it, exactly the same size as these. There's nine pearls and it's a two hundred pound necklace. Okay, so how many times we could do that then, right? You say nine, yeah. Yep. So two, four, six, eight, nine. So you kick. That's two. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's three. Two, four, six, eight, nine. You've got you've got four of those necklaces at yep. two hundred pounds each. Two hundred pounds each. That. Two, so that's eight hundred pounds. Yeah. And there's three left. Yeah. But if you just get the pendant that we made with the beaver pearl earlier. Yes. There you go. One of these. Yep. One of these pearls. Uh huh. I think would be. I would say on a head pin, yep. like with a, a lovely wrap loop, or even a pearl peg with a, a lovely drop underneath, um, I'm thinking for a necklace for one pearl, 60, 70 pounds. Easy. For one. Uh, three left. Three left. Collector in Gloucestershire, Tracy in Kent, Patricia in Hampshire, Vanessa in Cheshire, Collector in Sussex. If you want to get this strand, and remember, ask that question. I do this to myself all the time. If I'm trying to justify a purchase to myself, will I regret not buying these? If your instant answer into your brain is, yes, I will, do not dare miss out. You've got three chances. That's it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh no, two chances. No, man, you've got it. Oh, Norma's got a well done, Norma, in South Yorkshire. Good girl. Uh, well done, Norma. Uh, there's two left. There are two left. Ignore what he's got at the bottom of that screen. He just hasn't changed it. Two left. Oh, go on. He's on it, look. Only limited edition, only two available. Um, and they are such a limited edition. They person. really are. I've, I've got a fleur day coming up, and I've been given the pearls... They were specially bought for that, and there's nothing like this. Really? Oh, okay. Um, so they are about Elvina. You are within a whisker, but you need to. Oh, she's got them! Yay! Yay! Elvina's oh, got just, them! This pearl here. I've just seen that one. That pearl there, that beautiful pear drop pearl. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, that pearl alone, I think, is worth 60, 70 pounds. I totally agree. Just for that one, that one totally pearl. It's got a beautiful luster to it and the shape of it, just absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, there's another perfect. one that matches it there, look, yeah, that. actually. So you can make a pair of earrings. Yeah. So you've got the two drops there. Yeah. Ten of you going after the final one. How beautiful yeah. is that strand? Well done. Congratulations. What a strand. And uh, if you don't mind me saying, they feel fabulous when they're on. It makes you sort of want your, your posture right and your shoulders back. And look at that. I mean, they look nice against the hand, but when they're on the skin, and that's the thing, Flo will tell you all the time, pearls want to be worn. They do. They don't like to be in plastic no, bags because they, they can't don't. breathe. They love to be worn, and the oils from your skin are the nicest thing for pearls to actually have to keep that beautiful shine. Judith's got the last one, I believe, hasn't she? 
Yeah, Judith. Congratulations. I think these are, I would be using the wish list for the oh, last round. Oh, yeah. So if any do come back yeah. in stock. Register your um, interest. I would have that. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you know which ones it is, darling? Because there's two different shapes. Be these ones. Oh, I don't want to take these off. Oh, I'll tell you what, can I just show you this? Can I just show you the class that's coming up? Do you mind, just before we move on to the pearls? All that. Oh, quiet. Look at that. Beautiful magnetic clasp. We've got the two sizes, I believe, Wayne. Yeah, I think there's two. There's one coming up later on as well. Oh. Yeah. So we've got uh, Fantastic. brand new class coming up for you, but there's only, there's only 46 available, but you know. Right then, would you like to see these pretty pearls that we've just done? High luster pearls, again, all hand selected. Oh, excuse me. Oh, there you go. Um, so, these are, these are perfect. They look perfect. Now again, these are all limited hand selected pieces, uh, hand selected strands, every single one. Can you do it love? Yeah, thank you darling, sorry. I'm a little bit more fiddly with the toggle, me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a bit more fiddly with the toggle. <laughs> <laughs> bit more fiddling with the toggle. Uh, now then, um, Fleur has already taught us this morning how to uh, pearl knot. We have pearl knotted there with the garnet th uh, silk thread. We've had lots of lovely colours. We've still got more sizes, more of the natural silks coming up as well. The beautiful beige, the beautiful white, uh, and the, uh, some of the other sizes. Okay, the clock please, Ollie. <coughs> 60 seconds again. Okay, 33 chances on these. Let me grab them for you so you can see them. So these are like your Hollywood pearls. Yeah, this your is, Audrey Hepburn. That's it. Yeah. So um, the most famed pearls, if you like, of, of this size are your Akoya pearls. They yeah. are the only, there's only three sort of like produced cultured pearls that are cultured in sea and Akoya are one of them. Yeah. They're like the prized yeah. smaller pearls. These are very reminiscent of that. Mm -hmm. These are probably, fre these are freshwater cultured pearls, but without an x-ray and without that certificate, you, Who's you're gonna not going to know. Gonna know. Um, I mean, the luster from these, so these don't have that metallic luster. No, they have totally this, different look. this sort of like, um, and the Koya Pearl is famed for its mirror light luster. Mm -hmm. These are virgin on that mirror light luster because you can see the lights individually in the pearls. You can. So That's you exactly can what you can see. see look like a mirror image yep. of, of what you could, you know, so it reflects. Mm. So they're the most reflective of pearls that you can get within sort of like your freshwater culture pearls. They're exquisite, pearls. aren't they? They are, they're absolutely beautiful. And they're yep. everyday size. Mm. And, and yeah, absolutely, because they are, I know, the, 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 sorry, the graphics are in just while we're talking. I just want to make sure you get that code. If you've got your head down trying to check out, JS. R O nine seven. It is a, and again, as as Fleur said there, that is what the. If you're talking about your classical pearl knotted pearls, your Audrey Hepburn, your Breakfast at Tiffany's, your Marilyn Monroe, your Grace mm -hmm. Kelly, those kind of, you know, your Vivian Lees. This is your Hollywood pearls. No, that's the only piece of um, jewelry that Marilyn Monroe ever owned. A sixteen inch strand of. That's, of I, I that's say that all, all she the, ever owned. All, isn't that yeah, sad? Really, sad, when you think yeah. about it. But I think a lot of people, you know, a lot of A-list celebs that you think have these, they're mm -hmm. only loaned from, yeah, from the things absolutely. that's all she had. Yeah, uh, Right then, can I have a little look, um, Wayne? Because I'm just a bit worried about this one. I think this is going to sell out very, very quickly indeed. They are exceptional, what we would class as a near round. I mean, you can see what we're talking about there, can't we? And at yeah. 67 mil, it's such a lovely... Yeah. Can I have a quick look at them? Yeah, can I have a look? Yeah, sorry, can I just... Just want to make sure you're getting that. F there you go. Aren't they lovely? They're beautiful, aren't they? Really yeah. pretty pearls. They're absolutely beautiful. The skin on these pearls. So the skin is the actual surface. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you can look at these and, I mean, if you, you could look at other pearls and you would see little pits and flaws within, this, yeah, within the pearls. little pearl. imperfections where they've but been attached to the mollusk. you can see that there's no... Um, there's no there's surface no, marking, is there? No surface markings at all. There's the skin of these pearls is absolutely... So that'll affect the value, won't beautiful. it? Beautiful, yeah. It's yeah. one of the most, you know, it's one of the one that sort of like we... There's only two things that as a consumer you yeah. have the choice of with pearls. The rest is done in the pearl 
farm. So you choose, choose your colour yeah. and, and the size. size. Colour and size. Everything else is graded by, oh, whereas like okay. diamonds, same as diamonds really, yeah. you, know, you, you choose the cut and the setting yeah. um, and everything else is graded by an expert. Oh. So these are, you know, to, to be put together like this, it's absolutely beautiful. Mm. They colour, are, the colour matching is, is yeah, incredible. Yeah, really great colour matching. And, you know, they yeah. are... They're so beautiful as well. I mean, yeah. you could two 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 bracelets from that easily. Two bracelets and two pairs of earrings mm. you would be able yeah. to make from this if you wanted yeah. to. You know, have that as a bracelet size because it's a beautiful, it is beautiful bracelet, bracelet size, size. Actually, if I'm just show you there, look, it is the perfect size for a bracelet. It actually, isn't it? It is. Look at that. Right now, Wayne, I need to ask you a favour on behalf of Lorna. Now, Lorna, I'm going to do my best for you here, lovely. Lorna's bought two. So I think if there's any way, if there's any way you can look after Lorna, because she's bought two, she would be very grateful. Okay? Now I believe you're checking out at 249 on the web. 251, I do apologise. How about Ooh. if we do what? If we make it under a hundred pounds. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, let's, let, do what, sorry? Right, here's, here, I tell you what we'll do. We'll do, we'll do you, a, come here. We will do you a deal, right? If you check them all out, right, have the lot, People, people, not you, Lorna, you haven't got to have them all, Lorna. But it means that the, the management, don't, it, it, we can sort of get it under the radar. I hope nobody's got one of those great big 40, 50 inch oh, no. like HD TVs. You know what? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Zena's <laughs> coming out the screen at them. <laughs> not, not oh, I've just screen. eaten, love, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> just imagine one of those big <laughs> cinema screens. <laughs> 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 right then, let's get that clock in. We're going to have the lot. Lorna's like, yes, please. Oh, yeah, for the poor thing. I wouldn't mind my set. Dad's got a 60 inch. Yes. Right, set the clock going, please. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's got a 60 inch telly. He rang me up the other day and he said, do you want my, do you want my other one? Because he just replaced it. He rang me up and said, would you like a 60 inch telly free of charge? I went, no. <laughs> no, thanks. A bit too big. It's too big. Yeah, no, he's giving it to me. else now. these ones here? There about that, aren't they? No, it's bigger than that. In his front lounge, and he said, Do you want me 60 inch? I went, No. 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 We do have, we do have these beautiful silks coming up that would be perfect for these pearls, would they not, Fleur? They would. They and would, we've got some beautiful they, sterling silver um, clasps as well, and gold oh, we plates. We do, darling. We do indeed. And we've got the sterling silver spaces. We've got the sterling silver stardust. We've got yellow gold plated. We've got the uh, rose gold plated, sterling silver, yellow gold plated shepherd hooks. We've got because these would make the perfect size of pearl earrings as well. Yeah, they would. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they would. If you, I mean, a, per, a, a size, um, a small pair of. Either pearl studs or pearl drops. Yep. You're looking at forty pound for a pair. For okay. Two. Should we work out? Should, oh, it's going under a hundred. It's official. It's going under a hundred to seven. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh well, oh yeah, oh yeah. That is really dear good. me. Hi, I'm Karima. Uh, let's. How many earrings? How many earrings? Right. One pair, two pair. Oh, hang on a second. Got too excited there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty, thirty-three pairs of earrings times forty quid, please. Nice. One thousand three hundred. And twenty pounds. Now that is not a pie in the sky. That's a genuine. Yeah. You could sell those for forty quid each. Forty pound a pair. Yeah. Who wouldn't want a who pair wouldn't? of pair, pair forty earrings quid? Forty pound a pair, yeah. especially like this. Now, I think what we need to discuss as well is sometimes Ooh. we always talk about obviously the bigger the pearl, the the more money it is, like the more perceived value it is. 
but it's not just the size of a pearl. It is to do with like the, like we were saying before about mm. the skin of the pearl, the orient of that pearl. You know that beautiful luster of that pearl, the colour matching of that pearl. All these go integral, into. Integral, aren't they? They're all well, integral. It's like your four C's with diamonds, it isn't is. it? It's exactly yeah. the same. So there's five, you know, the five characteristics, but you need to. Um, so it's not just size. It's not just the size no. of them, and I think sometimes we we sort of like. But maybe a little bit guilty of it here at jewelry yeah, making. Yeah, you know, yeah. the bigger the pearl, oh, it must be more yeah. expensive because it's it's bigger. It's yeah. you know more bold. But sometimes perfection yeah. needs to be. And also, if I'm, you know, some of it like I I for all my lip and whatever, I I'm actually very much understated when it comes to jewelry. Yeah, I don't like big statement. I, yeah. It just doesn't. Work. So you could say to me, you could say to me, do you know what? Here's this big bead nucleated pearl, yeah. and it's this and it's that, and yeah. so it's exactly the same with with tanzanite. Yeah. Every in the industry, it is deemed that quad A tanzanite is the best and therefore the most expensive. It's too dark for me. No, I, prefer, I don't I like it. A. Yeah. So so you could bank it could and, and it's quite you, everybody could. It's like a piece of art, isn't it? Yeah. Somebody could say that piece of art is like the technically. Sometimes I look at these pieces of art and I think they're worth. And I no. think, I wouldn't have that on my wall if you paid no, me. No, it's it's all it's all your choice. It's your, it's your yeah. choice. And I think got, that's it. If you've got somebody with a slightly uh, slimmer frame, yeah. or you know, you want that beautiful choker length necklace, which is yeah. what this would be absolutely perfect. For me, this is your collar and your choker length necklace. For me, this is where your where, yeah. where this this design's gonna come into into play. Yeah. But you know, if you think a, a bracelet, fifty pound bracelet, so that's two bracelets, that's hundred pounds, one for you, one for your best friend. Yeah, exactly. So, or one for your daughter, yeah. one for your granddaughter, or yeah. two granddaughters for their Christmas listening gifts, their yeah, wedding exactly. gifs. Yeah, you know, something, something really like that. You've got something really special. Mm. And then two pairs of earrings as well. You know, you've mm. got you've got a strand of pearls there that I think is more versatile than yeah. any of the pearls that we've got so far that we've done so I far agree. in the day. Yeah. Um, can I just say as well, I went for lunch with a friend of mine called uh, Anne yesterday and um, she's a very mature lady, beautifully turned out. Do you know she's never owned a pair of pearls in a, a set of pearls in her in her life. And last year when we had when we launched the Radiant Pearls on Christmas Day, uh, I bought some and Mark Smith very kindly yeah. put a pair together for her yeah. and she had them on yesterday yeah. and you know I said to her you really suit pearls and she said you know they're my favourite thing you've ever given me yeah. she said I wear them every day and yeah. she looks amazing in them yeah. and it was so lovely to be able to make, yeah. to gift her pearls that's lovely really was so well done everybody do keep checking out those last little teeny tiny feet. do you want that clasp I have to say clasp darling because it's um it's posh yes hey yes 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 she I know you won't, but... It's uh, a clasp. It's a clasp. Now then, it's... Um, oh, my goodness. Imagine, like, when we do our lovely rice pearls as well, how perfect yes. that would be. Well, I noticed the smaller mm. one on the rice pearl bracelet. Yeah. Can you see the smaller one on the bracelet yeah. there? Yeah, we've got the smaller one coming up on this in a, in a moment. So, well, a bit later on. So, a bit later on. Th these, these pearls, look, I'll, I'll turn it... This is the smaller version. So, you could have that for the bracelet to get ready. Get ready. Look how lovely that looks. Yeah. So aesthetically, it just moves Blends. through. It's fluid. Yeah. Yeah. And we do have some uh, rice pearls coming up later, obviously. Okay. So this is magnetic. And the first thing, let's get the, um, there's negative and positive. Uh, oh, did you get it? Uh, no. I yeah. uh, what I want to say there is you must always, you must, must, must. It's really important. If You need to say to anybody if they're wearing a, any kind of pacemaker device, do you uh, just check with the manufacturer? Now, we're not saying that this will or won't affect, but obviously if you're having a device like that, you need to make sure it's safe. So yeah. just check with the manufacturer as to whether that will affect it or not. Because obviously it's got quite a dramatic magnet in there, really, when you think about it. Oops, get off. Get, get off, stop it. Oh, he's been a monkey, isn't he? So there you go, look. You've got this huge magnet, so you've got security. This is great for, um, you all say about, they're great. Are they good for... Chainmail as well. Yeah, because they'll hold a lot of weight. Yeah. Uh, they will yeah. hold a lot of weight. And this one's got great um, attachment rings. So yeah, it does, doesn't it? They're very solid, yeah, you, aren't they? You can yeah. get like quite a lot of, uh, either a lot of strands through there. So if you wanted to do multiple strand necklaces, you know, yeah. you could have that. Uh, or, or like you say, chainmail. Mm. So an oval. I have never, today on Jewelry Maker, seen us do an oval magnetic no. clasp. No, I've seen round. Seen round. Brand new today. We believe that it's the first time we've done oval. So any oval bead that you've got, any oval shape that you've got. Wouldn't it go lovely on the, on Shall the I those, pick it up and pop it there? Just with those uh, beaver pearls. Yeah, can I pop on there, look. Okay, there was only 46 and 10 have gone already. Sorry, 20 gone. See, that would be, for me, that would be beautiful to go alongside this necklace because then it wouldn't matter if that necklace turned around because that's a feature class. It is a feature. 
I think that would look beautiful because it, it, it's the same length as the B pearl, so it, yep. there's no difference. In the... Has anybody noticed four grams of sterling silver in there as well? It's brilliant. It's beautiful. And we have the... If you all check out, it's gone. We have the smaller one coming up. All right, we have the smaller one coming up. 12... No, oh, good price, mate. Hey! For four grams of sterling that's silver. That's a good price. That's two necklaces worth. Yeah. Yeah? That is two necklaces worth. Uh, we haven't got enough. Sorry. Sorry. Do you know what you can do as well? If I just quickly show you. What do you want? What you, do you want? What do you want? Tell me what you um, want. I'll give it you. If uh, let me, where's the? What are you looking for, Bob? Oh, I'll just use this one just so you can see. Three left. Forty-seven in baskets. Can I just pick awkward? It up? Of course you can. If you put a clasp on one end, which is really difficult to do it with your pliers when they're metal as well, put a clasp on one end and a, a jump ring on the other. Yeah. Then you can add it. Actually, if I quick, I'm so sorry, can I quickly do it and then I can show Sold out. Show you exactly what I mean. Sold out. Do you want to do the? Are you doing the other one or are you? Doing um, that one no, we've got this one yet. Um, okay. What else do you want to do quickly while Flo's doing that? Oh yeah! I tell you what. While you, oh hang on, you done it? Yeah. Hang on, she's done it. I'm going to show you something. Then. So she's done it. She's done this about Flo. If you want to, what you can do is, if you don't want to, if you want to keep changing this into an existing necklace, yeah, you put that on one end. So you clasp on one end and a a bolt ring on the other. Yeah. And then all you need to do is, if you can see what you're doing. Then, yeah. If these were smaller yeah. clasps. We've got a smaller you, one coming turn, up. No, I mean your jump ring, your bolt rings. Yeah. You've turned an existing necklace. Into magnetic? Into magnetic. Oh, brilliant. And then all you do is you just undo it. Oh, brilliant. So it's still, yeah. it's still a magnetic clasp. Oh. You just keep adding it into oh, that's clever. Whatever, whatever you want Oh, isn't that to. clever? So just pop a... a oh, Fleur, that's brilliant. A jump ring on one side and a clasp on the other, and then you can add it into whatever other clasp you've got. Oh. Yeah, because my friend Valerie only wears jewellery now because of magnetic clasps, because yeah. she, couldn't, she couldn't manage it. Well, you can, you can turn all of your pieces into that. Brilliant. Now, this is supposed to come with a cloth, doesn't it? I haven't got the cloth. Have we got the cloth? Have we got the cloth? If we could have the cloth, that'd be great. Have we got the cloth, Tom? Tom! Uh, it does come with a cloth. It comes the, with a microfiber cloth. It does this, come with a cloth, definitely. This is the... Um, definitely. This is the company that I use for all my cleaning... Products. Town Talk, isn't it? Town Talk. Yeah, yeah they're so brilliant. I use, I use Town Talk all the time. Now, this pearl spray is absolutely fantastic, but it is, um, you do have to read the instructions on how to use it. Yep. Don't just spray the pearls. Um, yep. Try not to get the silk wet, because... Yeah, it says silk, that on their website. It's, yeah, it's a silk that, when that silk rots and gets wet, it will rot inside the pearl. So you get a cloth to go with it, and what I tend to Can do... Can show you the cloth? There you go. I tend to spray... I tend to spray a little bit on the cloth or even on a little bit of um, sort of like lint-free tissue. Um, spray that, rub the pearl, and then buff it with the other side. So don't just go along and spray all over the top of this because, that, A, it's going to be wasteful. Yeah. So what I tend to do is I tend to use a little bit of the spray onto the um, thing. And it says, can I just read that on the back, actually? Because it yeah. does say, so it says, um, spray the liquid onto the pearls, taking care to avoid wetting the thread mm -hmm. of the pearls. It's really important that, that that silk doesn't get wet yeah. because that will start to rot then yeah. and that will snap. So, And I, this is like perfectly say, balanced pH-wise oh, for it's, your pearls, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, we always try and be as careful as we can with our pearls. And we, the, the last thing we put on and the first thing we take off. But sometimes, yeah, like even it's wearing it now, it might get a little bit of makeup on there. You oils off the skin and stuff, yeah, aren't you? You might have done a bit of hair spray. Yeah, it's inevitable. That kind of thing. Or if, you know, yeah. you know, if you've been cooking and things like that, because pearls yeah. are porous, they'll they are. take on that smell yeah, as well. This so is this is perfect. This is absolutely I think this is a nice stocking filler for Christmas as well. A really good stocking filler. Yeah, because uh, mo yeah. Yeah. Most, most of us, we had 159 over 50 gone already. Uh, it, the spray is also ideal for cleaning mother of pearl trinkets and we've got some mother of, in That's fact, really we've got a mother good. of pearl coming up later. So this spray, there you go, look. So this spray is also ideal for cleaning your mother of pearl trinkets and costume jewelry as well. 
So it's not just for your pearls. It's ideal, and this will say that on the t on um, Town Talks website. Ideal for mother of pearl. Ideal for costume jewelry as well. That is a uh, secret Santa for all your jewelry. Totally agree. Gifts. Absolutely, because it's costume jewelry. Yeah. It's and all of us, most of us have got costume jewelry. A lot of us have got mother of pearl. So yeah. you've got that, and all the instructions and all the information is on the back. You can go to the um, Town Talks website. I searched mm -hmm. for it earlier. All the information is there. It does come with the little cloth as well so that soft microfiber cloth is included and just polish your pearl really gently with it that's it just don't don't i don't use anything that's that's got lint within it so like toilet tissue that kind yeah. of thing because yeah. the filments will get onto well, the actual pearl. It? yeah and it can get everywhere yeah. these little microfiber cloths are perfect They're like brilliant. i say i use half of it and i spray the spray the the um the spray onto the cloth and then I wipe the pearls so I don't get that yeah. silk wet and then I buff it with the other yeah. side as well. Yeah. But you know, you could use just another lint-free cloth for that. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's it is fantastic and it goes Brilliant. such a long way. Yeah. It really and does. And it's very well known and as, as, as Fleur just said, if you go to the uh, Town Talk website, you'll see, you can just see it's a quality company. This is what I give away with them. So I've got a little uh, Town Talk do a little pearl kit which I've been asking for for ages. I don't think we're going to get it. A little pearl kit that goes. So I, I give one of those away, and it, what it's got is it's got a little um, wet tissue with this already on it, and oh, a little great. cloth. So I give that as a free gift for anybody oh, that's that buys. Lovely. Um, so I do do it with stainless silver as what well. What a lovely but. idea! Yeah. So if you know anybody, if you own pearls, if you know any friends or family that have got pearls, what a lovely little gift for Christmas! What yeah. a lovely idea! Yeah. Back to sell out. Great. Well done. That's great. What a lovely, lovely look. I'd love that, got, I would. Yeah, that I'm really... So it's one that I've used for a long time. And do you know what? Just before we do move on, a lovely looking box as oh, well. You should Packaging. see the tins that they really? do. They do some beautiful old-fashioned oh, tins. Oh, I yeah. love it. Really lovely. Sorry, darling. I got all excited then, didn't I? I got all excited. Oh, is this the, um, what do you call it? Fireball. Looks like a fireball pearl to me. Yep. It is. It's very much a, and it's uh, half drilled as well. Oh, this, this is amazing. Five. Did you get one of these? No. Oh, I don't think you're going to get one today either, darling. I've, I've got a beautiful fireball pearl, though. Do you know, these, these are so unusual, the way that they? They, that they create these. Aren't they? Really, really unusual how they're created as well. Do you want to say quickly? Oh, can't, have I got time? Go on. So what you do with when you create a fireball pearl is you put the bead nucleus at one side of the of the, of the mollusk, yeah. and then you put the host tissue in this in this case about three to like two two centimeters away. Yeah. And what will happen is the pearlescent or the the, the nacre will grow from the host tissue over wow. the top. So it create, creates this flame ball. Wow. Uh, our uh, in-house budding bees are the lovely Anne is trying to currently get one another one of these and she absolutely loves them. Way over allocated collection of the Channel Islands. Anne, you've got to be quick, darling, as well. Collection Sussex, you've got them. Laura and Gwent, you've got them as well. $39.95, if you don't mind me saying, is a ridiculous it buy is. price for a fireball yeah. pearl. Especially for this colour as well, because mm. usually fireball pearls tend to be more of the um, the pinks and the oranges, you know, those kind of, um, like the pearls that we had earlier. Yeah. Yeah, to get a champagne one. Yeah. Well, well done. Well done. Well done, Anne. Well done. Well done. Beautiful. Which one, sorry, darling? Oh, we've got some cashews. But I, I love the size of these cashews. Because mm. the cashews are a lot often are quite, we, we bring them to you larger. And for somebody like me that likes dainty jewellery, it's so nice to be able yeah. to get a cashew but in a smaller yeah. size. These are gorgeous, aren't they? These are absolutely beautiful. They're cute. And again, we were talking earlier about like confetti and things for weddings. And I think that just, they, they, it's almost like they're, um, when they're on a neckline like that, I like that because they're all higgledy piggledy and it gives you a completely different look. Um, did you make those? I've got some cashews in, a, in my kit. Ah, can we just show Fleur's earrings and bracelet that she's made with a similar strand? Oh, Fleur, I like those. These are smaller though. These, the ones that are in the kit are a lot smaller. But yeah, they just, they're beautiful. Oh, they're gosh, a they're lot gorgeous. more organic. And these are little surprises for the pearl farmers. These are, all these are little surprises that they never knew were growing inside that really? mollusk. Yeah. Is that how so, it started out? So that's what, that's what cashew is. You can't, you can, um, you can re, 
So when you take a pearl out yeah. of a mollusk, you can re-harvest it. Yeah. So you can put it straight back into the water yeah. and hope that it will start to that it will carry on secreting that mother of pearl to create the cashew pearl. Because yeah. the cashew pearl doesn't have any bead nucleus at all. Okay. So these tend to um, form in the folds of right. the mantle or wherever the, the yeah. pearl is starting to grow. So these are all surprises. So sometimes oh, you can oh. put a, you can put a mollusk back in after the pearl's been harvested for a second harvest without any bead nucleus, and okay. a cashew pearl will will form. Oh right, okay. But it's not all the time. Wow. It depends if the mollusk wants to do it or not. Oh, it depends what mood it's in. Yeah, that's it. Depends if it's a moody and mollusk. And sometimes it can have like three or four cashews in a in a mollusk. Sometimes it can have lots mm. of cashews in a mollusk, but you can't you can't go out specifically. To, specifically to make cashew pearls. Oh, there you go. Can I show you on the neckline as well? Because obviously I've got the classical uh, pearls that we've just had on with the pearl knotting. And I want to show you just what a difference the cashew looks like on the neckline, if I, if I may. So you look totally and utterly different. Still a pearl, but a completely different look. See, I love, cashews and beewers are my favourite pearls. Are they? Because they've got irregular surfaces, mm. which means that the light hits them at different angles and you get more of a pearlescence. Yeah, absolutely. Right, what next, darling? Ah, no, we were just talking about mother of pearl, weren't we? So if I just pop those down there. We have got, no, um, is that jewellery made with this? Is that? Not sure where, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if there is. Now then, we have got beautiful mother of pearl. So that lovely iridescent nacre coating effectively, isn't it? Well, mother of pearl is, yeah, is, is, yeah it's just, it's, it's, it's it a pearl. Yes. It's, it's, the, it's the inside of the, of the shell that's then oh, being. I love mother of pearl, do you? Well, it's just beautiful, isn't mm, it? It just really absolutely is. Absolutely beautiful. And I think people have magical, this uh, I think. have a um, perception that mother of pearl and pearl are completely different, but they're not. They're not. It's exactly the same. Mm. It's just if you think about a marbe pearl, that's just a mother of pearl that's been grown over the top of something that's like a form, mm. and then cut out of the shell and then set into silver. Yeah. I mean, this is probably one of the most ancient ways of using uh, mother of yeah. pearl as well to to set it within silver like yeah. this. And that is just beautifully formed. It, looks it, like the moon. it does, it doesn't like it? The moon. Yeah. It looks like the most perfect uh, full moon. It really, really does. It's a connector. It's in sterling silver. I don't think it says in the graphics there, does it? But it is definitely 925 sterling silver set. It's a 19 by 15 mil. Uh, with that lovely mother of pearl effect. Yes, darling. Would you be able to set it on the side? Because I've uh, in my what are you thinking? this afternoon. Uh, this afternoon. Well, it is this afternoon. It's twelve o'clock. So what I've got is I, I in my I'm going to sneak peek of the twelve o'clock kit. But can you see how this is now set at sort of like collarbone length on one side? You would be able to do that with those pearls. What connection the pearls? Oh. Oh, you get pearls. You get well. pearls as well. Do you? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, so cool. no way. So you would be able to make this kind of necklace with that with that beautiful yeah. connector offset onto sort of like the side yeah. the collarbone side. That would look lovely. Sorry, I didn't realise you got pearls as well. That's a beautiful necklace, that flare. And we're going to show you how to measure out for a connector as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that'll be handy. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Is that in our 12 o'clock kit? That's the 12 o'clock kit. Yeah. Van Dabby Doze. So, but like you said, yeah, if you just sort of went at that length there and just I did an asymmetry. Just beautiful, yeah. that would be. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. It would look it's lovely. For both of them. For both of them. <gasps> oh, Wayne. Oh, oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Did you hear that? That's like a carry on film. Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Can you do this? Can you do the what's his face? Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was his name? Oh, I love Sid, Sid James. Sid James, wasn't it? Sid James. I that love carry on films. Oh, I could watch carry on films. From well, we were talking about carry on films the other day, and is this, some, like, is this something like 57 of them or something? I've got quite a lot. I've got the box set, so I think you I've got You should have been all. in the carry on films. You I, were, you I were designed for the I carry on films, you were, and I mean that in the nicest <laughs> way possible. 
You know exactly I was, what I, I mean do, by that, don't I you? Do. I mean character, looks, I would, aesthetics. I would love to be in a Measurements, film. <laughs> everything. <laughs> And you know that's me of, being uber complimentary. A perfect scene for me. I I'm think thinking of carry on camping with Bart with Babs. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah, for dying. Anyway, fourteen. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh dear. <laughs> Which one, darling? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness! One more chance. Oh my. Mm. Half drilled. Oh, this is this the stupid deal? Yes, yeah, it's the stupid deal. Half drilled, beautiful. I mean, my goodness me! I mean, it's it's just. Do you know why they half drill some and, and full drill that, others? That, well, there's a question. So half drill means it's half drilled at the top. Yep. And then nothing at the bottom. So yeah, yep. explain then, darling. So, in mind, like. Like a lapidrist would look at a stone and say, well, that's a beautiful inclusion. I'm going to cut that inclusion within that gemstone. Yeah. They've seen, looked at this pearl and thought, that would be such a waste to put the drill hole all the way through because the bottom of this pearl, the skin, and the, as you can see, everything about that pearl is perfect yeah. on the bottom. So they would have ah, just put the mess drill hole it. in the top just to make that pearl beautifully aesthetic. Well, I don't know if anybody's seen the beautiful pearl that uh, Clash wears. I love yeah. it, yes, it's And she's actually popped it and put some ceruloon on it and mm. encrusted it with Swarovski. And oh my goodness, it yeah. looks amazing. It really does. And you don't have to stick to a pearl peg for this. No? If you wanted to put some, just glue some 0.8 wire in there. And we did a demo, didn't we? You when, did when we had that pearl peg. When we had the amber. Yeah, you did, yeah. The amber. So, yeah, yeah. you know, we showed you how to set that, that wire or pearl peg. And then you could do some amazing wire work yeah. around that as well. It's incredible. Utterly, utterly, utterly beautiful. And it's about to go, obviously. Well done. Bonjour, Jane. Bonjour. So if you want to have, if you've got a half-drilled pearl, yeah. um, and you want sort of like a little bit of inspiration like this, have a look at a pearl, it's called the Big Pink one. And it's at, it's, <laughs> and that, that's its name. That's its name. And it's worth $10 million, so. <laughs> Um, but it's got a beautiful... I um, love you. I know. I do. I bloody love you. <laughs> it goes, it's got um, like a, a, a platinum band that goes around it that's set with diamonds and it's absolutely beautiful. But you could create that with your um, sterling silver or your silver clay as well. You could, you know, you could create something like that exactly the same. But yeah, have a look. Have a look at sort of like famous pearls and that's one. It's oh, the look at that. third... The, the pink, the big the, pink the, one. The, yeah, it's called the pink, yeah. And it's the big oh, pink, and it's um, it is for that. the third most expensive pearl that's ever been. Wow, wow, ever been sent. Okay, did you did you say number one, darling? The per oh, do you know I haven't seen Peridot for a while. Brand oh. new strand for us today, and we've got these. Can you see they're right? They're they're if they're, they're rectangles look. Oh, what a lovely shape. As spaces with mm. pearls, they'd look amazing. Gorgeous. Pearls and peridot go really They do, together. actually. Let me just grab you that strand we've just... In fact, let me just grab that strand there. Uh, pearls and peridot are the l one of the loveliest combinations. Well, on the, the um, in-house designers have used a green, I assume it's a seed bead, to go with those on white pearls. On this bracelet here, look. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. So you can see how they're going to go. Might not be a seed bead. Oh, it is. Yeah, I think it is. So you can see how a peridot would go beautifully together. It would, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is stunning. And peridot, don't forget as well, glows at night. So if you think about weddings, okay, weddings normally start off in the day, afternoon usually, don't they? Lunchtime, afternoon, and they go right on till sort of whatever time at night. So actually, a, a jet, whatever you choose to wear to a wedding jewellery wise, it's got to go day to night, hasn't it? Peridot couldn't be more perfect. Because it will glow in the day, it will glow it at night as well. It's one of those really great gemstones to take you right through the day mm. into the evening, where into the reception. So and it, it is really is a good to say choice. Good look as well, isn't it? It's what, darling? It's a good look. What is? Peridot. Is it? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, it's a good look gemstone. Yeah. Oh, I did not yeah. know that. Yeah. Oh, that's good then. Right then, I'm just going to ask you a question. Wine. Oh, wine. Is that your best price? I know it's good. Oh, is it? Uh, awkward. <laughs> We've got, we've got about 
in fact, I'm going to tell you, I've got 148. Do you fancy the naughtiest, naughty, perilous, no, I was going to say, no, that didn't work. I was going to say perilously low, but I couldn't make it work into a proper peridoby bit. Perilously. Yeah. A95. Now, those of you checking out to Patricia and collecting the Channel Islands, you might want to increase that order because it is not stopping at 895. Do you know what? Actually, if you check them all out, we might even be allowed to put 50p more in the heating meter in the studio because it's gone flipping <laughs> freezing. <laughs> Are you cold? <laughs> yeah. Oh, got heat on then, Michael. Good, that's got a bit cold. Now, can I just hold those out so you can see them, though? Stop moaning. Look at that. Lovely shape. I like They're those really as like spaces, nice aren't they? They are, and I know probably this people sat at home thinking, can I knot those with the pearls? With the silk, yeah. as long as your silk will go onto your pearls and your gemstones, then yes. So a number four card will more than likely be okay. perfect for that. But you oh, could do a double-stranded technique and use the number two card, which I think we've got some. We have got some up. number twos coming up, my lovelies. Number two silk threads coming up for you. I think we've got the lilac, the emerald, and the amethyst coming up. Yep, yeah, got those coming up. Right then. Shall we, do you fancy it then? Should we take the price down? On a brand new strand of peridot. China, which means great quality, which means clarity, guaranteed, perfect spot on textbook colour of Peridot. Do you know I've got more ready-made, well not ready-made, jewellery yeah, that I've this, not, yeah, so jewellery that I've not made, that I've bought, I've got more Peridot jewellery than anything else in my collection. 4.95 for Peridot. 4.95 for Peridot. Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. We're going to get that all wrong. Oh, oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne, behave. Why? I'm It's a right carry on this morning, Carrie. Oh. Carrie's coming now. Carry on, Carrie. Oh. Hey! <laughs> nice timing. <laughs> Dear. There you go. What do you think is a... What do you, now, here's that lovely necklace that we wish. In fact, let me show oh, you here, yeah. look. In fact, I'm going to try that. Do you mind if I try this on? It's not peridot. It's... Is it? They're no, not, it's seed no, beads. They're seed beads. They're seed beads. But seed just to give you another know, idea. It's a Jan Dwyer that wears one with um, peridot in. I think, I think it is, so. isn't it? I think so. I think so, yeah. it's our jam. Our gravy. John, this weekend, our jam. She's got her pearl drills, hasn't she? She has. Well, we've got the, the uh, Dremel back with the pearl burrs in all the different uh, sizes and reasonable availability this weekend. Oh, fabulous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that, though. Doesn't that go great? Now, yes, they are seed beads, but would it be lovely to change that for the... With the peridot, yeah, I think so. Yeah, with the peridot. Yeah. Peridot. The peridot. And I would use these beautiful gold clasps that are coming would up as well. Would you? These we've done ones. The gold, we've done the gold-coloured um, French wire. So we yes. have. We have, are. There you go. Can I just mention as well, those sterling silver... Loose rope chains, the three of them, 18 inch, are only a matter of minutes away. It's never 11 o'clock. I know. I've just looked at the clock and thought, <gasps> no, where has that morning gone? Three hours you've been yucking. I know. You've not, you've not took a breath. I know. <laughs> well, technically, two. <laughs> but I was talking to Claire on the phone outside. <laughs> the first hour. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you've been here two hours. Sorry, darling. You've been yakking yeah, for three hours. I've been hours. yakking for three hours. Every morning. <laughs> Say again, darling. I'm too sorry. I'm not catching what you're saying. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. These, yes. So what? on the um, DVDs, on the um, Pearl Knot in Edition 2, we'll yep. show you how to use this silk. So it's a double knotted technique that I use with this size. So you can't get sort of like as many pieces out of one card because each piece of silk goes through the pearl twice. Oh, okay. But it's called a Baroque knot. So it's, it was designed for pearls that weren't perfectly spherical so that the knot ah. doesn't interfere with the, the shape and the size. So oh, it doesn't, great. doesn't show up the, yeah. the size, the, the shape of the pearl, if you like. Fantastic, brilliant. So these are your number twos and you've got your Emerald green, your amethyst purple, and your beautiful lilac that uh, Flo was doing a demo with earlier in the size six. Um, Wayne is being very, very lovely and naughty and wonderful to us this morning because he's giving you all of those for four ninety five. Wow! So this is—I know we had the question earlier: can you reuse the threads? But at this price, you don't need to, no. do you? That's no. the lovely thing. Yeah. You don't even need yeah. to. No. 
You don't. And you, like I say, you know, you could have a, a necklace maybe for Christmas Day with the green. Yeah. And then you've got time if you wanted to, to say you're going to wear something a bit jazzy on New Year's Eve. Mm. Read not onto the, the purple. purple. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You, when you've got that skill of being able to knot pearls, it might not Mix be for up. business. It might mm. just be for you. You know, for yeah. you, you might have a special strand of pearls yeah. that you want to use in different colours. The great thing is, depending on what outfit you, you you're wearing, you could just highlight. So if you're, perhaps you've got, it's like a, you know, perhaps you've got a jumpsuit or something with with a green flower in there or something or a purple flower, or and you just want to pick out that one colour tone in your outfit, and then your pearl knot to sort of uh, correlate with that colour. I always get in trouble with a jumpsuit. Oh, don't! You should not be allowed near a jumpsuit. I'm, I'm sorry. Jumpsuit. You, uh, you in a toilet in a jumpsuit? No, no, <laughs> no. no. I'm that person no. that walks out the toilet going, no. "Can someone help me?" Yeah, no, <laughs> don't, no, no. I'm sorry. No, that is like a carry-on film. No. In a jumpsuit. No, <laughs> you and no. Can you imagine like you in the '80s skiing down a mountain in the all-in-one ski suits as well? Oh no, no, no. no. In fact, now we've got that image, should we go to a break and we'll see you after for the deal of the day? <laughs> Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. It's winter wedding weekend here at Jewelry Maker Towers this weekend. So if you're looking for some beautiful pearls, some incredible findings, then join us. I'll be here on the Friday Mid Show and the Saturday Mid Show. On the Friday Mid Show, we have got a 40 piece sterling silver findings pack. Make sure you're in for that one. Now we've got some pearls, we've got all sorts of other elements. On Saturday, we've got some top drilled Baroque pearls that are not to be missed, of course, amongst so many other fantastic products I know that you are going to just love. I can't wait, so join me and a host of all the other gorgeous ones here at Jewelry Maker Friday and Saturday for the winter wedding extravaganza. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com.
Friday. <laughs> I know, it's weekend, isn't it? Yeah. It's our winter wedding weekend. I know. It's not easy to say, try it. Winter wedding weekend. It's not easy, is it? No, you have winter to think about it. You have to think about it. Winter yeah. wedding weekend. I, when I had to film the promos for the weekend, I kept getting it wrong. Take 42. Oh. Winter wedding weekend. I think Alan just sort of like despises <laughs> yeah. me and sees me for a thing. He's like, oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm a multi taker. How many takes? Yeah, I'm the same. Oh, I'm glad it's not just me. No, it's me as well. Stick with me, kid. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have loads of takes. 45 minutes it took me and Claire to do one once. No. 45 minutes. Oh, I've never been that bad. Yeah. You win. Yeah. Yeah, you win. Uh, right then, I'll tell you who does win today, and that is you for watching because we have got. Ooh. Now I'm wearing one selflessly. I wondered where the other one gone. Well, it's on me, mm. on my neck. This is uh, one of you're getting three sterling silver chains today. It's called, the description is a loose rope chain. I feel a bit sorry for the description, but. It, it's very descriptive, isn't it? And a loose rope chain is beautiful. It's got incredible strength, really incredible strength. Um, and let me show you as well. We've given it a really, really good clasp on it as well. So you've got strength in the clasp. You've got strength in the actual nature of the chain itself. So let me show you there. Look, so we've gone for a uh, really, really sort of considerable trigger clasp, darlings. Beautifully finished with the 925 clear stamp there. Upside down, I grant you, but it's, uh, there you go, look. It's only because of the way I'm holding it. So 95 stamps as well. Do you find that really helpful when you're selling Fleur, that people, you can prove that it's 925 with the stamping of the actual chain itself? Yeah, it's always, you know, it's a nice little feature that, you know, yeah. for people, because obviously um, anything that's underweight doesn't legally have to be hallmark. So sometimes yeah. it's how do you... You know, proof. How do you prove it? Yeah, so yeah. to have the um, the nine two five stamp on there is. Cheers, mate. There you go. I mean, I just just now Fleur made this earlier with the kit that we had. I don't know if there's anything any left. They might have gone. We had an amazing deal on a Biwa strand uh, with some components uh, and some uh, silk thread in one of the kits earlier this morning in nine o'clock. And um, mm. Fleur, you were saying that with this chain here, with the Biwa, you would sell it for how? Was it forty five pounds? Forty five pounds. Yeah. Forty five pounds. Yeah. yeah. Now these chains, these sternings, and you will get all three. I know I've just borrowed another one there. You will get all three, they're all identical. Are they, um, Wayne? Do you know the question I'm probably trying to ask you psychically? No. 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 No, but there's an app that, yeah, uh, okay. Um, I'll try, if you, if, um, if we show it, I'll try and mouth it to you. That's exactly it. Thank you, thank you, um, Ollie, thank you. So yeah, sorry, I'm just asking a question, darlings, for you, just to see if I can get some information. So the thing is, the way those links are interwoven in that rope chain, that's giving real strength, isn't it? Mm, I'll just have a look at that. Yeah, real strength. Yeah, let me just show you, look, because I'd have almost said Prince of Wales, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's like Virgin on a Prince of Wales. Because it is I Virgin mean, on a Prince of Wales, because a Prince of Wales is basically four links within every other link, isn't it? Yeah. Minimum. Because you can it looks twist very it. like it, yeah. You can carry on twisting it. That's why I'm thinking it's, gosh, in fact, if I... So when you twist it, because it's a, is it a loose rope? It's loose rope, as, you're making it tighter. So when you twist it, that is a, a true ah. rope chain. Yeah. But I don't think it will alter the length as such. Mm, I thought so. Yes, Michael. Remember, so like you um, can... a few weeks ago, Alice and Terry, she plaited. Remember we had like, She did, oh, when we had that thought, she did, she plaited yeah. three together and it looked absolutely Beautiful. lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, it really did. It really, really did. So, um, yeah, so three chains. And we've got so many treats for you coming up today that you can add to these, all of the pearls that we've done so far, any of the pearls that we've done. We talked earlier, didn't we, about just popping one on there, look. Just one pearl, one pearl, one pendant. There you go, look. Okay, now, the thing is, it... Oh, hang on, what, how, what? How... What, what? I got a message on my, um, do you know, because I've got a, a contact page on the website, mm -hmm. and there was a lady that messaged me and said, could I buy a, could she buy a single chain from me because she needed a chain for a pendant? Okay. And um, I quoted her 
um, twenty pounds. Fair okay. enough, which is still good against the high yeah. street. Yeah, that's fantastic because I, bet I she went did. to the high street and, and I think she said it was thirty or thirty-five pounds one yeah. that she'd found. Yeah, that and it was a trace. It was a trace chain, so mm -hmm. it wasn't as strong as these ones. Mm -hmm. So I quoted her for a Spiga chain. Yeah. Um, and which is quite similar to this. Yeah. You know, that kind of. It is actually it's a similar look, of, isn't it? So twenty Visually. pounds for for one. And she was not an eighteen inch. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. So we're talking about. Effectively there, then if you went 20 quid each, £60 pounds mm -hmm. worth of chain there. And like you say, it's not a trace chain with all due respect. No. It's a more luxurious it's chain. A luxuri it's a stronger chain. It's a stronger it would, chain. Yeah, it would take a, a heavier yeah. weight. So if you've made, and, and think about this is what I do. I always keep a selection of jewellery maker sterling silver chains in my birthday stroke Christmas gift box. So that, because again, you, it, is, it is key again, if you've made, depending on what pendant you've made, whether you're going for a delicate pearl or a cubic zirconia or a gemstone or a big wire work piece or chain mail or whatever, it will change the very look of the, of the design just by adding which chain you go for. So it's nice to have a selection yeah, of chain. It is. I mean, you, I mean it's, it's quite, you can see on the pendant there, that, that pearl's quite heavy. Yeah. And you can see how it's brought that chain into a beautiful into a point. V. Yeah. But if that was on a trace chain or a, a finer chain, it would be too heavy and it would collapse together yeah. and it wouldn't sit nice. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. These chains are like your, your happy mm. medium between a really thick, heavy Belcher chain, say, yeah. and, and that thin trace, yeah. trace chain. These are beautiful. Great thing as well, just quickly, one thing to, mess, to mention as well before we put the clock in and give you all 60 seconds to, to, to start getting ready to check out. The lovely thing about, and I'm just going to prove that one more time if I may, just, just prove, they've all got the trigger class, they're all identical, is that with a, a, a twisted rope chain like this, a loose rope chain, it's very relaxed, it's a relaxed rope, it looks beautiful, but it's, it's absolutely wearable on its own. You yeah, don't have necklace. to add to it. No. It's a necklace, it's yeah, not it's a, a chain. Look and at you, that. It catches the light so beautifully because yep. you've got those different angles of each yep. link that's linked together. And it already looks platy doesn't it? Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Okay, Ollie, can we have 60 seconds, darling? Darling, 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 our wine. Right, so we now our have wine. our wine. We now have our wine. Um, and I can tell you now, if you want an exceptional price point per chain, you are going to get it. What's the other great thing about sterling silver? Hypoallergenic. Mm -hmm. So you haven't got to worry too much about people being over oversensitive. Because let's face it, there's a lot of people these days that are oversensitive. So 925 sterling silver, beautiful detail. You can see the interlinks there woven into the loose rope chain. Absolutely beautiful. With the trigger class, with the 925 stamp finish, you can see there clearly in the recording. There it is, I'm wearing one selflessly and again we get asked a lot about what's the most sort of average length that, of chain that people prefer and it is 18 inch yes it is yeah. Yep. yep okay three two one graphics please on the loose rope chain sterling silver 18 inch hello tom hello. thank you for my cup of coffee Welcome. um so yeah a n r f one eight now volume wise availability wise well, that's not going to be enough, is it? What's going on? No, it's not enough. Can I make a suggestion? Right? You know when you, you know when you, you know, yeah, fifty gone already. You know when you, when you, when you, when you are um, making um, gifts and things for mm -hmm. Christmas, and you're making a pendant, for example. Yeah. I, I don't know about you. It's like if you give a toy to a kid for Christmas, right, and it needs batteries. You put the batteries in, don't you? Yes, you yeah? do, because as a parent, that causes... Upset. Hell on earth. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, the same thing is, I'm not being rude. If I make a pendant, and to be fair, I just I get the lovely little ready-made pendants from Jewelry Maker. I don't make them, I'll be honest. And I get a little sterling silver pack of five mil jump rings. I open the jump ring, I put it on one of these chains, and I am done. I cannot give a pendant without the chain. Yeah. I think that's right, sure, changing yeah. somebody, yeah, I do. You've got to give the chain. You've got, got to be a fully to worn necklace. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, otherwise, you're going to look what you could have worn. That's it. You're going to be, take it out of the box. And then, but equally, this just as a present by itself. Yeah, absolutely. People, I've got, do you know how many chains I've got in how my life? How many chains have you got? Two. Oh, you got left? I've got two chains. Oh. Because every what do you time own? that I own, and I have to That's keep... pathetic. I know, and down in my doing? workshop, I've got about 80 chains. What are you doing? Because I keep swapping them oh. over, whereas you I should... You yourself in. I should have, yeah. because I don't sometimes wear some of those pendants then. Oh, you're a then. Uh, loose rope chain, beautiful. 100 have gone. 
100 have gone and we uh, shall I give you an idea of how many we had um there aren't a big number of this deal of the day it's incredible now you just said 20 pounds a chain and your mm -hmm. lady was really happy yes you're gonna do it to what oh that put me in my place Wayne Oh, I just got right resolutely put in my place and I actually found it very exciting. Anyway, so price per chain is $12.95. Now this is slightly awkward because I've been telling you all morning, so Wayne and I are gonna have a little bit of a price off on the old uh, chains here because I've been telling you all morning, you could put this pearl, you could, I said, this is slightly awkward Wayne, because I said that people could make with the sterling silver pin, with the sterling silver rope chain, with... All right, Baloo. I can't get to it. I'll scratch your back in a minute. Um, with the sterling silver head pin, with the B-Wire pearl and the chain, I told everybody they could make it for a tenner. Why did I do that? Because I'm just naughty. That's why, because I'm naughty. What do you want, darling? What did you put in What's those black pearls in that Do you pot? mean these, darling? Are these half drilled? Yes. Whoops, a daisy flower. I threw them at you then, didn't I? Yeah, sorry, Fleur. She went, what are those? I went, Kush, like that. Sorry, I didn't mean to pour them out like that. That's all right. <laughs> Throw them at me. It's good time I caught them. <laughs> no, darling, Wayne, Wayne. Wayne, please, because I did tell everybody and we agreed it. And if you, if you, you know, I'll be in big fat trouble. Boom. Ooh. Go. Twelve ninety five a chain or six sixty five a chain? Six pounds sixty five. Six pounds sixty five per ready made necklace. It's not a chain, it's a necklace. End of what you want, Sammy. What do you want? What do you want? What do you well, want? I was going to say, if you were to get a, a, a pearl peg or put some, um, glue some sterling silver wire into one of these, turn it into a pendant. That on a chain, yep. you would see that on the high street. You'd see that kind of piece of jewellery everywhere, wouldn't you? Uh huh. I think we've even done them here. Yeah. Like little. We pearls. have indeed. I've got them. So. Yep. I think a pearl necklace like that with one pearl, one yep. chain. How much? I don't know, Forty. Forty pounds. Thirty-five pounds. She would have gone about fifty to seventy. Um, yeah, absolutely. But six pounds sixty-five. Now we said earlier. That, where, where is it? That one there. Yeah, that one there. Sterling silver head pin with the BOR pearl from the kit or any of the pearls. With the, that there, you're making for less than a tenner. Can you imagine, right? Hang on a second. Let me, just, just hang on. This is so... Right, these, are, these are going really, really quickly. Our in-house budding beaters are buying them. Our guest designers are buying them. You know who you are. I can see. This necklace here, right? Five and a half grams of sterling silver. Okay, is that... Is that sort of, hang on then, so that's more than one and a half each, one point, that one point eight each, one point eight three, there you go. Now then, right then, can I just, no disrespect to my lovely colleagues here, but we do Secret Santa. And some of the Secret Santa presents over the years between the lot of us have been a bit suspect, right? Oh yeah, you know who you are, Ollie. <laughs> now, honestly, who would expect for a tenner a Biwa pearl, genuine, all sterling silver necklace like that? Come on. Michael, you seem to have your arm in the air. Would you like to contribute, darling? No, I just don't care. Hello. Um, is there a way of actually turning it into like a multi-stranded um, bracelet so it all goes to one link? So you've got like maybe three or four different... Within the 18 inch, um, if you if you double it up, then it's nine inches, so... Or within the three of them, that's what yeah. I mean. Oh, with the three, oh, to, to oh, yeah. Them all oh, yeah, you can yeah. link them all together, definitely, yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely link them all together. There you go, look at that. 19.95 equates to £6.65 per necklace. Okay, how many got left, sweetie? Right, we started with 334. There's 17 baskets, I've got 80 left, there's 10 people in the queue. Uh, so actually, technically, if you all check out, they're gone. All right? If you all check out. Can I just say as well, how creative my the, the team are here. Can I just show you something to protect the desk? Oh yeah, have a dig, mm. go on. To <laughs> what? 
I just said, I, did uh, I mention anything? Yeah, the way you look. Did, <laughs> but to protect the desk from a coffee ring, this is how creative the team are with a macrame uh, board. That's my coaster. <laughs> You That's too could have a coaster. My, you the same. too could make a macrame coaster for your and coffee. One, <laughs> two. You could get about How eight. Many coasters could you we get about eight? <laughs> Tom's cutting them up at the minute. <laughs> I love our team here. Oh, maybe I should have had one of those when you, I had the no. torch. We love the fact that you've made your mark on our desk. I'm going to sign it. So I think you should flirt, like was a, it? Like a Banksy. <laughs> yeah. This is my... Um... OK, right then, do be quick. So Judith, Collector June, Elizabeth, you need to check out Julie, Jackie, Deborah, Audrey, Collector Jane, Marlene, Tracy, Margaret, Anne. Ooh, well done. Mother. Can I say a massive thank you as well to our buying team? Because that really is good negotiating, mm -hmm. that is, price-wise. That really... Caroline... In our buying team, I know it's you. Well done, darling. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know Thank the, you. Um, Wayne, do you know the peach pearls with the beautiful um, These ones. connectors? Have These we ones. done those yet? No. Because mixed metal is obviously everywhere still. Um, you know, you can look at lots of designers and they start into mixed metals. I get emails from these designers going, do you? Yeah, mix your metals up yeah. and they kind of, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like marketing yeah. ploys. But this little pendant here on one of those chains would yeah. be absolutely beautiful. Would look beautiful, wouldn't it? That is a beautiful yeah. connector. Is that I a, love is that. Like Have a, we got that coming up, Wayne? Is it like a little... Oh, that is lovely. Is it it's beautiful. That's really pretty. But that it's got on one of those chains as well, look. would be absolutely gorgeous yeah. on one of the chains. Look at that. Yeah, mix it up. Because it is very much on trend at the minute, Flair. You're right. I like that little collection. I like them. I know I do. That's a lovely collection. Oh, I like those. Sorry, I've attacked attacked my finger with a potato peeler. It's not attractive. Is that? I was I was I was scraping a potato for making a stew, and I went. Oh, so I went. Ah. I always use a knife now because yeah, I did I, that, that it, I, I'm like, and grating cheese. Always grate my fingers. Well, just wash, just wash it, and just have the skin on. Don't put the skin on in a stew. Yeah. Dunno. Yeah. Dunno. Dunno. I do it in my soup maker. Yeah. I put oh, it all in my soup oh, maker. Oh, oh. I did my soup maker. Have you never? Have you not got a soup maker? Game changer. Miles, nice. <laughs> we've gone from uh, the young carry on to the young ones in one. Uh, oh. We've now skipped a, a decade. We're now onto the young oh, ones. Oh dear. What can we do with the nineties? Oh. <laughs> but but no, soup maker's a maker. game changer. All your all your leftovers make a soup. What leftovers? No, it's like, no, it's 21 it's, minutes. So you put, is, I have got one. It's a you white put kettle. Your, I've um, used it yet. You put your raw vegetables in with your water and you stock your... It's like a kettle. Plug it in. It's like a big overgrown yeah. kettle, isn't it? 21 minutes, they soup. They are good. They are good. Soup. 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 It's super, isn't it? I'm Do you get that's nice. Super. 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 I use one of those. That's nice. One of those things. All right. All right, Michael. <laughs> anyway, let's, I'm going to move on. Can I just mention... Oh, I can, can, I'm just... <laughs> There's something going on here. We're just not getting involved. Can I just stop it? Stop it! <laughs> far too much funny. Right then, can I just show you? We're coming up next. We're going shepherd hooks. It's all going on in here. We have got stunning shepherd hooks. Very, very, very beautifully created. I have displayed those beautiful. Did you like it, Ollie? Took me minutes. Uh, yellow gold plate, uh, sterling silver, and a rose gold plate on those shepherd hooks. And can I just mention? I've got to show you. I've got to show you. Are these are what I use for my pearl knotting. Mm -hmm. We've also got those coming up. Yep. All your spacers. Or two mil spaces in your sterling silver, two mil spaces in your yellow gold. I think they're two mil anyway. They look like two mil. And we've got the Stardust. I've not seen Stardust no. for months not and me. months and months. Not me. I don't reckon I've seen it for about over a year, in my opinion. Didn't it get um, product of the year one? Yeah. Not last year, the year before. I think so, yeah. Stardust beads, yeah. Should. Yeah. So, sterling silver change, just check them out as quickly as you possibly can. Your little fingers across the keyboard. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Yeah. You want to start with the gold? Right then, pop it. 
Now, these are a different design to our normal ones, aren't they, uh, Fleur? These have got a lovely, the flattened look. bit, yeah, so they don't have the, the, nope. the ball on there. They're totally beautiful. different. These are totally different. How many pairs? Ten pairs, is that? They're really Ten nice. Minutes. These are lovely. In fact, I'm going to put one in. Just... Okay, the, do you know what? Let's start, let's start the clock. Let's start the clock. Let's just do it. Oh, 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 oh. Now, these are beautiful. Oh, they're so comfy. Oh, now then, can you see, oh, I've got another blackboard. Uh, uh, um, no. I'll get one. You can use these. your favourite yeah, grey board. No, it won't work. You want to again? A lot of people asking for these yesterday on the show. When we're asking Marie what we wanted. Okay, can you see there, look, in the, in the edge there, look, can you see there is the 925 stamp on the flat ear wire there. Now, usually our um, shepherd hooks have got a ball on the end. Those haven't. Can I show you the, oh, actually, when Michael comes back. Come, Come on, Michael, I want you back. Was that a song? It is actually, I think, yeah. Um, could I just show you the, uh, in the ear? Because they've got a lovely, look at that. Mm. See, so they're actually a little bit higher. Now, my friend says this. She says that the, the classical shepherd hooks that we do, they come down too low for mm -hmm. her. So the fact that that loop just goes below the ear, yeah. those, are, those are between like a stud and a dangle. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. They're lovely. Um, never had these before. Never had these before. Oh, that's why you wanted a blackboard. The grey one wouldn't work. Yeah, see, do you see? Mm. You know, sometimes grey just won't cut it, Fleur. I know. You know, ten pairs of these um, sterling silver, gold plate 925 sterling silver. There are two, there were 200 available. All right. Never had them before. 50 gone already. So that's a quarter of the stock gone. Now, when I, when I bought... We did um, sterling silver shepherd hooks uh, individually as pairs last, not last Christmas, Christmas before, and I bought a load, and they were £1.99. Mm -hmm. £1.99 for a pair, pay. and I thought that was really good. Yep. Well, it is, so, when you get, that's you know, the main yeah. ingredient. So if we can do that there for then at £19.95, that's, that's good going. If you do under a tenner, that means buy five, get five free, technically. Five pairs. Because they were £1.99. Now, gold hasn't decreased and sterling silver hasn't decreased in price. In fact, it's gone up. In fact, gold is at an all-time high. Well, you, it's, I put a, um, an order in for some sterling silver, like a, a big block, and it was £35 more. And I'm talking be. like two, three hundred pounds be. worth of silver. Yeah, yeah. £35 more it than be. it was two weeks ago. It's, it's at an all-time high. Yeah. So, technically, we should go up in price. Yeah. No, do you fancy five pairs for 9.95? Boom, boom, boom. Mm. And do you know when we talk about, oh, how many pairs of earrings? Like, do you know that beautiful little um, six to seven mil round pearl strand that we did earlier? The, yep. The high luster ones, ones yep. on the end. Yep. And we said you could make 33 mm -hmm. pairs of earrings. We did indeed. So maybe you These only want ones? to make 10 pairs of earrings. Yep. Um, you know, this would be perfect. Yep. So you've got 10 pairs and you need just your um, head pins. Mm -hmm. And there you've got 10 and you pairs get, very Absolutely, quickly. yeah. And as I, can I just show you all the way around? Just okay. Because they are totally different, actually, to our usual. They're all, all ergonomically balanced as well. These are I the like same the kickback, as the ones, it's longer look. So they are the same as the ones we get in our sterling silver finance pack. Because these are from the sterling How silver finance they? pack. How are they? Yeah, so they're different. As in, like, they don't like the silver plated and gold plated have the, have ball. the ball on them, don't yeah, they? Okay, yeah. right. But like I say, they're sometimes the. That's um, longer than usual. I've got three sets of piercings in my ear, and the top one must have been done with a thinner gauge. Oh, really? And I can't get a normal standard <coughs> okay. through there because these, it's too thick. These are. A, these a are bit slim, thinner. aren't they? Yeah. I just, honestly, when I said to you all about how comfortable they are, they went, you know, sometimes. We've all got those earrings, haven't we, that you struggle to get them in. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know what, you know, those just glided straight through. I can't even tell I'm wearing those. No. They, I can't no. tell I've got an earring in. No, they're nicely weighted as well, because they're mm. not tipping forward in your ear. They're perfectly mm. balanced in your ear. Mm. And I like the height of them. The way that the loop yeah. just literally yeah. protrude, just protrudes, doesn't it, mm -hmm. look? Hang on a second. But I like, I like the kickback on them. See, look. Hang on, put them back in. There you go. So they're just... Oh, hang on. Won't be on the graphics then. Just the right length, look. Oh, I don't like that. I can see my eye in the screen. <laughs> eye, eye. <laughs> eye, eye. There's no like way that. I would yeah. let them get that close to my face. Well, I didn't like them getting that close, to be honest, but, you know, 
I'll not only do five pairs. What's that then, five pairs? Two pounds. Two pounds each, isn't it? I did maths. You did maths. No, it's ten pairs. It's oh, ten pairs. Oh, That's a 99p each. You did maths, but you did it. I, I, no, I told you wrong. Five pairs, ten pairs. Then that's uh, half price from what they were last year, and yet the price of gold has gone up. How many got left? The 99p a pair, mister. That's awesome. And the good news is we have the sterling silver and the rose gold to come. Mm-hmm. 99p for sterling silver. That is incredible, isn't it? It Absolutely is. knockout. It is. For wedding favours, you could do all the female guests a pair of beautiful earrings. Do you know you actually could, couldn't you? Mm. You actually could. What a great idea. Yeah, because you think, it? you think. I mean, I, you know, actually, when you look, I've had a few friends get married recently, and members of the family and whatever. Actually, the wedding favours, oh, they're the, so expensive. They're extortionate. For sugared almonds. Who eats sugared almonds? Oh, no. No. But that's what you get. You get two in an organza bag. Yeah. Or the kids get a little packet of sweets. Yeah. And they're like, like you say, they're like £2 a And that's, that's 99p. Mm. Okay, you need the, the, you need the head pin, ideally. You need the, that that yeah. lovely um, Swarovski chain next to you would go lovely with them as well, wouldn't it? You could break that up. Do you mean that one? Yeah, you could break it up into yep. little dangles. That would just look perfect, wouldn't it? That on one of those, just to prove that they all match beautifully. Look, if I can just hold that up. There you go. Look at that. Spot on. Mm-hmm. Right then. The rose gold, darling. Yes, we can do that for you, Mr. Pasco. Well, don't, now, this is what I do, you see. I forget they're there because it's so comfy. Then I go home and I've got random one. In fact, I've got a star earring in my boot to bring back into work as well. <laughs> one random star in my boot. Because you, because they're so comfy. 60 seconds. Rose gold's lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, rose. Do you know rose gold, just, just, especially this time of year, because as you can lose any sort of tan you've got and you go a bit paler skinned and whatever, mm. sometimes silver can be a bit harsh, whereas rose gold will just blend beautifully. I go back to blue. What? Well, I start, I start blue and then I get a suntan and I go white and then I go back to blue. <laughs> I'm that pale. <laughs> Literally. Are you worse than me? Because I consider myself Tipex Correction Fluid yeah, Skin, no, so yeah, you're clearly yeah, even am, one step farther. I, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, God, you actually... Oh, yeah. yeah. Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that was, like, four days in sunshine. <laughs> She's just been to Dubrovnik in beautiful 24-degree heat for, okay. a, for a few days as well. You had a lovely time. You ready? Should we do the countdown? Five, four... Three, two, uh, one, rose gold. Rose gold still massively popular. Absolutely. And, and rose gold or red gold is more expensive than, um, yes. than yellow gold. Very good point. Very good point, Missy. They're beautiful. I love that elongated kickback. Mm, it's beautiful. I think it makes it really yeah. contemporary. Really contemporary. They're, be they're like a designer shepherd hook, mm, aren't they? They are. They're gorgeous. Really attractive. But that, for me, I like the fact that we don't have the ball on those personally. Sometimes I like it, sometimes you want it. Um, but the fact that you've got that lovely flat, flattened section there and that elongated kickback, I think, is really designer. Mm. What price? Can you um, just give us an idea? Yeah. Are you? Even though... Even though we've just said about rose gold expensive. being more expensive. Yeah. All right, then. Do you know what then, everybody? If you bought the yellow gold and you thought, well, I'd rather have the uh, rose gold, we'll match the price. We've got Sissy in from Oklahoma. Da, 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 da. Wait, are you going away again soon? Oh, it's not very nice, oh, you, is you it? seem to be in holiday mode. Because of the... Yeah, I'm just thinking the way that you just like... Yeah, well, does it matter if rose gold's more expensive? Yeah, Do it he, at just, the same he price? doesn't care. He doesn't care. To be fair, he has done. He has had that many holidays this year. We're paying him it's too like much money. Julie he's, he's, honestly, Julie, Alan Wicker honestly, and Julie and Chalmers really have nothing on that man. Far flung exotic locations, him here. He's always on his holidays. Honestly, you turn up and it's a tr it's a treat to see him. <laughs> Nine ninety five. The Judith Chalmers of jewellery maker. Yes, or the Alan Wicker. The Alan Wicker. <laughs> Alan oh, Wick Alan Wicker. Alan Wicker jewellery maker. Alan Wicker's got more hair than Wayne. Yeah, but that's just Wayne and it cut short. 
9.95 on that. It's 10 pairs. Okay, um, we started with how many and how many have got left? Right, we started with 200. There's 40 left. With those beautiful pearls, the my these favourite ones. ones yeah. These ones today. I think these with the rose gold. Yeah, I agree, just sweetheart. Beautiful. Now, these have sold out, these pearls, so don't get overexcited. They've gone. Oh, sorry, I didn't No, 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 it's okay, darling. Oh, I'm gone. Somebody bought two and didn't check out the second one. Now, we have one left. There is one left of those amazing, majestic pearls. All right. Okay, half that's gone. Now there's less than 20 left. Would you like the silver? Oh, I think that's a big fat yes. I hope, think we've, I hope we've got more of the silver than of the other two because the silver is... Oh, you're going to have to be quick then because silver is the most popular of all three me precious metals. Because it's, if you don't know somebody's um, preference, silver is the Silver's the one to go one. for, isn't it? Yeah. 60 seconds. 60 seconds on your sterling silver. I'm uh, going to guarantee you under £10. You know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. They're going to go under £10. Guaranteed in your sterling silver. And as Fleur's just said, if you want to go for the um, the one that's uh, most readily, um, you know, if you want to almost guarantee, pretty much guarantee a sale, go sterling silver. Yeah, yeah. yeah because you, if if somebody doesn't know if you know if it's a, you know, say you're making a, a fifteen pound pair of earrings, it might not be for your best friend. It might be for a, you know a colleague or something like that. Yeah. You might have a, you know, a leaving present, something like that. Yeah. Silver's the one to go for Absolutely. because if you don't know their preference. Yep. Just, it's just safer. It's a safer bet. Mm. It's a safer bet. I'll just show you. To, now, the reason they're slightly off at an angle is because you, it's, it's ergonomically based and it's waiting for you to add what you fancy onto yeah. it and then it'll flatten out. It'll straighten out. Yeah. It's clever, isn't it? It is. And you can always pinch them a little bit at the back as well when you've got them in um, just to keep it nice and secure onto yeah, your yeah. earlobe. Yeah. Uh, right then, 95 sterling silver. It's 10 pairs again. It's the same design. Same elongated kickback, same without the ball with the look. Now, I'm, this is so embarrassing. Can I tell you what I did for years, right? Before I realised. Absolute numpty. div. Yeah. Numpty, donut, div, whatever you want to call me, right? Do you know what I did, Wayne? I kept always added a jump ring to the bottom. Nah. Until I saw one of our guest designers open that little section there. Yeah. And I realised... That that opens, doesn't it, Fleur? Yeah, just open it like a like a jump ring, so yeah. north to south. Yeah. Don't open it east to west, because you'll never get back together again. Yep. Do you know what? 120 gone, 200, that's all we had. We'll match the price, 9.95. So whatever colour you fancy, there's no arguing then, is there? Silver, rose gold plate, yellow gold plate, all the same. Everybody's, uh, help yourselves. See, if you're, 50 doing left. A, if you're doing a school fete, Christmas fete, something like that, one at the village hall, these kind of earrings will fly. And They'll also, fly. making for charity. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's cost effective, that is, at 99p a pair. Oh, definitely, yeah. 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 If you want to make them for charities. Nearly gone. Sorry. I'm so sorry. We knew sterling silver would go quickest. And the good news is I have the sterling silver little ball spaces coming up. I have the sterling silver stardust spaces coming up as well. I have the yellow gold plate sterling silver spaces coming up as well. Still got that brand new smaller oval magnetic class coming up as well. There's so much to come. Still got a beautiful kit. Still got great demos. I told you, these three days... These three days of wedding favours, today, tomorrow and Sunday, it's an extraordinary weekend packed full of favours. It really is. It's brilliant. OK, just a quick update then, please. How many got left? 15. And I'm way over allocated. Basketeers, Jane, Collector, Falky, Susan, Cecilia, Diane, Caroline, Sarah, Carol, June, Veronica, Margaret, Caroline. I don't have that many left, my lovelies. I'm so sorry. 99p a pair. Beat that. Well, it's 99.5p if we're going to be exact. We found out how much it was a sixpence earlier. Did you have a sixpence in your shoe when you got married? No? 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 no. Nobody gave you a sixpence to put in your shoe? No, I wouldn't oh. have been able to walk. That'd have hurt. In between your toes. In between my toes. I have to say, your I wedding walked, dress I was beautiful. I walked about a mile to where I got married. Can you imagine if I had walked a mile with... Uh, sixpence in your shoe. Sixpence, and I was seven months pregnant as well. Mm. Oh. Waddling. I wouldn't mind, you wore white. <laughs> Waddling down the... Uh, <laughs> it 
It wasn't white, it was off-white. I should hope so. <laughs> well, anyway. we you look beautiful. You looked beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, if you've ever seen her wedding pictures... Have you seen we Flo in her wedding dress? Yeah. She looked amazing. You did? What are you laughing at, you did? What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> you did, you look beautiful. She looked beautiful. She looked beautiful. <laughs> she looked beautiful, Fleur did. She's got the giggles now, I've lost her. I've lost her now, you've got no chance, look. <laughs> She looked lovely. You couldn't tell. You were seven months pregnant in the pictures. I must just say that. You couldn't tell. That's, that's the Grecian dress. You could dress. not. I never knew that. You that's looked amazing. The, this big bouquet of flowers <laughs> yeah. in front of my belly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, right then, so are these the little two mil spacers? I think they are. I think they are. And if you... If you just had one of those on top of there, or because uh, if you've got the ball head pins and you have the ball underneath in, in let's say, yellow gold plate, sterling silver, and then one of those over the top. In the um, rice pearl necklace, they've used them, the, uh, the Eden House designs. You are absolutely them right, sweetheart. Let me just pins. show you, look. Fleur's absolutely right. So if you notice there, look, with the pearls, with a little spacer, little seed bead, little spacer, and doesn't that look great? And it protects the pearls as well because it, it separates them. Yeah, yeah. Stops it, them rubbing. Does it stops them rubbing together? Mm -hmm. And um, but these they're so handy for everything. Yeah. Really, really handy. You know, if, maybe if you want to just elongate your pearls a, a little bit at the end. Yeah. You, know, you could space them out like that. You yep. could put a few on the end. That I use them all the time for pearl you knotting. Do. For every single piece that I do has got um, a sterling silver or rose gold, uh, yellow gold plate of sterling silver. You were saying. Spacer bead. Yeah. So, two mil spacers. There's a hundred of these, by the way. Now, we only started with a hundred. And nearly half's gone already. Would you like to see it on? Just in, in, in working, so to speak. In situ. In situ. It's in situ. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> they look great, don't they? Working on that. Surprisingly enough, this might shock you. Oh, oh, hang on, we're about to be shocked. That's you've my you've just shocked song. us. Your karaoke song, Nine to Five, is it? Mine's Big Spender. Is it? Yeah, Big Spender, <laughs> Nine to Five. There you go. Yep. Nine ninety. Come on then, Fleur, give us a little burst. No, Come on. Right. No, I've got Come microphone. On. I've Come got on. Microphone. I can't <laughs> sing. <laughs> Come on, no. give us a burst. Come on. No, no because Working the last time I sang, my mum phoned up. She went, oh, Fleur. <laughs> Come on, little burst. Come on. Come on. Come on, little burst. Just a little burst. A little burst. A little burst. Come on. No. I tried. I tried. If there was an Aperol spritz involved. Oh, here we go. Then... Do anything for alcohol. I will. Anything. I will. No. I will. She will. Nine ninety-five, my darlings. Um, they are nearly sold out. Joking aside. So good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. We do have the sterling silver coming up as well. I can't see those, sweet pea. I oh, know they should be. Let's have a look, darling. Yes, they are. We've got oh, them. We've got rose We've... gold as well. Yeah, I didn't know we had because they weren't. Oh. I've got them. I've got them, Michael. I got them, Michael. Hey, should we do those next? Oh. Um, if there's a little bit of a wait on I'm the sorry. telephone, it's all right, darling. On the telephone line, then just. I was just going to tidy up. That's all. She was. She was going to tidy up. Oh. Tidy up, love. Tidy up. Tidy up, love. You tidy up, love. Can I have a pot? Yeah, you can have that pot. No, that pot. Thank you. There you go. Right then, so because we've oh, just I got done... all confused then, which end of the pot to use? It's this end. The one with the hole in it. Yeah. Hey, dear me. Oh. Welcome to my life. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this. I've seen you all do it. Oh God. Oh goodness. I'm going to go on that oh, oh. generation game. There we go. Hey, Ta -da! Fleur, get in. Oh, you clever. 
Clever girl. Britain's Got Talent next year. Hey. That's me. Yep, yeah, there you go. Simon Cowell, yeah. here we go. You come. can do it! So, rose gold plate, 19 pounds. It's all gone to pot, hasn't it? 90, literally gone to pot. Okay, rose gold plate, 95 sterling silver. These are, now if you've got those pearls that we had earlier, these ones that we have all fallen mm. in love with, had those in between. These would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. and if you want to use the flex right, the, is it the number seven flex right? The, the very flex fine right one. seven, the micro, the micro wire. The fine yep. one. Yep. So you wanted to put those on and then just use the rose gold spaces as like a knot. So yep. it would still Absolutely. look like a knotted piece. The flex right seven sterling silver micro wire, deal of the day on Sunday at 11 a.m. All right. Now we started with 100. I've got less than 40 already. Less than 30. I stand you know, corrected. If you're, a, if you're a seed beader as well and you yes. want to do a special a special piece, yeah. you could use these as well mm -hmm. use, instead of your seed beads. Uh, we, we've sorted all that out, Ollie. We've had a Christmas Day meeting. Are you on Christmas Day, are you? Mm-hmm. We've got a Christmas Day meeting and we brought up your suggestion, Ollie, and it, is, it has been agreed. Ooh. I'm just saying. What is it? I'll tell you in the break. Can you not give us a little sneaky peek? All I'll... No. You need No, it. I know, because you, you are not... It. Well, if you sing nine to five, I'll give you a sneaky peek. Working nine to five. Yeah! Da -da 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 -da. Yay! Yay! That's enough. <laughs> that was good, baby. Enough. Right, no, you're... You've got to now... No. I did this for you guys. No. <laughs> Zena Broadbent, you tell us now <laughs> what you're doing on Christmas Day. Make me. I will. <laughs> well. Just a little sneak. Um. Oh, what do I tell? What, do I, what am I allowed to say? Well, Mark actually brought it up uh, uh, in the last show. What did he say? Exactly that. What did yeah. he say? What did he say? About the spaces. The Using it uh, for what? Uh, for the... Kiss cross. Okay. Okay. You know the kiss cross necklace? Can we have a little little sneaky peek of the kiss cross necklace? Oh, all I'm going to say is, imagine that instead of seed beads as the kiss cross in sterling silver, rose gold. If I, I'm just... That's all I'm going to say. On Christmas Day? Mm-hmm. And um, you know what... Uh, what pearls were you talking about earlier as well? Me? Yeah. What, on Fleur Day? No, the pearls that you were talking about earlier. You know when we talked about the lovely perfect size pearls and you said there are certain pearls that are very oh, well right, known yeah. in the... Um, oh, you've got some of those, have you? Which ones? The Akoyas. Might have. Fantastic. Ooh. Oh, well, oh, all right then, don't worry, I'll do it again. Well, you were so good at establishing which side of the pot to put them in. I thought I'd uh, give you some more, love. <laughs> oh, you are smoking on that, Missy. I tell you what, hey? it wasn't just a... Hey, you know, what a float, was, was it? Not just a, a lucky go. You weren't just a one-hit wonder there, Fleur. No, no. There you go. We need a karaoke night. Come on, Ollie, let's sort of... Can you imagine? Fleur, Ollie, me, Michael, Carol. I'd all love of us, karaoke Lucy, night. Becky, Jenny. I once stopped... A cabaret act in um, Magaluf thought it was a karaoke. Oh no, you didn't. Wasn't a karaoke. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told me till I got the microphone off of her hand. Give us the mic. I did. I said, it's, it's my, it's my, <laughs> so I said, exactly what I said, Ollie. It's my turn now. And it was a cabaret act. At half oh, past seven Fleur, in the evening. Why doesn't that amaze? Not surprise me. <laughs> so we now got two mill spaces. The other two, I think the other two have sold out, haven't they? Yes, and the good news is. Oh, the good news is we got um, we got ah oh, well. There's good news and there's, there's good news. It's always good news. We had uh, we had a hundred each of the others, didn't we? Two hundred of these, hundred are gone already. Oh, you are not hanging about you, are you? Hey, and Stardust got the Stardust. Yes. Sounds so exciting. Uh, he's gonna match the price. There you go. Nine ninety five sterling silver. Let's keep everybody happy. Nine two five sterling silver. Do you know, in the last six auctions, people have really stocked up yeah. on their yeah. shepherd hooks and yeah. their um, space beads. I think they're thinking Christmas presents. And, you know, when you yeah. think what, what how much jewellery you can mm. make from those. Absolutely. 30, ah. 30 pairs of earrings and 
goodness knows how many pieces mm. of jewellery from mm. the Space Speeds. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Janice, hello, love. She says, hi all, your prices for these spaces are amazing. The cheapest I have found for the equivalent is double the price, well done all. Oh, thanks, Janice. Well, we've got to say thanks, thanks to Caroline. Yeah. Caroline's the lady in our buying team that's buying all of these things for us these days, and she is good. She's Caroline's sorry. also She's bought me some right. beads so that on Fleur Day you'll be able to make my stretchy bracelets. Right, when's so. Fleur Day? Come on, when's Fleur Day? 22nd of November. 22nd of November. Oh. What day is that? I don't know. Thursday? Friday? Is it Friday? Do you know I don't I think it's Friday. Is it's it? It's Friday, yeah. Oh. Fleur Friday. Fleur Friday? Fleur Friday? Friday. Fleur Friday. <gasps> I want a t shirt. Fleur Friday? Get yeah. a t shirt, mate. Fleur yeah. Friday? Yeah. Fleur Friday? 22nd? 22nd of November. 22nd of November. Are you doing all three shows? Yeah. Oh, good girl. I know. Oh, bring a, bring a sausage back in with you then. Could you on all day? I love sausages. 9 95 Well done, everybody. Congratulations. What's your favourite sausage? I'm really boring. I'm a plain you pork like sausage a plain, girl. A plain yeah. pork sausage. But it's got to be a Lashford's. Yes. Oh, Other oh, brands are yeah. available. It's got to be a Lashford's. Lash Lashford's sausage, nothing mm. else. Do you mean the stardust? Yeah, of course we can. I'm going to do it at arm's length this time. Yeah, but you're in my way then. Oh, go on then. I'll move. <laughs> Thanks, would you? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done those as well, I well, you. Well, no, no. I look, uh, yeah, I didn't, I did, I did, I did throw them at you. Look, oh, glitter, 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 glitter. You have to have these. I don't mean that to sound really presumptuous, but you have to have these in your stash. You do? They're an absolute 100% essential. What, what, when do you reach for one of these, darling? I think something when you've got like one gemstone that you really want to showcase, yeah. I think one of these either side just adds a sparkle and brings your eye towards it. So yeah, something it like an Ethiopian opal, <sighs> like a yeah. little round Ethiopian opal in the middle, or a pearl that you want to showcase that one pearl. Because mm -hmm. those, those pearls, I know we keep showing them because we're all in love with these today. I think they're probably now all gone. But as Fleur says, if you just had one of those either side, just brings your eye into just that Just that focal... Yeah. 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 Now, also, can you see, look, the drill hole? Bead to hole ratio, like a seed bead. Very, very, very um, plentiful. A bead to hole ratio. Do you like that? Doesn't that... Do you can, like you that. can borrow that. Yeah, I like I'll that. I'll give you that for free. I bead like to hole that. ratio. Yeah, because I talk about aspect ratios a lot. I so I need another that. ratio to sort of, like, level it up. Can I have that? Bead to hole ratio. Makes you sound really clever. It does. Doesn't it? Well, the, the second sentence out of my mouth, would they would just work out that I'm not really clever. Yeah, but, you know, just 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 pretend for a second. That's what all I do. <laughs> <laughs> Bead to hole ratio. 95 sterling silver with your stardust. They're lovely and sparkly. You get 20 of them. They're three mil. And we get... Pardon? Well, go on then. Swap that in if you can. Apparently, we're going to 6.95. <clears throat> Yeah, six ninety five. Get in. Wow. Great for your wires as well, these, because they've all they have all got good drill holes. In good them. a good what? Bead to hole ratio. Thank you. Thank you, darling. A bead to hole ratio. Yes, they're spiffing is what they are. And as as um as Fleur did rightfully say, they did win. You voted, didn't you? Voted for them as one of our pro uh, products of the year. Right. We need to we need to get something sorted as well. For, for the, these awards. Mm. Jadeite has to be on the category for Gemstone of the Year and you have to back it for me. You have to. Why? Because I'm not letting Labradorite win again. Oh. Do you know when um, X Factor bring a song out and then somebody like really, like that's not been in the charts for just brings a song out and then yeah. everybody backs it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jadeite. Okay. I'm going for. I'm going to have. Go Jadeite. Yeah, I'm going to have like Facebook pages. Get a petition. And Get a petition yeah. going, Fleur. That's it. Jadeite's not because it hasn't been on the list. It wasn't even on the list last year. Which is shocking, actually. I'm isn't having it? it on the list this year. I'm having it. All right, there you go then. There you go. Uh, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I'm not letting this one go. Okay. All we right. are having Jadeite. Oh, why have one in she? Well, I just think Jadeite's so oh, beautiful. I know, Pearls I know. All, all, right. all right, Jadeite's going All up. right, just somebody help her. <laughs> okay, so six ninety-five, everybody. Uh, we don't have many of those left now, my darlings. Forty, less than forty available. One hundred and sixty have gone, and they'll sell out. What everybody's asking about this class? When are we doing the class? Mm. In the next.
next hour, darling. Yes, that lovely, um, in fact, I've got it where, um, Michael, 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 Michael. Could you show me the bracelet, Michael, please, Michael? Thank you. What's in that? What's in that pot there? What pot? The third one on that, that, that one. Yeah, we've not seen that one, have we? No. Yet? That's in the in Ooh. the pearl neck. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, Ooh. this is really nice. Ooh. It's the toggle. It's a toggle clasp, and it's got little mm -hmm. dangly um, <laughs> CZs on it. Yeah, that's coming up. That's coming oh. up as well. So I've got this one here, and then we'll show you Fleur's. So that's the beautiful, less than 50 available of the magnetic clasp there. And then Fleur's clasp that she's got there, she's just found. Oh, it's coming up in the next lovely. hour as well. Yeah. I know. Oh, Perfect I like for that. pearl jewellery. That's the one. Isn't that this one? No. No, it's not that one. No, this one's got oh, dangles on it. I'll show you. Yeah. It's got what? Dangles. Dangles. Right, I won't make you tidy up again, because I felt that that was getting a bit... Well, I was going to say, now yeah, I'm going to have to go and see shaky, workers' right? rights yeah. and all that. <laughs> 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 Which one, darling? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, well, we've had some big pearls on the show today, so what does a big pearl need? Big, long head pin. Doesn't it? It does, it does. Especially if you want to make a really long, nice drop. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're the flatheads. I like a flathead. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> involved in the show then that came right I mean, didn't it didn't it, it came right at, yeah thanks Do you so know, that's my fear of sneezing on air you yeah you've never done it have you no she's never done it in how many years five five years you've never sneezed on air now you've mentioned it you know oh, that's oh, going to oh, happen oh. don't you no. you've, you've, uh, <laughs> yeah you've uh, you've tempted fate there darling oh, now the flat head what that's good when you get a larger pearl with a larger hole isn't it because you've got a bigger area to Less chance of it going through the hole of the pearl. That's it, and it also doesn't disturb the view of the, yes. of the piece when it's when it's made up. You can feel one of the. There you go. Well, I've got contact lenses in, so the chances oh, of me being able to thread that are next to none. So it doesn't dist. What did you refer to it as? It doesn't, doesn't disturb, distort, distort, or disturb the view, so you can see the whole of that pearl without without uh, the, the you know the ball head pin at the bottom. Yeah. So it just. Sits lovely, it's lovely and, isn't it? And flat. Doesn't it? Doesn't sort of take the view away from the pearl, does it? No, not at all. No. Really and you're really talking nice. the average length of a, of a head pin is what 38 mil? Oh, 38, 40 mil? 40 mil, yeah. 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 That's 76 mil in length. So you can see that with that, one of those really large beavers. Yeah. Just how much, how much you've, got left. you've got left. Yeah. Over. So you could turn that easily into either, you could actually turn that into a shepherd hook itself. Yes. You into could. a full bale. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah. I'd look lovely actually turning that into an earring while, wouldn't that? you? Do you, do you know what? Why, yeah? Knock yourself out. Why have a go? Why yeah. have a go? <laughs> Why have a go? Why not have a go? Have a go. Why not? That was all confused. Oh, no, look what's happened. Oh, that's all right. How many pliers you got there? Loads. Loads. <laughs> Loads. Right then, five. No, oh, that's a good deal. Five. Wow. Well done, mate. That's a lot of head pin for 5 95 Ten of them. Well done, well done. And uh, um, yeah, I tell you what, our in-house budding beader is having a field day stocking up today. Is she at work today? She's, she's having a field day. She's lovely at our Anne. Hello, Anne. Do you want to come down and say hello if you're in? She might be at home just treating herself. So that's quite a large shepherd hook because I haven't got my baling pliers, so. But you oh. can see just how you would. With one head pin, look. She made the whole earring. So it's quite large, so you, you'd need your baby yeah, pliers behind then. it. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Fleur. That's smaller. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Now, uh, we're branching out a little now. Thanks. Uh, oh, it's a branch. Oh, uh, do you get it? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> now, that connector, when you were talking about asymmetry, uh, where's your necklace with the asymmetry? You had a design. Can I show that? Would you mind awfully, darling? Not at all. In fact, can I, can I swap it of course to a black bus so I can see it? Let me show you this. Look at what Fleur's made. Right. Hang on a second. An asymmetry there. Look, haven't you, darling? Is that, is that okay there? I don't... There you go. There you go. So that with that beautiful design there, look. If you change that, for example, and had that there, if you've got like a... I'm thinking perhaps like a... An autumnal wedding? 
Yeah. A, a winter wedding? Or can you imagine that as a hair vine, as the start oh, of a yeah, hair vine? Just to I can. Move around. Yeah. Yeah. That's just gorgeous. Look at that. Stunning it's silver. Very, very pretty, that. All that lovely design in the leaf. Very, very pretty. Yeah. That's beautiful, isn't it? I asked her if she's seen fruit. Two pearls, three beautiful sterling silver leaves in that incredible design. I mean, you could just as easily have those as drop earrings if you wanted you to. Could, you could take that loop off the bottom, no yeah. problem at all. Mm -hmm. And because it's sterling silver, you're not going to... Um, like, if something's... Um, gold or rose gold plated, then you, when you take that loop mm. off, then you're going to have a little mm. silver flash. Yeah. With that, you won't see any no. of it at all. Or, with all the lovely shapes and things of the pearls that we've had today as well, if you add another little pearl just dangling at the bottom Ooh. from that loop, yeah. it's almost like the leaf that's about to fall yeah. off the, the branch. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah. yeah that's lovely, that. So you can have either or. Yeah. I do not. Honestly, Fleur I and I just had these chaps. I don't know where this morning's going. It's flowing. It's gone. The, mil the morning has evaporated. Oh, we're about to go into the afternoon. Now then, this next hour, along with the remainder of our wedding, uh, our week... Uh, I'm doing it again. <laughs> wedding week... That's the one. Winter, Winter wedding, wedding weekend. Week I still can't get it right. Winter wedding weekend, and we've only just literally started. So do please join us after the break. Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewellery Maker. This weekend, from Friday to Sunday, we've got the winter wedding event. When I was in Hong Kong in September, I've hand-selected the pearls that are going into this event. So keep your eyes out, they'll be called the hand-selected range. Uh, I personally went through many, many strands of pearls, picked the nice ones, all the ones with the beautiful luster, made sure there was no filling, uh, made sure that the surfaces were absolutely the best they could be. Um, we went through thousands and thousands of lines of pearls to bring you this beautiful selected range. So look out for the hand-selected range during this weekend winter wedding event. Now this weekend is our magical winter wedding weekend and we have got the perfect deal of the day. On Sunday, we have finally got back in stock the Flexrite 7, which is our micro strand micro wire, which is perfect for your pearls for your wedding, which we have copious amounts of this weekend. So we haven't seen it since June. We are super excited that it's back in stock for you. So if you want to get hold of it, you need to join us at 11 a.m. this coming Sunday. I'm delighted to announce that for the first time in Jewellery Maker history, I'm coming on tour. I'm coming up to Harrogate on Saturday the 7th of December to do an amazing workshop. You'll be able to buy tickets for this workshop this Sunday during the morning show, the 27th of October, so we look forward to seeing you then. It's winter wedding weekend here at Jewellery Maker Towers this weekend. So if you're looking for some beautiful pearls, some incredible findings, then join us. I'll be here on the Friday Mid Show and the Saturday Mid Show. On the Friday Mid Show, we have got a 40 piece sterling silver findings pack. Make sure you're in for that one. Now we've got some pearls, we've got all sorts of other elements. On Saturday, we've got some top drilled Baroque pearls that are not to be missed. Of course, amongst so many other fantastic products, I know that you are going to just love. I can't wait, so join me and a host of all the other gorgeous ones here at Jewelry Maker Friday and Saturday for the winter wedding extravaganza.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Of a panic then, didn't we? Oh, Michael! <laughs> we suddenly realised we hadn't changed the jewellery over, didn't we, darling? Oh, I know. Right at the last minute. It's always me, isn't it? It's all right, darling. It's all right. There. there we go. Done right. now. Mm. Done now. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Um, right then. Now there's a necklace we've been showing with this um, beautiful connector in. Um, we've got that coming up as a kit. We've got flower pearls. Pearls that are a flower. How does that happen? I mean, so beautiful with a beautiful clasp with silk. Two cracking kits, actually, Fleur. Beautiful kits. Aren't really they? lovely yeah, kits. Mm -hmm. So, which one should we start with? These ones. That's yeah. That was the yeah. one that I've made the jewelry with. Yeah. Uh, now, before I start with the pearls, darlings, I, I'm technically. Um, let me show, this is the little connector loop that, uh, the connector piece that uh, Fleur's got in as an asymmetry design, asymmetrical. Isn't that lovely? You could turn that easily into earrings, centre of a choker. It's a really pretty, really ring. pretty um, little flower actually. It is actually, isn't it? And that's already set like that, ready for you to use as a connector loop. It's really, really pretty, very limited kit I'm afraid. You saw how quickly the peacock pearl kit sold out earlier. And I've got a real, real uh, limited kit here. So this is your lovely, um, really lovely connector. Then you've got the Amethyx coloured number four silk thread with the, with the built-in needle for your pearl knotting. And then you've got not one, but two strands of beautiful pearls. You've got button pearls. That's the first button pearls we've had of the day so far. And a button pearl's a very different look, isn't it, Fleur? It is, it is. It's, it, they're, they're gorgeous little button pearls, these. So you tend to have, like, quite a flat bottom. Oh, It's almost like a cabochon, like a drilled cabochon. Yeah. And they're really lovely. They, they work so gorgeous in necklaces, bracelets, but also mm. in hair designs yeah. as well. They work really well yeah, in hair Yeah, because they've got that designs. flat bottom and that sort of domed, like, yeah. like Fleur says, as a cabochon. So you've got the pearls in the button, and then you've got... Now, bearing in mind, can I just add in that both strands... Ah, right. Michael? Yeah? Darling! Mm -hmm. oh. How can I help you? I need me measuring stick. Okay, what that's what I'm here for. Isn't it? Thank you, darling. Oh, it's just that those are 38. It doesn't say, no, I think these are 38 as well, but I need to just measure them if you do not mind with my measuring stick, sir. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you, love. Okay, now, uh, 40. 40, yeah. But we'll go 38 just to be safe. But we've got 40, but we'll go 38. So we've got button pearls. So there's 76 centimetres of pearls here. Not, but not to be sniffed at, is it? You've got the button, and then you've got these really pretty um, top drill keshis. So you've got keshis in the top drill, you've got your button pearls, you've got your amethyst number four, two metres of silk, and then that beautiful connector, ring, choker, you name it, pendant, earrings, whatever you fancy, all of that in the kit. The code for the kit, UGXC92. We give you a live show discount saving. 
This is going to be a brilliant price. Absolutely brilliant price. Okay? Do you know what, Wayne? If you can do that price, sweet pea, under that price point, we'd be very grateful. Yes, please. Pop it in. Look at that necklace. That necklace is stunning. Yeah, those those button pearls with that with that connector. Oh my! But the button pearls have got such a beautiful. Ooh, that was even. Oh, do you know what, mate? That is not what we just talked about. If do they, you know, it's a good job they're not Pinocchio. Do you know? Can I just say? Uh, really can I, what can I just say? There's somebody that's been watching Jewelry Maker that doesn't normally watch Jewelry Maker lately, and he said to me the other day. Do you always know? Is it is it is it genuine? Do you, is your reaction genuine? I went, uh, yeah, you couldn't maintain that. We're not that good an actress. That is shock. That's great for Keshi's, mate. Yeah. That is absolutely well, unbelievable. We did a strand of Keshi's. Yeah? Look at his little face, he's so chuffed with himself. Do you know what? That is a that is a that is a just a no-brainer, that is. That really is. Fleur, can I ask a favour, darling? I'm sorry, yeah. can, I borrow, can I try one of them drop earrings? The big Which long one ones, the big long this ones. One. Yeah, them. Oh, and you need to make me some of them in sterling silver, will you? They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Do you mind? Those. No, not at all. Look at them. Look at me. You have to make You need to make them, do I? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, look at those. Oh, Fleur. Just two pearls and two. Oh my goodness. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I do a lot of pearls like this, but what I tend to do is I use sterling silver wire and then I hammer the end so that it's like paddles it out into like a beautiful teardrop. Um, and then I have a thicker, so that the wire that I use is thicker and then I just file it all down so it goes into the pearl. So yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're so elegant. Give me some silver. So elegant. Just you know, give me some silver. Yeah, of course I will. There you go. Sorry. You know, it seems to me you really want it. Uh, right then, how many kits left? Oh dear, 15, 15, 15, 15, lovely. I'll tell you that, that's a great, for, the, for that necklace, I mean that necklace, I, it makes it, doesn't it? For me, that necklace is a uh, £100 necklace. Easy. Easy. Now this kit is even more limited. Mm. Oh, hey. Now I'm going to say, I've got to start with these. I have got to start with pretty, these. Aren't they? How does this work? Oh, hang on, what have I got? still got on? Oh, I'm just, I'm such a lush. <laughs> I am no, aren't I? Oh, honestly, everything You're you a jewellery lush. Well, you are. <laughs> think is, if you would be honest, if you were surrounded by all these beautiful things, wouldn't you be exactly the same as me? I can't get that off now. Let me do it. Sorry, darling. Excuse me, everybody. I just want to show you these on, because they look amazing, the flower pearls. There you go. Thank you, sweet pea. Thank you, darling. Right, here we go, look. I've got to show the clasp as well is amazing. Look at those. They're, they're really pretty, aren't they? Yeah. They would look lovely in that kind of earring design as well. They would, wouldn't they? How do, they, how do we possibly get a flower pearl? It's, a, it's the shape that goes inside first. So the is mother it? of pearl okay. bead or the bead form that's gone inside first will be of a flower shape. And then ah. what, the, what the mollusk done is it's sort of like carried on making that pearl around there and it's oh, just okay. used that bead form as a, as a shape. I've not seen that clasp before. It's really beautiful clasp. It really it? is. Now you can effectively sort of. How does that work? How do you attach into that little sort of cup end there? So you just you use the bar that's inside. Yeah, let me turn that up so you can see. Thread the uh, thread the silk through that bar and then back through. Now I did a demo on that about two weeks ago of how to use this oh, kind great. of clasp. Did you? So it's about yeah, I think it's about two weeks ago. Yeah, two, okay. two to three weeks ago, um, and it was a gold clasp that I used. Okay. Um, it was in the 12 o'clock hour, I remember. Okay. Um, but yeah, you just use that bar as something to like go through. Okay. To, to sort of like so the, stitch the, the through, effectively. Through. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. just pop it up one side and down over the other, yeah. and then back through your first pearl. That is lovely. So the clasp and, oh, hang on a second, and a number six silk thread in the black with the needle. Do you know, these? Pro they, I've, got to say, I've got to say to our kit team this morning, come on. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31 flowers. But this, this here as well, this can be three different elements as well. Of course well. it can, yeah, because this all separates, by the way. You no, quite right. as a pendant. Yeah, so you just clip, unclip it underneath. You can have that, you can take that off. You just, there's a little clip underneath it, you just, there you go. 
all separate components. Sorry? So if you wanted to make a, a pearl bale that mm -hmm. you can take on and off of the chain, interchangeable. You've got, you've got two, two pearl bales, yep. a pendant, and you've still got your um, flower yeah, pearls. Absolutely. So there's lots of uh, elements there, as Fleur's just said. You can use those. Might have turned it around the right way. There you go. Put two pearl bales if you fancy, plus your pendant, plus your flowers, plus your silk for 24 dollars Okay, half the stock's gone. Nearly two thirds of the kit have gone. Caroline, Linda, Collector, Michelle, Tatiana, Caroline, Caroline in Hampshire, Caroline in Warwickshire. You've got to be quick on that one, my lovelies. All right, well done. And with these kind of pearls as well, I would only use, do you know, like we did on the first demo, we used one of the long bee was every third pearl. Yeah. Or every fourth pearl, sorry. Yeah. I would do that with these flowers as well. Yeah, just to, feature, just to keep the feature flowers, pearls, aren't they? Yeah, just yeah. keep them looking really beautiful. Really, really lovely. Are we allowed to have a demo? Are you demoing or not? Oh, yeah. We're not going to. Yeah, yeah. Are oh, you set up? Oh, well, oh I'm, I'm, I'm set, set up. up. Oh. I'm set up. She's set up. So what I'm going to show you quickly is if we do it on the overhead, that's okay. Yeah. Sorry, Ollie. That's really rude, isn't it, to say that? Tell you what you're doing. Tell you your job. <laughs> So when you're, when you're designing a piece um, that you want to say set something asymmetrically, if you yes. haven't got somebody that's in front of you to design it on, right. um, the easiest way to do it is to measure it. So what I tend to do is if you've got one of the, um, say you've got a chain, a sterling silver chain, you wanted this as 18 inches, what I would do is I'd put just like a little peg, you know the little craft pegs, yeah. put a little peg where you want the, the feature to sit at oh, your collarbone okay. level. So, in effect, usually it's like a quarter. If you think of it as in quarters, yeah, it's usually a quarter of a way down mm -hmm. to the to where your um, where your connector needs to be. Mm -hmm. If it's too far up, mm -hmm. it's too close to the, the the clasp itself. It will be lost behind your hair. So it needs to be at sort of like collarbone level. And okay. You can see there now that you've got that whole beautiful necklace all the way around here, but this is going to sit there. Now, for me, if yeah. I was to, if I'll just move that up for mm -hmm. you, if I was to put it into the middle, because the way, where this is going to sit on your neck, you've got a little hollow just mm. where, just above yeah. your, your sort of like your sternum. Yeah. This flower will tilt ah, in that because so it's got a rounded not... back. Okay. Okay. That's a, that's a good so point. have a look at your, your elements when you're designing things like that, because it, it may look beautiful as a flat design, and, the and as soon as it's put it worn, on, it ah, doesn't work. I hadn't thought so of that. Things like this, when when you put them as like a connector in a in a design, if they sit at the collarbone or just underneath the collarbone, they're going to sit flat onto your skin. And wherever you shall move, shall I try it on? To just yeah, yeah. shall we just just so that you can? I understand what you mean now. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought of that. So you, you see. just have to have a little think about where you want to put that connector, yeah. um, as opposed to where it's going to sit. So it's going to sit so lovely on that collarbone. This is why I go for a magnetic clasp every time. So there you go, see, so you see it's Are just right sitting. Place? Yep. So it's just sitting on on the collarbone beautifully oh, and it's yeah. not gonna it's not gonna rock and roll. It's staying there. Whereas if it was here, if it was in the middle, it would tilt forward because ah. of the weight of it. Okay? So just that always looks lovely. so just thinking about how to design your pearls and where they're going to move but you can see it's not actually moving at all no. that will stay where it needs to stay beautiful really so, beautiful i'm going to quickly show you a, a quick technique on using the tweezers uh, i don't know if okay. we've got tweezers coming up within the weekend i was... we had oh. tweezers earlier can we grab those oh perfect okay we've got tweezers so I've already gone ahead and I've added the clasp exactly the same as what I did in the first demo at nine o'clock. So it's, there's no difference in adding the clasp at all, okay? So I'm now gonna take my first button pearl and I'm gonna pop that in place. So you're again using the uh, needle and I'm gonna bring that down into place. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Okay, so now exactly the same as what we did before. We are now gonna do our overhead, uh, overhead overhand knot exactly the same so it's so far exactly the same so now what we've got is again we've got our loop at the bottom and our cross at the top taking our tweezers now 
Pearl knotting tweezers are different to like eyebrow tweezers or something like that because they've got no serrations on the inside. A little bit yeah, like what yeah. we were saying about the knotting all, it being smooth. This has to be smooth and they have to come to a point that if it's very difficult to pearl knot if they don't come to a point. Yeah. Also, they're nicely rounded here so you can push that knot into place without actually um, shredding the, shredding the yeah. silk. The other thing to note about pearl knotting tweezers is eyebrow tweezers will go together perfectly and knotting tweezers have a gap so you can see there can you see you can see on the on the underneath yeah i've got you yeah so that you're not going to rip the silk as you're pushing that knot into place oh, okay? okay so just a few things to think about when you're thinking about knotting with 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 tweezers if you've got tweezers at home Thank you, darling these ones are the best ones you know your knotting tweezers are the best these are slightly different to mine but they're exactly but the these same. are fine as well okay yeah, exactly the same so these are beadle on these are your des designer tweezers for your pearl knotting. 34 chan, 395? Brilliant. They come with a little protective uh, cap on the end as well. Try not to lose that because it just keeps that nice sharp point protected. Designer tweezers, they're four and a half inch. They are so fine, they're brilliant. Perfect for the job, 395. XNBN76 on your designer tweezers. Okay, They're fantastic. Yeah. Really good. So there so you go. We've got our knot here. So we've got our loop at the bottom and our cross at the top. Now, what we're going to do this time is instead of like putting the knotting all in and tightening the knot around, we're going to use our knotting tweezers. So we're going to go through the loop. Yep. And we're going to hold on to the top of the pearl. Oh, okay. Okay. And then using the the sort of like the working part of the strand, we're going to tighten that knot on top of the tweezers. Mm -hmm. So you can see you've actually knotted the tweezers in place. Yeah. Now you're going to rest that on the pad of your index finger. When you take the tweezers out, okay, so the knot's still there. I'm then going to put the tweezers back in above the knot. I'm just going to uh, rest that down like there so you can almost. see. Yeah, and so what you're not going to do is you're not pushing the knot down, you're pulling the silk away to tighten yeah. the knot. So what you're going to do is put the, the tweezers in just above that knot. Okay, and you're going to push, so you're just pulling that silk, so the silk, the tension's on the silk here, not on the tweezers. What we don't do is we don't do this on the silk, because that could catch. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to push that knot into place, and there's our first knot oh. again, really, really nice and tight next to the, um, next to the pearl. Next pearl goes in place. Is, do you find, do you find the, using the awl or the tweezers one more easy than the other? On I personal find, preference. I, I find personally using the awl is easier for me because that's how I learned. That's how you learned. That's how I learned. Okay. But I would never use, um, with really small pearls, it's very difficult to use the awl because you've got, you saw how you, how you oh, got okay. to get tight yeah, in on yeah, those yeah. pearls. So that's when you probably go for the tweezers. That's when I go for the tweezers. So oh, okay. to learn both techniques is, is fabulous. And both techniques are on that, those Pearl knotting DVD, yep. so okay, you, great. you've got those. So again, I've done my overhand knot. There's mm -hmm. my loop there and my cross at yep. the top. So I'm going to go through the loop, hold mm -hmm. on to the pearl at the top, just tighten that, that knot down onto that pearl. Yep. And again, all the time, I'm not moving these tweezers. These tweezers aren't moving, so they can't catch that mm. silk. Rest it on the pad of your finger, and then pop the... I'll lay it down so you can see. So you can see the knot just there. Yep. And I put the tweezers back in just above that knot and I'm pulling the silk up and it's pushing that knot down yep. onto the actual pearl okay. itself okay so again if you think about it the way that we did it with the knotting all I'm not actually using my other hand to stabilize this pearl and these tweezers are like my other hand yeah. when I push the gap away so I didn't give it any gap to move in and as I pull it can only go one way so I'm stopping the knot going further up the silk. Do you know, isn't this interesting as well now as somebody that's not pearl knotted before watching both techniques sat next to you this close and personal with you my immediate one to reach for to try with is actually the tweezers. The tweezers yeah the tweezers are fabulous. Mm. What you, the only thing that I would say with the tweezers um, is sometimes and it can happen um, quite a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, if you catch the silk with the end of your tweezers, right. or you move the tweezers up and down, you can fray the silk and you can snap okay. it. So it can be one of those techniques where when it's all going right and swimming, it's Brilliant. fabulous. But then it can When it goes little... wrong, right. it, you could snap the silk. So okay. again, I've got my loop, and this is how I would do it at home. So again, straight through the loop, onto the top of the pearl, tighten that down. Yeah. Take that out, 
and then you can see so I'm hardly moving yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. So that's how quick you can sort of like wow. start to okay. knot. And then you just carry on just going until you get to the end. So if you have um, measured out your pearls, so you know how many pearls you're going to do before you get to the connector, yep. put them in a pile by themselves nice. and then just leave one pearl out by itself because we don't knot between the last pearl and the and connector. The yeah. Because when you go back oh, through, connector. it's just right. like adding a clasp. It's exactly yeah. the same as the demo that we did before. Okay. So again, overhand knot, tweezers in, hold on to the pearl, tighten, take the tweezers out and push the knot down. You can quite speed upon that now, so aren't you? Can, you can really get quite, a, a, yeah. like you say, a good, a good yeah. speed going How through. How quickly do you um, pearl knot effectively, a really well done pearl knotted, let's say, 16 inch necklace? Um, about half an hour, 40 minutes. Oh, it's not bad yeah. then, is yeah, it? Yeah, but obviously I, I've been doing it for you, yeah, your experience. a long time, yeah. so I, I can sort of like get the, I, I know, but if, when I was doing, was it this kit or was it last week's kit? It was last week's kit. I, um, I had to do that twice. Okay. Because I had a, a gap and I wasn't happy oh, with it. Happy. So yeah. and, and the thing is with a gap is... And you're only as good as your last knot. That's it. You are. But you will always see it. Yeah. You will always see it. Well, you'll know it. it's, and it'll catch you every time. Yeah. It'll catch you. There's, there's, so, it's like if you've got to pull in a jumper or something. You yeah. like a straight it's through straight it, it. And you, you can see it. Nobody else can. I could have put it yeah. on air and nobody would have said anything, but, yeah, but I could know. see it. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. So I had to take it apart and start again. So yeah, you know, obviously... Thank you. The, the amount of pearl knotting you do... Mm the quicker you're going yeah. to get, but don't rush it. Whatever yeah. you do, don't rush it. I did take it off, because you know me, I'll go home with it. Any excuse. Uh, right then, once you, thank you, Fleur. Thank you, Fleur. She's amazing. Which one, sorry? Oh yes, finally we get to do it. Now we did the larger one earlier, that sold out, I believe. Sold out in seconds. Now we've got this one. Now I've got uh, magnetic, it's the same shape, brand new again, less than 50. And here it is in, Situ, that's our phrase of the morning. In situ, oh, did you see that? Ah, oh, we want to be together. We're we best friends. Be we together. want to be together. This one, going under ten pounds. Ah, oh, I think you'll find it goes beautifully with those pearls. Yeah. So magnetic class. What do we have to ask, Fleur? Is the wearer of wearing have just oh hang on a minute. Uh, right, Fleur, try it again. again. Fleur, go again. Go, Fleur. Edit that go Fleur. Edit. go Fleur. Go Fleur. Is the does oh I've done it again. Does go the Fleur. wearer have a pacemaker? Right. Well, what if they've got a pacemaker? What do they have to do? Just check with the manufacturer. Absolutely. Because that could affect it. Not saying it will, not saying it won't, but you just need to make sure. So this is the only class. I don't care whether you've got bolt, trigger, lobster, toggle, J, S. Any kind of clasp that you've got, this is the only clasp you can do it with one finger look. That's the only one. You cannot do that with any other, any other clasp. I'm just going to prove it again. You can't. Nope. There's no other clasp that you can do with one finger. You ready? Doesn't matter which finger. Ready? Look, 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 do. Go on. You've had the lot. these beautiful pearls that I've been showing all day, where are these ones? The ones that I was wearing here, the ones that I just keep trying on. It's these ones, isn't it? This is going to go perfectly with, with, that, with that clasp, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. And go with the bigger one as well. Please yourself, yeah. There you go. There's the uh, beautiful rice pearls. Here's the pearls uh, that we were just talking about. There's your necklace, just to show how they're working. And there... Are the pearls in question? I think you'll be surprised at these, Price. Now, do you not think rice pearls are great? Whether they are, whether you want to do, I think, um, I think particular drop earrings. Yes, you go through the strand and find your beautiful um, mm -hmm. pear drops because mm -hmm. obviously they are. Absolutely stunning when they're in earrings. Yeah, yeah they do look beautiful. Yeah. I love rice pearls. So I think they're so lovely. Mm -hmm. And especially in a design like that, where you've got a gemstone in between or a seed bead in between. Yep. Really pretty. And there is the clasp that we've just sold out of, which is the perfect clasp for those. And we've had the peridot and we've had the mm -hmm. beads. We've had everything. The little gold beads. We're silver yeah. beads you put with this one. Yeah, I think so. Fourteen ninety five. Yes, really? I know. Yeah, really. But can I just say that that's, that's not taking into account Marie's time then, that she hand-selected all of these? Well, she flew to Wayne. Hong Kong for these, mate. Wayne. 
Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Oh, Wayne. That's the phrase of the morning. Thanks. These are the very Ooh. pearls that she's decided to drape over her arm. That's our lovely gem buyer, the lovely Marie, out in Hong Kong. Hand selecting painstakingly the pearls for you. I think those pearls that she was selecting there, and I think I've got those on my day. This on Fleur Day? Yes. Fleur Friday? Fleur Friday. Fleur Friday, 22nd of November. Fleur yeah. Friday, diarise it. Why? She's going to be on diarise all shows. It. Diarise it. Yeah, yeah diarise it. I thought that's something you bought from the chemist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I'd love to be in your world. You, you bought a diarise it from the chemist, from the chemist, have you? Well, just diarise. I, just you, I know what we think. Like... We know what you're thinking. Stop. Yeah. I'll stop now. Please stop. Twenty <laughs> second <laughs> of November. It's Fleur Friday. Fourteen ninety five on those pearls. X Z R O eight zero. Thank you for that, Michael. Fourteen <laughs> ninety-five on those. They're lovely, absolutely lovely. Uh, there's the bracelet. Look, if I just drape that. To, in fact, this is the great. Can I just show you something as well? Can I? Can I just come here? Come at. Right. Thing is, how difficult is it when you've got a bracelet normally, right, to do up yourself? Look at that. That's because of the magnetic glass. I've just mm -hmm. done that up myself. But look how beautiful that that actually goes. So everybody who bought that magnetic clasp. These pearls are going to go so beautifully with mm -hmm. it because they're the same size and yep. the same shape. And if that does flip round like that, it doesn't matter because the no. clasp is a feature. Yep. But normally, if that was, if that had a bit of a trigger or a bolt, I couldn't do that up. Drape it over. Look. You'd just have to do the bracelet dance. The bracelet dance. What's the bracelet when dance? When you trying to like. Oh, that honestly. I, do you? I'm so stroppy. Bang off on the bed. Right. Well, you're not going to yeah. get worn then. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not as stern with my jewellery as you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm not having it. It's, no, it's, it is difficult. It. it is really difficult. And then you get all hot and sweaty. And then you Stop can feel it. your makeup. Moody Mardi. Yeah, it, yeah. Moody Mardi when you're not being worn. <laughs> you can stay on that bed and I'll talk to you when I get home. <laughs> you, you need some magnetic clasp. You don't in have your any life. of that with a magnetic clasp. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, is this the one that I like? Oh, this is the one you oh, like. I like this one. Where's it? Have you had it? Have you still got it? No, it's oh. in there. It's next oh, yeah. to pearls. Right. What? Do you know what? I don't normally do this, but you love this so much. Would you like to do this one? Go on. Oh, go on, then. Go on. Do you know what? Fleur's so amazing. She's so in love with this class. Rather than me bang on about it, I'm going to let you do it. Well, I just think sometimes clasps, clasps are functional, aren't they? Very functional. But I think, oh, what's it? Oh, sorry. So I think with clasps um, being quite functional, yeah. it's just really nice to have a clasp that's just got something a little bit extra to it. So when it's worn, it's going to sit so beautifully and it's going to have this oh. like, little... Can you see there? Oh, so that's you've got, lovely. I would have this at the front. Would you? I'd definitely have it at the front, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful, this. It's, I've never seen us do that before. With a dingle dangle. It's really gorgeous. Isn't it? Stacked in cubic zirconia, so you've got guaranteed sparkle. You've got that little end that we were talking about earlier that you stitch into, that Flo was talking about. That is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Very pretty. Come here, come here. Come, I did, do you know, when you were, do, I did say that, I oh, know, come on, come on. It's been well, a long I morning. Thought, I thought they were just going to hang down, but these are your actual pearl cups at the end. Oh. Yeah, it was just you that was, it was just you, darling, but it's fine. It's okay, there'll be other people out there, Fleur. Mocking the affected. <laughs> Mocking the affected. <laughs> Get 
Then his Norden's going to have a right field day here. Isn't she, she, she went to the mic and she went, it doesn't work. And we all went, that doesn't it work. She went, oh, I've I got it. I was just thinking, where's the loop? I love you. Where's the loop? You know when we talk about They're our there. guest designers being talented? Well, they have their moments. <laughs> not, not that talented. <laughs> I, I have only got one eye that I can see out properly. <laughs> can I use that as an excuse? <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, so so all the makers of toggle clasps out there, oh. I'd like to see one with a loop on as well, so you've got, like, these. I love you. Oh, so that's how it goes. I love you. oh, that's you're it. amazing. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. I think you're brilliant. I am, I am literally... <laughs> I know, and I've got it back to front. <laughs> That, oh, you know, dear, that, honestly. That, that's when I go into the buying <laughs> team, the kit team, and I say that, this don't work. <laughs> this don't work. She went, tell me my account, it don't work. And we all went, how's it not working? <laughs> I can see now. I, I can thought, see. I can see. I love, we love you, Fleur. You can't be, you know, spot on all the time. That'd be boring. Well, can I just say that I'm only correct 1% of the time. <laughs> You're beating me up. <laughs> no, I really like this now. I like it even oh, more. Oh, she than likes I it now. It before. works. No, it works. <laughs> well, I was thinking, hang on a minute. <laughs> Hold the phone. It don't, don't work. work. <laughs> it does work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like we had, we had a Swarovski earlier, and in the description it went something like a jellyfish flat backed. No hot fix. <laughs> no, no hot fix. No hot fix. No, no hot fix. <laughs> no hot fix. No macrame. Oh dear, honestly. Um, well, actually, we've also got to do something because somebody's had a little puppy and they want us to come up with ideas. So we'll do that after this because somebody sent us in a picture. I think it's Joanne. I think and she's had a new puppy and she wants us to help name the puppy. No hot fix. <laughs> no hot fix. <laughs> Oh dear, we've had a laugh this morning, haven't oh. you? You've got to have a laugh. <laughs> so, we have these phenomenal peacock. We had some peacock earlier which were uh, a lighter peacock. Lighter, yeah. Lighter. Lighter peacock. <laughs> we've got these half drilled. So, um, Do you know in Dubrovnik, do you know Lochram Island? That means yeah. peacock island. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we've all just been to Dubrovnik, half of us. Half of us that work here seem to have just landed in Dubrovnik. Oh, there you go. Half drilled, five pairs. What, what, how would you use a half drill? Oh, and gone. So that's she half She just went, drilled. look at my ring. Mm. Look at my ring and I'll show you what you do with them. So that's a half, that's a jewellery maker, half drill, half drill pearl. Catalyst to all this. You think? <laughs> really? I love the way she literally goes, it only happens when I think. <laughs> I think it might be me. Really? <laughs> well, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, anyway. Oh dear. Right, okay. Peacock freshwater cultured button pearls, half drilled. I tell you what, oh. I'm going to pop. Can you hold, hold that still? Just to give you a look. Ah, oh, that looks lovely. Do you realise that mean, means those pearls are about 70p each? Really? Yeah. Wow. 70 and, you, and you can use them as pendants as well. You don't have to use them as like stud earrings. No. Nope. That you can use nope. them as um, as things for for like this kind of work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it again. Right, can we just do this as well? Because you, you can have that one. This is, let me show, oh, hang on. This is from Lisa. I'm sorry I said it was Joanne, it's Lisa. Good morning, Zena Fleur and crew. I want to show off my beautiful new puppy. I'm struggling to name her as all the names I have thought of were for a boy. Any ideas, Look at Lisa? That face. Look at her little face. Oh. Well, my cousin Steve, that used to own Jewelry Maker and owns uh, Gem Porter, his dogs are called Opal and Onyx. Look at her. What, what names? Come on. It's a sheep. It's a sheep. It's a girl. 
So yeah. we need to help Lisa out. If you want to text in 60777, start your text with JM Studio. She's desperate for a name for her beautiful new puppy. What do, do know, we I think? Call her. What? I think she's got like a, she looks like a little Betty. A little Betty. A big Betty. Is it a, a little terrier? I don't know what it is. She's a dog. It's a dog. A terrier is a dog, love. Yeah, I know, but we don't know. It hasn't got its no, bead it's, on there. No, no. Just a dog. So if anybody would like to text in and name Lisa's beautiful new puppy, we're very jealous, Lisa. She is rather gorgeous, isn't she? She's gorgeous. <laughs> she is Absolutely lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'm just thinking... Zena? Fleur? Oh, oh Pip. Fleur? Pip. Pip? Little Pip. Little Pip. Little Pip. Oh. No, I don't like Ebony. Oh, that's a good one. Rosie. My dog's called Bella. Dolly Daydream. Dolly Daydream. Onyx. Dolly. I like Onyx, actually. I like Onyx. Yeah, I like Onyx. I like but Onyx. I like Dolly. Have another Dolly. Have spinel. A... Sparkling Spinel. Pearl. I quite like Pearl, Pearl's actually. Pearl's nice. Pearl. Oh, did you, Ollie? Sorry, darling. Sorry. Lulu. Oh, I like Lulu. Oh. I'm going with Dolly. I'm sticking Dolly. with Dolly you or like Betty. You like Dolly. I think I think of Dolly the sheep though. No, Dolly Daydream like mine. She looks a little bit like a Dolly Does Daydream she? like my Dolly Daydream. I quite Daydream. like Peggy. Peggy's a Peggy. nice name. Do you like Peggy? Yeah, Peggy's Lisa. a lovely name. Peggy. My mum's dogs were called Tansy, Cracker and Elizabeth. And oh, I love Elizabeth. Elizabeth. There's a dog on the road. I know it's a boy, but there's a dog on the road. And the, every time the guy shouts him, he's a chocolate Labrador that lives near me. And he goes, Neil! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Lisa, she's beautiful. Tell us what Gorgeous. name you think. I'm voting Peggy. Look at her little face. Look at her little face. Look at her little... She is very she's cute. She's beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. Little All right, Michael. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, is that... Is that um, are we talking about these little... Is it these ones, darling? Is it those ones that Fleur and I fell in love with some earrings of those? There they, they are. Thank you. Yeah, they had the. I think it's. Do we know where the pearls well. are, Tom? Darling? Hmm? Hmm? Number 3 and 11, Ooh. darling. Over there, sweetie, over there. There you go. There you go, Tom. Yeah, baby. Oh, no, they're not those ones. Oh, well, the after earrings. all that, they're not them anyway. <laughs> they're those earrings there. Yep, yeah, they're these, aren't they? I'm not to blame. That's oh, so perfect with the um, featherweight headpins that you did. Um, yeah, in the week. Was it Wednesday you did the featherweight headpins? I think it headpins. was, yeah. Oh, God, they, 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 those are They're amazing. beautiful, aren't they? Do you know, I wouldn't normally thought to go for something like that, but actually, now that I've seen them, I really like them. Yeah, they're really pretty. Hand-selected, baroque, and if they're not baroque... Don't fix it. Don't fix them. Thank you. Uh, the old ones. The oldies but goodies. Like us, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, oldies but goodies, absolutely. For hand selected pink freshwater cultured baroque pearls for a 10 pound note, yeah, probably. Yeah, £11. all right, all right, Tom, <laughs> you join in TGTP09 is your code 9.95. I have to just, if you don't mind, I was gonna say, these, this these just gotta be, be done, as they need yeah. to be worn, don't they, darling? Ready, very pretty. And they're the earring findings that you did, mm -hmm. did in the 11 o'clock hour. Mm -hmm. Somebody's mentioned, uh, messaged in with Bailey for the pooch and Jet C. Ooh, Jet, Star, Ruby. Morgan. Morgan. Who? Flossie. Maisie Moo Moo. It's got quite like that, actually, Maisie Moo Moo. My first dog was called Pippa. Oh. And then Pip. we had one called Pippin. Lucy's nice. Lucy's, Lucy's pretty name. Lucy's nice. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry. Do you know what these would go nicely with? If you got the beavers from earlier, from the nine o'clock hour. The kit? The kit. With the, no, the, the, the centre drill beavers. With the rose Oh, they were, in the kit. they were in the kit though, weren't they? Yeah, like a separate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nine, nine, do you want to see them on the neckline? Of course you do. There you go. Has Lisa messaged in? Has she liked any of the names? Is she still watching? She's probably writing them all down. Really lovely, they're like a blush pink those, aren't they? 
You know how you go all blush when yeah. somebody get, pays you a compliment? A vintage rose. Vintage rose. Really lovely lustre on those. Is that what you called Tom earlier? What? Oh, a blush rose, wasn't it? Rose. A blush rose, Tom Neary. Yeah. Blush Neary, we're calling him blush from now Neary. on. Blush Neary. Yeah. They are, oh, I tell you what, those earrings are lovely. They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, now for weddings. These are perfect. Oh. Oh, shoes. Silver plated, cubic zirconia. Horseshoe charms, one pound, 32 each. We've got the giggles, haven't we, Fleur? I'm so sorry, everybody. You know what it's like? Once you get the giggles, it's difficult to get yourself out of it. It's very difficult to stop. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> you know horseshoes more than anybody. I do. Don't you? I do. I've paid enough for horseshoes in the past. Do you know how much a set of horseshoes Oh, here we go. Are? Oh, here we go. I Do got right in trouble is? there, didn't I? She's on, her, she's on her soapbox. Go on, how much you paid for horseshoes? <laughs> You can, Go on. For a farrier to set a, for a set of shoes, it's about £70 now. Is that front and back? Yeah, you get four. You get four? Yeah, sometimes you get remoulds, though. Four, 70 quid to get a horse a pair of shoes? Yeah, get four of them. I should hope so, yeah. But that's a lot of money. I know it is. Every six weeks. Yeah, well, I've got a horseshoe here for £1.32 if you want it. They wouldn't fit Winston, though. Oh. Okay. Winston. I could try and make them fit. <laughs> Oh, hello. Sorry. Sorry, Ollie. I was like, all right. I was like the claw then in Toy Story, wasn't I? I was like, the claw. Oh, I love those films. Have you seen the new one? I still haven't seen the new one. Oh, it's amazing. I still haven't. With, Sp with uh, Sporky. Forky. Forky. Who? What's that? It's amazing. Toy Story 4. Is it the one in where? Darling? Rose Gold? Yes. Mm. It's great now because on your planner, on the on the telly planner thing that I've got, it comes up. In, there's normally all things at the bottom. The whole of Toy Story goes across it at the bottom. It looks ace. I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna try and get that. Mm. Toy Story. I want to see Forky. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, I like the way you've got a smooth and then a and mm. then. Um... Yeah. Oh, it's Lisa. Oh, thank you for the great name suggestions. I've been trying them out, but she has only responded to Zena saying thank you, sweetie. Ah, oh, you need to call her Zena then. Or Sweetie. Huh? Yeah, or Sweetie. Sweetie is a nice name. Sweetie is a nice name, isn't it? Sweetie Pie. Don't think thank you. Hi, Pip. Come on, Pip. Yeah. Pip. My friend Beautiful used to have Pippi two Lisa. dogs called Norma and Dilly, and they didn't know their names were Norma and Dilly. They both thought their name was Norma Dilly. Aww. Because she's Norma Dilly, Norma Dilly. Norma and Dilly. I had a dog that thought its name was this way. Because <laughs> I used to take it out hacking this with way. me, and I'd be like, ah, this way. This way. His name was Bo. He thought his name was this way. <laughs> That's hilarious. My pleasure, Lisa. Honestly, that, that puppy of yours is beautiful. He, she really is beautiful. So uh, there you go. Five. Ninety-five. Oh, we've lost the plot now. We've, we've, That's it. We've all gone. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Yeah, please. <laughs> well, it's a bigger one. Oh, it is a bigger one. And it's in silver. Oh, dear me. Oops a daisy. Whoops a daisy. <laughs> no. Nine two five. I'm sorry, we've all got the giggle. Nine two five sterling silver, oriental, beautiful flower. There you go, look. Four ninety five. It's very pretty. That on one of our. No, don't forget. Is there any of our deed of the day left, darling? 
Oh, yeah, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, wouldn't there. it? So, really if you've got any of our sterling silver rope chains, the loose rope chain, they were £6.65 each, three for nineteen ninety-five. you could have that as a beautiful pendant with that oriental yeah. flower. And I'd have those, I'd maybe put some of those little um, pearls that we've just done as well on there. Yeah, the little rice pearls. Just, yeah, just um, yeah. wire wrap them in. Mm. Lovely. So there you go, four ninety-five. Okay, there are a few of the deal of the day left, okay? Oh yes, you're going to like these, Missy. I've seen these before, they're beautiful, aren't they? Aren't that... they absolutely beautiful. When you talk about Orient and iridescence, yeah. it's just unbelievable across the surface of our peacock pearls. These stick pearls, they're called, aren't they? They're, st they're still a bee pearl. They are, I aren't they? They still, they still be classed yeah. as a bee pearl, but again, these are very voluptuous, like the ones in the kit. They are, yeah, because as you were saying, those other ones that we saw were quite uh, much more yeah. of a thinner, slim line Thin, design, yeah. whereas yeah. these are all puffed up and yeah. voluptuous. voluptuous as you... Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. $24.95. Glorious pearls. Peacock, glorious pearls. Can I just say Tom Neary? That dance was beautiful. Tom has just stood next to me and danced. What's going on? That was Fleur. Fleur made that. Oh, look, me. Fleur. Okay. Fleur yeah, made that. Working. It's one of, excuse me, it's one of our chains. That's you might want to pop it back days. on there, see if there's any deal of the days with the B wire on it. She All right, darling. She can keep that one, can she? There you go. Anyway, sorry. I'll take the beware off of it, so it's... All right, Michael. All right, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. What does it say? Oh, it's... it's oh, yeah, I'll show you okay. later. $24.95. I'm showing even from a distance. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Come on, Michael, let's have a close-up, darling. Come on, young man. So you could just wear it like that, couldn't you? You could, yeah. I mean, you could use any any of the pearls that we've done. Those rice pearls would be beautiful. And again, do a the opposite of this. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I was gonna show you that necklace. That's wah, exactly what I was gonna do. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh. Here's one I made it's earlier. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, it's gone. That's what I do when I think I've hidden a chocolate bar in yeah. the fridge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gone. Last <laughs> night, a cup of tea, and there was about four digestive biscuits mm. left. I went to Mark, went, go and get them digestive biscuits. Oh, no, they're not there. Eddie Adam. The, the kids fridge? upstairs. In the fridge? I've hidden them everywhere, and they can find them. This is why, I, did, this is why I didn't have kids, you see. Yeah. Nobody my you my children are like then. those dogs that snuffle out truffles. They literally can smell Isn't chocolate pig? anywhere. Pigs, pigs, yeah. And dogs. They oh, train dogs as okay. well. And monkeys. Do they? Mm. What? Really? Fine truffles. Are you sure? In France. Yeah. Monkey truffles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cope anymore. We've just, we've just lost the plot. I don't think you're I think he's talking complete rot, but there you go. Anyway. Now, look at that, how perfect that is. Oh, somebody help me. <laughs> <laughs> I love my job. Now then, you will get... Do you get two? Oh, sorry, are you quite right? Oh, hang on a minute, I've got a jump ring open here. <laughs> no, 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 that. Do you want me to just put one on the jump ring for you? And I'll pop it on one of those chains. <laughs> Michael Wolf, see me after yeah, the show. see me after the show. <laughs> now Fleur is adding that to the loose rope chain. As I did, <clears throat> boom. Seconds for three, two, three seconds. Nine two five sterling silver loose rope chain. As our deal of the day, we did three for nineteen ninety five. There are a few left, and with this deal at seventeen ninety five, you are getting. Two pearls. They're your bridesmaid's jewellery. Absolutely. That's your bridesmaid's gift and jewellery. Bringing it back to winter wedding and not yep. one kids that look for truffles. Yeah. So there you go. 
Two white half drill freshwater culture ram pearl pendant charms, whatever you fancy, for $17.95. Thank you. There you go, darling. Which one, sorry, darling, say again? Oh, I was hoping you'd do these, mate. I was hoping he was going to do these. Can I just put that back on there so, we, so that when. Yeah. Um, do you want to set the, that off there? So that the. Yeah, might be an idea, mightn't it? Excuse me, everybody. Right then, look at these. These, I've been waiting to do these. They're absolutely beautiful colour, very festive. Look at those. They're pretty, aren't they? They are pretty. They're very chrysocolla. They are. They're like a bluey green, I think, not dark green. Yeah, I agree. Really lovely. And uh, you know when you go into the clothes shops at this time of year and they, a lot of the ladies' dresses and tops and things are all sequiny and lovely. Yeah, yeah. I've just bought a full navy blue sequin top. Oh, yeah. Full of, yeah, 20 quid. Really nice, really nice. Uh, but it's, but this, is the, this is the colour, isn't it, of this, of this time of year? Beautiful. Blue, green, dark green, $9.95. You are going to be spoiled this afternoon because you've got the most stunning looking Jenny Cleary on the show this afternoon. You screwed up all right, didn't you? Look at, right, that, didn't that, you? Look at you. Jenny Cleary's got in. She looks amazing. And of course, the most beautiful, our very own Rapunzel. We've got Alison Terry. My Neve, when Neve was little, you said that Alison was um, Ariel. Oh, uh, Ariel. Ariel. Oh, Ariel. Yeah, yeah, she's looking. Um, yeah, so these are 9.95. Help yourself. Now this afternoon you have got the lovely Becky producing, the lovely Jenny Cleary, looking stunning, and the lovely Alison Terry on the show this afternoon. It is the winter wedding weekend. Oh, she said it. The winter wedding weekend. It was seamless as well. It was. Thank you. Uh, it's carrying on all through today, all through tomorrow, all through Sunday, and it is going to be spectacular. So do stick with us. Can I just say, you. <laughs> Being funny. Yeah. Not funny, ha ha. Just yeah, funny, ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with that. It don't work. Take me mark out. It don't work. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'll never oh, look that. No, you know. It don't, it don't work. Don't Take work. me mark out. It don't work. We'll all go, mm -mm. <laughs> uh, right then, so um, yeah, do please stick with us because you've got a great afternoon ahead. You really, really have. You, when are you back on? Uh, the fourth. Run. <laughs> <laughs> She's back on. That's a Monday, isn't it? Yes. It's a Monday. I know yeah. that. Uh, yeah, so back on. You've got a bit of a break. Oh, yeah, I've got kids oh. to make. Yeah, she said, I'm still working. Uh, right then, so do please join. Your hair looks fabulous, Becky. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, do please join uh, Jenny and Alison after the uh, break. I will be back with you tomorrow morning, hopefully with the lovely Linda Brumwell on the show. So can't wait for that. It's going to be amazing. But don't you go anywhere. See you later. Our jewellery maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000